Good morning. Surprise. Saturday stream. Well, not as much a surprise if you're following me on Twitter, but... Surprise! <laughs> this is, we're going to be doing like three streams today. This is the first... The first one is during my normal kind of like hours. While my cat yowls to himself in the background, as usual. <laughs> But yeah, uh, t so I'm going to be streaming like at three different times today. So the first one here is going to be from now until around like lunchtime, when that, whenever that may be. And second one will be after that until around dinner time, whenever that may be. And then the, the third stream will be after that. But yeah, first first up we've got more Hydraineer, because it's just fun pipe water game that is n no stakes whatsoever other than am I make am I doing what I want to do, which honestly I'm quite happy I quite, I quite like games like that that let you do whatever basically whatever you want within reason, and if you really want to there's a creative mode too so we're not gonna be using the creative mode because I don't really like using creative modes in games but yeah. But anyway, before we begin, in earnest, I am still fundraising to help my good friend Hachiko move and move in to a new place. I'm trying to raise a deposit for a house so that he can move in with some some with some friends. I think he might have already moved somewhere recently, but yeah, it's the trying to fundraise to help him so that he can. Because once he's all stable and settled, he's very likely going to be able to start up again with more fundraising for more people because he's just kind of a god at that kind of shit and he just needs help getting there. So any help that you can provide to Hotchko helps me in earnest because, yeah, friend. <laughs> but I have a coffee. his coffee link is shared every once in a while in the chat. I've got it on my layout and there's a command in chat as well if you are so inclined. And I'm also just able to provide it upon request. So if you want to help, great. If not, if you're not able to help, I understand because fucking money's tight, dude. Dudes, dudettes, and other cryptids. <laughs> All right. All right, well, oh, you don't get that for free. <laughs> I still haven't been able to get around to um, adding more teeth yet, so eventually. It has been decreed by popular demand that I add more teeth, <laughs> so we will at some point. Right, anyway, continue. I think it's Streamworld's the one we were playing. I'm almost certain it is. Oh, yep. Oh, yep, this looks familiar. Oh. Come on, game. It's fine. It's fine. Don't need to crash. <laughs> All right. So last time, <laughs> I was gonna do some corny Dragon Ball Z fucking thing, but I don't know where to go with it. So we're just, I decided not to. But yeah. Last time we ended off, we um, were messing around with the. The sorting system and making just big ass gemstones because big ass gem. How did I get stuck on the bucket? How did I manage that one? It's like two minutes in and I already got stuck on the bucket. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we were messing around with um, big big ass gemstones. Like, look at the size of the sapphire. <laughs> it's fucking massive. And we were working on because. We don't want to sell the iron as much anymore, because we're getting we're getting should be getting a decent amount of gold where I can use this iron to make more drills, so that we could make more money. Because if we have more than one drill hammering away, then we can, uh, you know, do things with it. Okay, so. Let's move. Let's move all this out of the way. But I think what I want to do is to start layering over this area with blocks, if possible. I think I might also um, 
get another pipe or two and raise that up by one. Let's see, I'd need like one pipe there, one pipe there. So I need two more, I need two more of these straights. <laughs> I like saying it like that because it's just like, ugh, straights. <laughs> okay, do we have our money in here or is it in the store? It might be in the store. Oh yeah, it's in the store. How much do we even have? I can't remember. Oh, six, six grand. That's plenty to buy what we want to buy. Okay, so let's buy some pipe. Some pipe. I'm going to buy like five. Gab it! Gab it! You didn't catch me off guard this time, fucker. Good morning. <laughs> I hope you are well today. Welcome. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, I think that is like your main, your main like play of like <laughs> playing the sound. But you know what? It's fine. <laughs> uh, still nice to see you, regardless. Even if you are out to get me. That's okay. Uh, we'll buy a few of these T pipes as well. I just want to stuck up on pipes because one of the plans for this stream is to try to get multiple uh, of those uh, drills up and going. And for that, we're going to need more pipes. <laughs> October has rules. I must obey. You know, that's fair. I can respect that. <laughs> oh, my headset decided to turn itself off. I need a new headset at some point. Like, this headset's worked great for me over the past, like, year and some change, but it's definitely showing its age now. Unfortunately, like, the electro electrical devices are not built to last anymore. Alright, so we're going to temporarily... Turn that off because we are. Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Like, if you get like a smartphone or something like that, yeah. Like, I'm still. I'm honestly surprised my Note, my Note Ultra 20 is still decent at anything at this point. Because I think at this point it's a few years old, and that's like enough in like the phone tech sphere for it to be kind of dog shit now. Because just the way that they do anything. Right. I need to. Like, that's. Like, I have, like, a lot of, like, opinions about tech stuff. Yeah, it's basically like, oh, you're gonna, you're just putting off the inevitable of you can't use this phone anymore because there's too much bloatware put on by the, the people, and that bloatware makes it to where that phone's basically fucking unusable. Okay, so now we need to get our, some of our, our straights. There's a straight. <laughs> There you go, straight, you're included. <laughs> At some point this is gonna move because the reason I'm raising this up by one is so that we can like start just putting in a whole bunch of these blocks so we can have a nice flat surface to work with on top. Put all this garbage instead of just out here in the dirt. <laughs> Granted, being just out in the dirt is like the cryptid way, but like... And, like, that's, like, if I'm not, like, if I'm unsupervised or, like, a little less inspired, I absolutely do this in Minecraft, too. Like, I'll just live out in the middle of a field and then slowly just, I'm like, oh, fine, I guess I'll, get, I guess I'll make a roof. <laughs> so. Let's move this out of the way real quick, because... Oh yeah, I, I've seen I've seen uh I I've <laughs> I've seen I've seen stuff of grounded when it was an early access. 
It's like, honey, I shrunk the kids with meets Minecraft. Honestly, pretty cool game. Pretty cool looking game. I would not be opposed to eventually uh, buying it and playing it at some point because it looks pretty cool. There's, I just got too many games already. Unfortunately, like just way too many. Hmm. I do not have a uh, Xbox Game Pass because I do not have an Xbox. So I don't know if it'd be worth it for me. Oh, well, fair enough. <laughs> I have seen that, like, it, like games on Game Pass, you can just play on, like, your, your Windows PC, which... That's honestly probably like, the one compelling thing about it compared to most of the other fucking shit-ass, um... Like... Huh? Like, Stadio fucking shits, is that, like, you can at least play it on not just, like... Like, you can actually play it on your Xbox, which is what it's made for, but also, like, yeah. Ooh, look, we got double drip going on! <laughs> Except I think I have these in the wrong orientation because, yeah, I wanted to. That's fair. It's just I wish these services were, like, any good at anything, you know? Like, I wish they weren't just garbage services. Like, if you're going to make a service like that, at least make it good. Not like Stadia, more like it like buffers to hell and you have to have like super good connection and yeah. I don't know if I'd even say rip, I'd say get fucked. <laughs> Granted, it was also just Google trying to barge their way into the gamosphere for no good reason other than we want some of that money. Alright. Basically what I'm doing with this, I'm trying to um set up a thing where we can um, filter out we can uh, sequentially filter out all like all the gold and all the iron with one of these let's see our little thing is right there admittedly we can save us ourselves a lot of hassle by just going and getting conveyor belts but I want to kind of let this run a little longer on its own merits because with conveyor belts, there's a certain kind of conveyor belt that lets you, lets you also filter off resources. But th those conveyor belts are also not cheap, so I figured doing this situation initially. Okay, let's, let's get all the pipes out of here. <laughs> oh, you are absolutely right, she did. I, I have actually, I actually have played uh, Chrono Trigger on stream like some sometime probably last year I think I finally came was like you know what I guess I'll see if it's any good because for like the last like 30 something years of my life I was like oh it's probably just some over it's just probably just fucking overhyped you know because whatever but no Chrono Trigger is pretty good I don't know if it's like in my top five games but it's definitely a really good game and I could see why it would be someone's favorite RPG <clears throat> then again, my, my problem with me is like I I'm a big Dragon Quest fucking head. So, uh, Dragon Quest got to me first. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm considering starting uh, playing Dragon Quest 8 on Monday since I moved uh, Minecraft to, s to today. Later on today, we'll be playing more uh, Sevtech. So I might start playing Dragon Quest 8 on uh, Monday. Partially because I have not actually played much Dragon Quest 8. Dra I loved 11. I've got it on my Switch. I've got, like, the definitive whatever it's called on Switch. And, yeah, I would say um, 
3 is still my favorite Dragon Quest, but 9 and 11 are very close seconds, because they're just, both of those are just really good. Like, if you haven't played 9, I could highly recommend you emulating 9 on DS. Or at least until they make a fucking port of it on Switch or something. Uh, what was I doing? <laughs> I started just... Yeah, Dragon 11 had a lot going with it. Uh, I, I think I was gonna be buying, uh, oh, one of these. <laughs> I was just like, like, what am I doing here? And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I was doing here. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's, that was, that's usually me when I wake up and just like, uh -huh. And they're like, oh yeah, it's like 7.40, time to get up and make breakfast. That's kind of cooling off on my left side, my desk here. So the good thing about a game like this is I can just kind of munch on that wall I'm playing. Because this is literally just, nothing happens in this game until you make it happen. I mean, I kind of felt that way with, uh, Legendia, because my god, Legendia, I, I put some fucking hours into that fucking game. Like, god damn, Legendia was girthy. Legendia was long. I liked it, though. I quite liked Legendia. Good game. Okay, I think I've got these backwards. <laughs> Cause the uh, the filtered feed off is off to the right here. So I need to switch this pipe layout. Somehow. I, again, I could probably save myself some time and hassle by just manually doing this the f doing it the first few times. And then making these like a waste of time because getting the pipes like this certain way seems like it's gonna be annoying. Unless I specifically like, I mean, I could do it, but it's gonna be a pain. I mean, maybe not that much of a pain. Hello, Ditto Booty. I love your fucking caked up Ditto emote. <laughs> How are you doing, friend? I don't I don't get to stop in very often, but your stuff your stuff's usually pretty entertaining, especially when you get we get to talk about uh, Ada stepping on everyone's collective throats because Ada Wong enough said. <laughs> uh, we're playing Hydroneer today, which is just like a no stakes, just kind of diggy building game. Oh, I love that emote too. Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Well, hopefully you can kind of just vibe to me just building with pipes and processing dirt. Speaking of building, it sounds like one of my, my machines down here is a little fucked. Yep. That's okay. That's why we have a little, uh, little uh, ratchet set here. and We'll just hop down here and let's see. Let's see how damaged this is. 50%. Eh, it'll be fine. Cause this, this guy harvests the harvest dirt, spits it in here. This thing turns it into whatever the dirt's gonna turn into. Oh yeah, th those are amazing. I I gotta put out some time to make some different emotes too. Like I've got um a lot of mine are from some of my uh, tales of playthroughs, except for Sprigatito because. I'm so hyped for fucking Scarlet to come out. I'm picking Sprigatito, and we're gonna be—I'm gonna be best friends with Weed Cat. <clears throat> yeah, that. So basically, what Hydroneer is, is 
all this you you process dirt into stuff and then you turn that stuff into like products to sell and then you can use that to buy bigger land claims and more pipes and <clears throat> it, it's just kind of a fun little diggy game gay duck and I will adventure together for all time enjoy <clears throat> Yeah, that's okay. This is a, this is an indie game, maybe like six people, I think. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, norm. When you start out the game, actually, I have all that stuff down here. I can just show that off. When you start out the game, you have a little a little shovel. You got a bucket. You've got one of these pans. You got this brush, and you have like a kind of crappy cart. And what you gotta do is like dig out dirt like this, put it in the bucket, and then you can take your your pan of dirt. Uh, I'm sure I've got another. Yeah, I've got one of these pans right here, and you can pour it in there. And then you can get you have to get water in this one way or another. Like I usually like just throw it in the fucking river. <laughs> Just throw it in the river. And then you, um... <clears throat> Let's see. Yep. And then you clean off the dirt, and there'll be some stuff in there. Yeah. But now that we have a little further along, like, the first thing I was able to... The first technological advance I did was get some, uh, water pipes, like... Like, probably, like, this section of pipe here, so that there's a water drop dripping down from the pipe from the river, and that water drop would automatically fill my pans up so I could just, like, put dirt in them, clean it off without, ha like, saving steps. And now I don't have to do anything, because these two machines process, harvest and process the dirt. Oh, yeah, you, you can definitely get gems. Like, let me, let me show you. Like, you get usually small gems, but there's a machine that you can use to combine them together. So I've got, like, this big-ass sapphire. <laughs> We had a big ass rupee looking emerald last stream, but I used that to make a necklace to sell for money. One of my favorite things is just making just big ass gems, because they're just like, like that's just an obscene fucking j size sapphire. <laughs> like, there, it, there's no reason for it to be that big, but it is, and I, I like it. I am a fan. Video game. Hello, Osgo. Welcome. I hope you're doing well today. Thanks for stopping in. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> now, what these are, are little hand sorters. It's gonna be a pain in the ass getting up there to hand sort that. But hey, we bought blocks for a reason. Friends. <laughs> okay, we got those right side up. Let's put a block there. Put a block there. Probably should have bought more blocks. Oh. This is a bit, oh god, I just realized I probably need to move that somewhere else, like right there. <laughs> This is a very scuffed s setup for all of this. <laughs> Mostly because I should just suck it up and get conveyor belts instead of dealing with this, but. Uh, let's go down and fetch a piece of iron from somewhere. There's a piece of iron. Oh. Blocks! It's like Roblox, except less children it's just me granted I'm not much better <laughs> than a child but you know all right so we want to filter our iron right, let's grab you let's grab a gold because the next thing we want to filter out would be gold it's kind of hard to see sometimes there we go <clears throat> My guess is that's going to be the right spot. It might not be the right spot. And for now, we're going to have one of these there. So we can put another pan there. Uh, 
What I'm basically trying to set up now is just a way to like filter out the iron and gold immediately without any like weirdness because otherwise you have to put all this through the same thing multiple times to get to really do it and yeah it's not very much fun <clears throat> so if I could have this at least set up in a tangible way then that would be a little easier to work with until we can save up a bit more money because then when we have a bit more money saved up, we can um, buy conveyor belts that'll do a lot of this for us. Uh, don't know if that's a good enough spot for it. Yeah, probably. It's probably fine. If not, we'll, if not, we'll find out very quickly. Uh, let's see. Is this our construction hammer? Let's nail down all these blocks so don't accidentally rip one out of the out of thin air. Because that would be a problem. <clears throat> Let's see, we'll put those down too. Like anything that could be picked up accidentally that would make this more problematic, I wanna nail down. Okay, we got that. I think we got our pans in place, maybe. Okay. Well, <laughs> the only way to see if it works really is to, um, well, let's grab a piece of gold. We can try to, we can test the filter out by trying to filter something. Well, no shit, right? Ah, so that's where it landed. Okay. G glad I checked because otherwise there would be a lot of gold on the ground. Oh, close. Not quite. <clears throat> See, this er like the early game sorting is scuffed shit, but it's kind of fun to to figure out all like the angles and stuff that it's doing. Oh, nice. I feel a little bit more confident. Let's grab an iron and see how it, where it filters out to. Let's see, what are you one of yous. Oh, help, help. <laughs> I'm falling. <laughs> the jumping in this game isn't like parkour level precise, so it's kind of... Okay, fine. I guess I'll move... Um... Probably just need to move this block in general. Go over there. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let's see. Close. That looks a little closer. Let's see. Apologize if it's a little dark. It's nighttime. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <clears throat> Shit. Oh yeah, this one's gonna need to be a little further because it's got a little bit of a height advantage. It's got the high ground. Panic. <laughs> Panic and I have the high ground. <laughs> that was so bad. <clears throat> Alright, so. We've gotten at least something to land in the pans correctly. Honestly, I think that's good enough. Because we got a Let's, uh, we'll put this here. Because in the event stuff misses, misses here, hopefully it will, uh, hopefully it will land down here and not down there. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna go, um, actually go, we're gonna go buy another pan, because I think we just are just a little shy on the amount of pans that we need to kind of constantly get this thing in use, so we're gonna buy another pan here. If you try, if you try just leaving up paying for stuff, the game won't let you. <laughs> there used to be some exploits you could do to steal from the store in older versions, <clears throat> but mo most, if not all, of those have been patched. So there's n no free stuff. <laughs> there's no such thing as a free lunch. Because <clears throat> basically, what, what I want to do is, um, oh, I well. Now we have an extra pan, cool. So we're gonna turn this bad boy off. Take our 
Oh, game's not like game's not liking this pan. Holy shit! Oh, oh, oh god! Put it down. Put put the pan down. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I don't know if the pans are very well optimized. <laughs> god damn! Alright, that one. Well, let's prefer, prepare for the slideshow! <laughs> God. I was not expecting. Maybe I've just let it run a little too long. Admittedly, once we get, like, conveyor belts and have them constantly, like, processing these into things, it should be a little less fucked. But, like, right now, this is a little fucked. Okay, let's. I feel like I'm playing a, a turn based RPG. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh god. Oh, okay. You got one shot. <laughs> Poor this fucking thing. Uh oh. Oh no. Come on. Move. I'm pressing the input. Go. Alright. We're gonna pour this. Hopefully, some of it goes in the right place. Well, some of it did. Jesus Christ. Well, that none of that did, but that's fine. That's not much compared to this. <laughs> yeah, I think I might have had this running for a, a little while. But yeah, normally, like, if you've got a good setup with conveyor belts, it's like all the pieces are kind of going to meet their maker. You are right, but the funny the, the the funniest thing is I have a solution to this problem, and it's not picking up all 52 of the rocks and putting them in there. I mean it is, but it's not going to be picking it up by hand. But for that, we're going to want to um pick this. Now nah, we'll we'll just very we're going to move this pin far away because we have a handy little item called a uh, magnet on a stick. That we can use to help pick up our mess. So let's grab that. I'm just trying to. S oh god, I picked up all the rest of the fucking iron too. That was in the pan. <clears throat> As you can see, that's not a very good solution, but it's it is in fact a solution. So we'll just be doing that over and over again until we can uh. Get all this cleaned up. Oh, the irony. Truly. Get out of my way, straight. <laughs> Let's move the gold out of the way over here, too. Because I don't want to pick up... I don't want to have to sort that again, too. Alright, let's grab this. I mean, oddly, funny enough, we could just, like, go dump this glob into the, the, the little, um, dude over here and save ourselves a lot of time. I don't know, if, let's, let's see if there's anything else over there that I would not want to get picked up. Uh, there's these pieces of Cloudium, we'll pick those up and move them over here with the gems. <clears throat> Cloudium ore. Gotta get that clout, <laughs> I guess. Alright, so, we're gonna grab our big glob of iron. Professor X that shit up. Very carefully. Oh, I think I lost part of the chunk. <laughs> I'm hemorrhaging pieces. And my, my aim is not very good either. <laughs> God. <laughs> Still a mess, but at least it's kind of fun. Uh, yeah, we're going to probably just put the iron bar in here too. Just to get it get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way.
This is so silly. I don't know if I've ever actually like loaded one of these uh, furnaces like this up, like, like this. So it's kind of fun. Make sure we don't have any stray little n nuggets lying around. Uh, let's. <clears throat> Honestly, this is actually quite a bit faster than trying to get them all into the pan and then pouring that same pan in here anyway. You, that, that's that's the kind of thing I love about these kind of games that like you can just kind of like find like the most like inane bullshit that's like just like oh my brain really likes that and just wee because <laughs> the funniest thing is this works on like there's like you can fish in this game too and this also works on fish so you can just have like a big glob of fish <laughs> which is ridiculous like you know there's no need to have a big glob of fish all over the place <laughs> oh no don't tell me that <laughs> you know what i i don't think i've actually done the the, I don't think I've done the fishing in this game. I think we can buy a fishing pole for like pretty on the cheap like Fish gloves Screw let's let's fish. I've not done the fishing in this game. So let's see what it's like I've watched videos of people play this game where they're like they're like they fished and then like They do like a little transition things like six hours later and then the whole like bank is just covered with fish everywhere <laughs> Okay, well, let's see. Oh, there's a fish. It's a very sad looking fish. There you go. And back into the water for you. Now you can live free. <laughs> and that's probably the extent of fishing that I'll do, because, eh. Alright, well, let's, um... Take all that iron that we just uh, poured in here. Let's dump it out. Now, now, normally when you start out, when you first, when you're first starting, you can get a, you have this crucible that you put on like this guy, and that's how you have to melt your ore. <laughs> the final, final, Final Fantasy 15, the fishing simulator. <laughs> yeah, when you first start, you have this furnace. Which the furnace is still useful because you have to heat, make sure your metal bars are heated up enough to uh, actually smith things with. If you're doing stuff like jewelry or weapons or whatever. But yeah, this is why you have to do it normally. It's just kind of a hassle. And this one is a combination um, crucible and a little casting basin. It's really useful. Now we got this. Oh, it's okay, game. You're just doing what you're supposed to do. Don't need to crash, please. Okay. <laughs> Game's probably a little unoptimized, All right? How heavy is this iron bar? Nope. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that's more than heavy enough. Cause I think we need. I think we're gonna be wanting at least three hundred weights. So we can make another, uh, another uh, drill down there. Sounds like one or both of them are a little fucked up. Yep, they're both fucked up. That's okay. The reason these are taking damage is because the uh, water that's coming out of the river has not been purified. So, the machines take damage from the impurities. Because these machines are powered by water. It's like, the, like at the very beginning of the game, like you might get a water pipe to drip water so you can wash things yourself a little better. Oh, we, we, missed, some, we missed some globs there. We can't have that. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, laddie. Don't give up that easily, Glob. They gave up pretty damn easily. Oh. Are you serious? Low effort. And well, since we filtered out that heap of... Oh, uh, we probably should just keep that like that. 
there. All right, so now we've got all of our gold. Before we do anything with the gold, I want to, um, let's move this, let's move our two filter pieces out of the way, because we're going to be using the, the magnet on the stick to get all of our uh, gems and stuff where we need them to, because I don't really want them there, per se. All right, um, we could filter out all the shards. And we probably should. Oh, there's also some Cloutium in there, too. Um, can you iron plate a fish, though? I don't think you could put... I th you could probably put fish in there, but I don't think they... No, it's just, have it's just having a bath and the, and the iron as you do. You just go... You just take a really hot bath. There you go, fish. <laughs> All right, so, so those extra like pieces of iron that we were I had were floating around were like another like four weight. So what I want to do, let me grab my hammer. We're gonna we're gonna move this out of the way so it's easier to get to um, this filter because I want to filter out the. Um, I want to try to filter out the um, shards because the shards are what power your little uh, pressure chambers here. I've got a big, big ass uh, bar made of the shards in there, just powering this because these pressure chambers restore the water pressure from the source of where your water came from. Because as as the pipes go along, the, the water pressure goes down. When will these game developers give the people the iron fish they crave? <laughs> Maybe someday they will. Maybe someday they will. Let's just climb on top like a cryptid. I mean, I am a cryptid. So climb on top like I would. Just straddle the freaking... Just straddle it. I'm going to move these blocks too, because... I think a double filter thing is not, what the, not, the, not the future we're going to be doing. Because, frankly, as soon as we can get a, a, a bit more money, I'm going to try to invest in getting any manner of uh, conveyor belts so that we don't have to worry about sorting our shit anymore. That's going to bother me, so let's... We're going to need one at some point anyway, just to make the sounds not happen. Make the sounds stop! So we're going to grab... We're going to buy a cork. And we're gonna shove it in that water pipe. <laughs> not, not quite like that. There we go. Peace and quiet. <laughs> All right, so. Very carefully. <laughs> well, that didn't work very well, did it? You know what? Fine. Let's just manually pick out these. Gi that didn't even escape the filter. Let's 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 manually sort out the gems because we can't. We're not allowed to have nice things right now because our filtering capabilities are sad. Ooh, and onyx, those are pretty rare, especially from this dig site. Alright. I mean, there are ways to make the, the hand cleaning like this a little easier, like having to put the pin on like the right side and then just kind of doing it like this. So it's not the end of the world that we're doing it this way. There's not gonna, there's not that comparatively that many gems anyhow. <laughs> that's that that that's an awesome clip. <laughs> Straddle it. You just gotta get up there and uh, get <laughs> assume the position. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see, any other wayward gemstones? I think that's all the gemstones, so we currently don't, we don't have a way to cut them all automatically yet. That's also a conveyor belt thing. So we're just going to cut all these by hand. The emeralds tend to be more common than any of the other ones. I am seeing a nice amount of rubies though. I wanna like just make just make big ass gemstones. Oh, wrong wrong thing. Alright. Let's keep on cutting. God damn. I keep pressing the, I keep pressing E on the wrong thing. I'll know how. There's there's like Oh, I got more than one onyx, so we can make an even we can make a bigger onyx. Ooh, I like those. I like the I like the I like the the cut of their jib. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and just separate out the cloutium as well. The cloutium you can make into bars and sell, but you can't do anything other than sell or you can use the cloutium to make the the next tier up of machines. But we're not gonna worry about that just yet. We're gonna keep the cloutium though. Just can keep it over here, whatever. Because you don't really get as much of it compared to the other stuff, usually. Alright, and then we'll collect all our little shards with our little magnet friends. Come here. And we'll just kind of tidy it up and... We'll make a bar out of these eventually. We're not really super concerned with it at the moment. Because that one bar is still... I don't know if the bar shrinks as it gets used or if it'll just eventually disappear. But I guess we'll find out when that happens. Okay. Now what we can do with these... Let's get them all in a little bin here. I, that's a lovely side. I love gemstones in real life. So like, just this is just... I love gems. Right, let's move this out of the way. But just kind of putting it over here, whatever. And then we'll get the logic compressor. You can either use logic, which is kind of like redstone for this game, it seems like. Or you can manually power this thing by hand. And then what we can do is to hopefully successfully pour into here. And... Yeah, it, it just, I think it just is like works on, like, attracts resources. It's just, it's that doesn't specify which resources. It's like, resources, you mean like iron? It's just, it's just like, yes. <laughs> but now that we've got all our gems in here, let's actually go grab these um, other gems. Because if as long as you have only gems in this uh, compressor thing here, it will compress all like kind gems into like kind gems. So we're going to have like... An even bigger sapphire after this one, so just uh, look at that chonker. <laughs> that is thick. With like three C's. That's a big ruby too. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh, little onyx is kinda nice. It's not very big, but I don't think it was very big to begin with. And we've got big sapphire. <laughs> <clears throat> very, very good. I, I like, I like making big gemstones. And we're gonna just kind of put these in our little pan here, so we can go see how much they're worth. And after I will pick the one that's most valuable and turn that into a necklace, and to make some money. And then we can, then we can go to the other town and see if we can buy conveyor belts. So let's just kind of. Well, the iron bar. We're gonna also put that 
in our truck here. Oh, we have a truck, by the way. That's what this, it's like an actual vehicle we can drive. It's also water powered. <laughs> We're gonna grab our money, because we'll need money to do stuff in the other towns anyway. Okay, so we got our money, we got the iron bar. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna weigh these. All right, Ruby, what are you worth? It's like, no. 367, okay, it's not bad, it's pretty decent. Then rolls 536, and the sapphire is Oh, just barely edging it out. That just shows you how many more emeralds we you find compared to sapphires, because this sapphire wasn't was already pretty big. This emerald just got like ballooned up in value out of nothing. So like that's and this little guy's probably worth more than all of them. No, not quite, but it's also very small. That's okay. Uh, was it this one? Yeah, this one was the most valuable, so we'll use that one. We'll keep the rest of these though. Okay, our little pan is empty. And now... <laughs> I, I thought I spotted like a wayward shard. We got we have this pan that we kept very far away <laughs> on purpose because there's probably a decent amount of gold in here. Like I can notice the, the game jittering a little bit every so often. Alright, so let's... Pour that in there. Let's move this way. I was just showing that off. We're not, we don't need the crisp. It'll let it sit in the plants and not burn them to a crisp. <laughs> For now, this is going to get moved back down here where I can... Yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, me too, buddy. Uh... <laughs> My reaction to half the shit in this game when it doesn't work how it's supposed to, you're just like, huh? <laughs> Alright, is there any other... I think it melted all the gold down. How much is this gold bar worth by itself? Eight grand! Okay, that's a pretty good value. Uh, let's let it heat up. Oh, a little piece of iron got away, huh? Go ahead and switch our anvil to... Um, So let's switch the anvil to um, jewelry mode. Let's stack our little gem on here. Sit up there like it's a dinner plate. Okay, the bar should be pretty heat, pretty well heated up. And the 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 meaning of these icons is that's like one gem, and that means like two ingots. And as you notice, we have one ingot, but we also have a saw that we can use to cut this ingot in half. So we're gonna put that there. Sawing in a half, and then very quickly grab our hammer and BAM! Necklace! <laughs> and this is basically what you do with your gold is you make stuff out of it to sell. And since this is the only thing we've got to sell, we're gonna just run up to the drawer and sell it by itself. This place up here is where you sell, you can sell the vast majority of the stuff in the game into this little table right here. $10,000. Like the bar itself was like eight grand. What's... Oh, this is a... Uh, these stock markets are where you can sell specific things for possibly more. In the case of this, this one buys iron bars. And right now the the sell percentage is up by like 10.2 percent, but you don't want to sell iron past like the the super early parts when you have nothing else to sell. But as you see, yeah, we're just made a cool 10k. Mind you, from doing almost nothing, we did the sorting and like the processing, but we didn't have to do all the stuff with the dirt because we have those machines doing it for us. Speaking of which, while we're right over here, I'm gonna purchase another uh, tool bag okay and then we'll just kind of keep that up here before we leave off to go do other stuff now that we have a bit more money we're going to um, make sure these machines are fixed up
and so that they'll be running while we're gone, which might be part of the why it was so laggy <laughs> last time we poured out stuff. But, you know, so it goes. So we got that money. We need to grab our other money. And we will combine them together on the cold pavement. Let's see. There we go. Grab that. And you just kind of drop them on each other and just... They become bigger money. <laughs> okay, so we've got our bar that we're going to need because we're, we're going to want to make another, at least one more of these. As, as you see, there's just only one that we could buy of each of these. But up here it says craftable and ice helm. So we're going to be going to ice helm today with that iron bar and making at least one more of these. Maybe even two if I have enough iron. I think we do have enough iron, but I just can't remember off the top of my head. So we've got our bar, we've got that, and we're going to grab our little cart too, because it's easier to haul stuff around an ice helm with the cart. So we're going to just jump up in here, turn around. Yep, that totally works. That That's, an exa that's exactly how, our, how we want to... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, do I have a... I mean, I got a bucket. I guess we could use that. I want to make sure the, uh... I want to make sure that the truck's full of fuel, which is water. Because I have, like, forgotten to fill this truck up and it ran out of water and it just kind of... I had to, like... There we go. I saw, yeah, like, the bucket filled it up with some more water. I have, like, neglected to fill it up and then it, like, just kind of didn't go anywhere and I had to like run to the nearest town buy a bucket <laughs> filled with water and pour it into the truck so that I could then drive the truck <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this bucket of water with us just in case oh perfect landing anyway we are gonna go on a little adventure Gotta stay away from these little signposts. Now, normally, if I was trying to go to the other town, I would just kind of cut off to the right there and go down in the river, because who cares? But since we're going to be going to Ice Helm, we should probably go the proper way. I also get to show off more of the map, because there is more to the map than just that one place. There's a little town. I think they, there's, they have a stock market for weapons. Uh, let's see. I know there's another stock market down here on, like, the left, which... At some point, it might be worth it when we get even bigger bars and even bigger gyms to um, come to these stock markets to make even more money. But at some point, you just don't need money anymore. All right, let's see what stock market this is. This one buys gold bars. Don't care. Especially since you use those gold bars to make better things for, you know, better money. But if we were to cut off that direction, that would take us to Bridgeport, which is another one of the towns. Uh, let's see, the left over here, this is the bridge that leads to um, Ice Helm, which is up in the mountains. Over there is another dig that you can purchase. It's a little far, it's a little far away from either of the towns. We don't have a map on us. There's a map that you get, you get at the start, but it's like a physical map, so you have to like pick it up and look at it. But yeah, that's a, that's a, another dig that we could buy. I'm not going to because it's like the worst one to buy because it's far away from stuff and up here to the left I think leads to another dig which is pretty far away from play we'll go look at it anyway because who cares why not this place is like all like snowy and like cold and shit let's see it's like a little frozen lake with a little gold cabin and and I think this is called like Snow Rune or something like that. Yep, Snow Rune Falls. And that's a pretty big dig as well. The good thing about the about the bigger digs is that they have access to uh but deep the deeper you go, the bigger the stuff you find. That's like just a hard rule with this game. Like at our current dig, which is um, the Ember Cradle, you can only go down five blocks, so the stuff you find is pretty modest at best. 
but it's what you start out and it's it's you start there for free so it's it's not a bad place to develop up to just make money to start developing in another place all right so this is ice helm there's a small shop here that sells like i think they sell like stone building stuff because you can you can actually build yourself like buildings in this game you don't have to but you can build like a little like factory have all your stuff going in i appreciate the aesthetics so maybe at some point we'll build like a little house or something <laughs> but for now i'm not concerned about that we're gonna grab our, our very efficiently placed cart let's see we're gonna grab our, our money because we're gonna need money in this place okay i'm also gonna grab this iron bar because we're gonna that's Iron bar is the main reason why we even came here when we had a big enough iron bar. So now we're going to get this. And th I, this is one of my favorite places, period. Okay, wait for an elevator. We don't have to wait for... Well, we kind of have to at this point because the thing's in the way. Yeah, this is basically like a big dwarven fucking ruin place. <laughs> it's really cool. I love... I, I am a fan of, like, this, this kind of shit, like... Underground cities like this, mm-mm, chef's kiss, like, and all the Elder Scrolls stuff, like, all the Dwemer stuff, like, my favorite places to go, like, it's just so cool. Anyway, that big forge there is how you make, uh, new stuff, like, new drills and harvesters and all that, but you need a, you need a, like, a, uh, blueprint to do so. So that's the first thing we're buying, we're gonna roll our little shitty cart down here. Let's see. This one is for the um, forged iron drill. Yep, I was right. It does cost. Um, that's for the tier two drill, which we're not going to be worrying about at all. Okay, so we buy this. I think there actually is a dig in this place as well, like a small kind of like indoor dig, but like. I don't know if there's anywhere to really sell stuff, so it's kind of a kind of a awkward. Okay, so we're gonna buy that. We also want to buy this um, intake booster because you can put these. Uh, when you make these, you can only get these by making them. But when you make these, you get um, you put them on your uh, your intake pipe, and it and it boosts the pi the water pressure. So it's something we will we will definitely want to be buying. Yeah, yeah, it might help if I put money in there, right? But well, we're going to definitely want to be to buy this and eventually make, I think it's four of them. Okay, and then we'll just... Uh, we could also buy conveyors here, actually, it looks like. Let's see. As you can see, these conveyors aren't cheap, so that's why I was wanting to make some money to, to before we even thought about it. Yeah, they basically work like the other um, things that we were using to split things off, except like when you put on a little thing, you'll, I think it will go to like the right there. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the other town to buy conveyors because there's like a shop dedicated to them at the other town. Plus, I'll just be a good excuse to show off that town too. Just showing up, like this is I, this is a game I put a decent amount of hours in, so it's fun to just show stuff off to people that might not have seen it. It's just a good it's just a good time in general there's no enemies to fight you can't die like even if you do like ridiculous shit like like there's like a lot you can you can just jump down here no fall damage there's lava you just kind of walk around in the lava <laughs> it's just silly like you literally cannot die there's like I don't know. It's just it's just a very fun chill game. What is Oh, here's the dig by the way. I didn't realize this was the dig until I just literally noticed this like for sale sign. You can like I think you dig over in this area instead of like directly down. I mean, it's cool. I think you can use this to get resources up to like the top layer. Step in on the heat. Do 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 do. <laughs> exactly. Just 
jumping down in the molten the molten rocks. Yeah, I, this, I like I really like this place, and I wish there was just more to it. Like I wish the dig was a little better. Like I wish there was like a like if this place had like a really expensive dig, but also had like a jeweler jeweler like really close to like this tools. Like if there was another little hallway like over here that had the, a jeweler, then and had a really expensive dig, this would be like the, the coolest place to have like your water stuff going on. But alas, it is not quite like that. But yeah, like these, st like these dwarf statues, just really cool stuff. All right, so we've got our little iron bar here. We've also got our forged iron masterwork design. We're gonna put that there on our pedestal. Cause that's where you put your designs at that you buy. We'll just kind of keep that one there. And where did I put the iron bar? There it is. And now, you got our little guy here. Pour that in there, and you do this. And we've got a drill. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I think that's still technically in the cart, so we'll play ball with that. <laughs> and it gives, and it gives you your change. It's like a vending machine for <laughs> drills. <laughs> <clears throat> We should be able to make another one. Huh? I think that still technically counts as being in there. And I think since we probably have excess, we probably we probably have enough excess iron to make one of these to take back with us too. So we will do so. Probably only one though. Okay, I was like, wait, where the fuck is it? <laughs> okay, just <laughs> Okay, <laughs> standing up on in, cool. Yeah, those 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 little drills are just like hanging off the side. Those technically are in are in the hitbox of the cart, so they, they it counts. Oh no! <laughs> Kitty, no! <laughs> Not like this. Oh, perfect timing. Just jump up here in our little cart. Now, another thing you can buy that makes going doing stuff down here easier is it's a uh, called a pallet. But I like the cart a little more. It's a little more maneuverable. I keep spreading estrogen propaganda in this testosterone <laughs> household. All right, so we've got these. Now we're out of there. We can probably just put these in the truck, make it a little easier on ourselves, so that we can use our cart for other things that aren't holding drill, big ass drills. You know, what? it counts. Cool, whatever. And eh, it's fine that we hold this guy in there. It'll be fine. And then we'll get our. Is that still in the truck? <laughs> it's still in the truck. It's like I got a little, little extra set of wheels in the back. You know, it doesn't make sense, but the game that the game accepts it, I'm go I will also accept it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I love this game. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go from Ice Helm with our new drills. We're, all, we're gonna go down and visit Bridgepore. If I if I swing, if I okay, we're gonna also swing by. Oh, that's Drekquar. That's the place I was saying that I don't really like. I mean, it it goes pretty deep. I think it goes just as deep as some of the other like. Um, Oh, this might have been a mistake. 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 <laughs> oh, God. Help. Help me. Uh, 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 okay, I think we're good. Maybe. I don't think this area is... 
I don't think this area is technically open for business yet. But you know what? It's fine. Well. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, cool. We're good. I think that's coming. The I think this place is coming in the next update. Let me see. Let's take a look. Coming soon. Because the next update is gonna be is gonna add farming to this game. Like, considering you already have like these big like water pipes and shit, like it's I have a feeling it's gonna add like industrial farming to this game. As if you needed any other reason to just fuck off in this game for like hours on end. It's gonna add farming, and you could probably use that to not have to play the digging game. <laughs> anyway. We're not gonna do that. I think that's also the same area. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Alright, so. Bridgeport is off to our right, which we would be going to, but this place is the dig that I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Uh, we're not gonna buy it yet, but this is, like, South Hope is the best dig in the game. Like, just for con just for context, this, this place is massive. Like, Look how big this place is. You got a little ocean. It's like oceanfront property. That's where you get your water from, by the way. You get it from the ocean. <laughs> but yeah, like, this place is easily the best dig in the game. And it's, like, pretty close to Bridgeport. Which also has a jeweler, jeweler. So you can sell stuff. So you can, like, make runs into town and all at once and sell just a bunch of stuff. Okay, and this is a bridge pour. First thing we got here in bridge pour is a vehicle store. Which currently the vehicles are a little lacking. Like there's, there's, this is like the truck we have. This is a up slightly faster truck, which doesn't really matter because you're not really that far away from anywhere you want to go anyway. Now, there was a jeweler is a heart, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely one of those words that you don't, it's not used very often, and so, like, when you say it, it sounds, like, wrong. <laughs> uh, excuse me. But, yeah, in previous versions of this game, from what I've seen, there used to be an excavator truck where, like, it had, like, a diggy, spinny guy on the front that used to dig through dirt. And then you it had, like, a dirt tray, and you could probably do something with that dirt tray, I'd imagine. But right now, I think that's disabled so they can work probably work on it some more but yeah that's vehicles and then over to the left is a uh, I think it's like itchy carts and that is where I bought this cart from this is called the fast cart and it, mo it moves at run speed while you're carrying stuff around in it yeah spinny boy sounds like fun so I'm kind of sad that it's disabled right now but yeah like this has like Agile cart like turns fa faster. I don't know if it is the same speed as this though, which that's the only reason I even got this cart. It's it does run speed, and this one that you start with does not. So carting stuff up to the door at like the base camp one at the Ember Cradle is much faster if you have one of these because you can just throw a bunch of your stuff you're selling in there and just run up there, sell it. Oh. There's also this scrap place. Uh, I don't really know the purpose of turning stuff to scrap. But basically you put some stuff in there that you don't want anymore. It turns to scrap. And that scrap is worth like half the value of what it would sell for or buy for. It's like if you have like... I'm not going to do, any, do anything with scrap here. But like I think you could turn things that aren't made of metal into scrap. And they could smelt that down to iron. I guess that's technically the use for it. But like... I don't know why you'd want to, but you can just dig iron out of the ground anyway, so I don't know if there's like a higher purpose for that than what I know. I'm, I, I'm probably just a noob. <laughs> Alright, so we'll drive further down. And we've got Fabrics Fancy Furniture. Fancy Table. Planner Box, which those are kind of nice. Cactus, your new best friend since you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking savage. <laughs> Chairs. A fancy bed. Doesn't do anything 
different than the little bit camp bed I think that you can get a throne some who says money can't buy taste <laughs> the head of a deer probably dead probably <laughs> a safe again most of this stuff is just aesthetic stuff like like this is where you'd put like all your your gems and stuff at some point, I probably would buy one of those just to have like a massive fucking gym on it because I'm I'm vain like that. Oh, and over here, which is the store we're probably gonna be using soon, is the con Conveyor Nation. <laughs> Yo, welcome! Hey, Conveyor Nation, how you doing? Thanks for coming to the stream. <laughs> yeah, these are the conveyor belts. They're not cheap, but they are very nice to have. Uh, basically what our setup is going to be is we're going to be, um, well, the, you have to have your drills down in the hole so that the deeper, the deeper your drills are, the better stuff they, the better size stuff they get. So you have your drills deep down and you have those feed stuff onto a conveyor belt to take that to your harvester. The harvester takes that stuff and, uh, and turns the dirt into your items and then you have that stuff like with the conveyor go up to the surface where you can have more room to move stuff around and then that's where you do all your like your cleaning stuff and splitting off and whatever so yeah we'll be coming back to i'll just kind of walk to the rest of the places because there's not much more stores here than what i've shown off now but yeah, this is, this is another tools and equipment store like back at the other place, but it has the tier two pipes and these uh and some other things like these filter hooks are actually um something we'll be buying too. Cause with these, these filter your water before it gets to your machines. So we're buying five of those because that will filter the water completely and then these will take damage instead of your machines so it's a lot less of a chore repairing i mean you still have to repair stuff but it's like you repair these instead of your machines so they're working more often so let's get our money out and we'll purchase i like still like these things are just still <laughs> in the cart in the truck like that We'll just grab the card out, cause yeah. So I was thinking about buying these, but I forgot they sold those here. So this is just pretty convenient, cause I wanted to buy them, cause having to not repair your machines all the time is pretty nice because they'll just keep going until one of these breaks which is very likely gonna be the very first one because the first one takes the brunt of all the the nasty water and then the second one takes like a bit less damage and then the third takes less and the fourth takes less and the fifth takes very little damage because the water is mostly filtered already and then once that's through that the water is purified so you, you don't the machines don't take damage Oh, here's the, here's a map, by the way. You can kind of like peek at the map. But it's a little hard to see when you're... We're not going to grab that because then it'll just kind of exist in the world and be, that'll be annoying. We're going to buy another tool bag though while we're, while we're here. Put that in here. Uh, and since this, since the placement of our uh, cart's a little more laissez-faire than I thought it was going to be, that should technically still be in the truck. Let's find out if it is. It sure is. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, that makes these carts a lot easier to haul around because usually normally I'd try to get them up in here and actually be in the thing, but no, it's just, it's just like a little floating trailer. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, this is just another tool store, and this over here is a, um... Housing store. They sell stuff like roofs, these pallets that can be useful. 
we got these, uh... You have these, which I guess work kind of like, uh, little channels. But I would imagine you can also just walk up them. And then we've got wood stairs, which are my go-to for, like, getting in and out of places. So we probably will actually buy some of those. Also, buy this pallet, too. I don't know if things stack quite as well on this as they do. Yeah, they don't stack very well compared... Like, they don't stack the way that, um... Like, they do in the cart. Like, they stack... They still... St they stack up, like... They still take up physical space, which is why I don't really like these pallets. But the pallet can just kind of be an aesthetic thing. But they do make it easier to move stuff around if you're moving house, I guess. But I think I'd still prefer to use the truck and the, um cart anyway so I don't know it's kind of an awkward spot if they made if they made it like the cart where like you carry it around like that then I don't know but we're, we'll, we will purchase this the pallet and the stuff on it Excuse me. You also just you can also can't move very fast holding it, so it's kind of annoying. Overall, I think I prefer the cart to the to this guy. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, truck. Don't don't start go spinning into the stratosphere on me. <laughs> This truck has been known to not react very well to weird hitboxes interacting together, so I'm 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 happy that it's not fucking up completely. All right, so now we're gonna go through. The, this is a normal way to get to this town from the Ember Cradle. Is just kind of going through the river. Well, it's fun to have the truck go spinning in the in the stratosphere, but it's awfully hard to get it back down sometimes because sometimes it just goes up there and stays up there. <laughs> I've had a bucket do that before too, where it just said, "You know what? My pe I must go. My people need me," and it just it just went. All right. Okay, let's offload all of our goodies that we bought. Superman. Okay, we'll move our cart over here where I can see it properly. We'll sleep in the dirt like a good plant, like one of the, like one of you like one of your earth plants. <laughs> Okay, let's grab these little, uh, filter hooks, three, you know what, ice cream for breakfast sounds amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I, I realize that, like, I'm going to need to reorganize these my pipe situation here. We're not going to be using, well, we might use this at some point, but otherwise these pipes are going to move for now. Because we're going to start working towards getting the, um... Getting the real setup going. So for now, we're gonna just move this stuff out of the way. Put in one of the straight pipes in. There we go. And now, we could take all these little fun guys I have here. Before we do that, though. I need to 
hammer that uh, little valve I have there, because this that valve is gonna be more useful here than it is there. So we'll move it like right here. Can we just can we just assume it's I mean look at it. It looks straight. <laughs> it's just got that look to it, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see, 50 and yeah, we're gonna fix both these up, but which they should be good for the long haul because well we're adding in these little filter guys. Uh, those should take damage instead of those. The intake booster goes right there, and now our our power is gonna our pipes gonna be a little better. Heterosexual pipe work. <laughs> Okay, that's, we'll have our little dudes hanging from there. Only one per pipe. But that's okay. That's why I wanted to move stuff around so we get all these like in a sequence. So that'd be easier to kind of deal with them. Okay, we'll move our iron. Just, I don't know. Over here. <laughs> Okay. Now the biggest thing is going to be getting this area cleared out so that we can um, figure out how we're going to process. We're going to need to clear out just a bunch of area down there so we can actually use our little pickaxe we got here to just kind of start digging out a bunch of this space. Now there are mods that add pickaxes that are better, but for now I'm just doing stuff vanilla because, yeah. The farthest I've gotten on my own just messing around was I got that other quarry that I was showing off. I got that, I purchased that and started digging through it, but then like got distracted and then stopped playing because <laughs> that's how that's how it goes some days. You just get distracted and then you're, you just don't play it anymore. Not everyone's kinky with their whole digging. Well, I'm not trying to be kinky right now. You know, I'm just trying to get something done. You know, <laughs> I'm just gonna clean up our whole. Just get my hole cleaned up a little bit. Get it. Gotta have. Gotta have a presentable hole. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh yeah, if I if I'm not streaming something like it's a lot harder for me to finish games. Like just like this last Tuesday, I finished uh, Tales of Legendia, and that that game was like a I'd have to look at the save file, but I feel like that was like a 50, 60 hour freaking game. Like shooey, that was a lot, and I have a feeling I might not have been able to do it all without being on stream and wanting to finish it so we could all see how it ended. Our, our goal is going to be getting those three drills set up. Like, let me. Might as well go ahead and get them down here. Because, yeah. Them being set up properly is going to be important. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's grab these and start setting them up. Okay, that should be the same setting. Okay, 
thing with water is currently off, so don't have to worry about that anyway, but. Yeah, another reason why we're wanting to set our drills up first is that they need this dirt thing right here to function, and if we don't dig up all the dirt, that'd be a little problematic. <laughs> so, I want to get these set up and get the dirt put where it needs to go for them to function correctly before... What we also can do, since we're, we got, we're going to be doing conveyors soon, is um, we could have these all go to it. We could have these lower down even than what they are. Like, let me, like, for example, like, we could have it down, like, here. Well, maybe once I get this space cleared out a little bit more. Just go there for now. It's, oh, this is the crappy pickaxe you can buy at the start. Dig out just a little less area. Man, yeah, my my initial my last time I was doing a serious playthrough of this, I I made the mistake of just cr initially cramming everything down here instead of like having this place just be nothing but drills and then have that stuff go up top to be processed better. Since once once the dirt is made, it doesn't matter where it's processed. Like you could do it up there. You could if you have creative mode, you could do it like in the river wherever you want. Because in creative mode, you can just put stuff everywhere, so you can do some really goofy things. Like, fill the store with dirt or something like that. <laughs> so we're just gonna... Dig a diggy hole, dig a diggy hole. I still have the wrong pickaxe in my hands. Like a fool. Yeah, let's see if we can uh Yeah, building these lower is what I would want to do. Cuz we're going to be doing conveyor belts to get stuff out of here anyway, so we might as well just do the part where we um do cuz if we have the dirt lower, all of our stuff all our stuff we get from this will be slightly better anyway, so it's just a uh, Smart idea to just get it all, get low, get low, <laughs> so to speak. This isn't going to be permanently here because that's why we bought those uh, stairs. At some point, we're going to have a proper stair in and out of here. It's just one of those eventually kind of things, you know. This fucking shovel's was betraying me all last stream, getting in my way. Uh, we got this bucket that I don't want to touch until I absolutely have to. Dirty stores, dirty, dirty store. That's a dirty, st yo, dude. That's a dirty store you got there. Nice. Yeah, I think we'll have. I think we'll eventually have our harvester up top here somewhere. What that will do is just let us have a lot of these drills just, just cranking out dirt. So each one of these drills will just will make its own piece of dirt, and then. Got them, if we have them all on like a row, just be rows of little dirt guys going up top. <laughs> X Frosty has joined the Bean Army. Hello, X Frosty. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well this fine Saturday day <laughs> or night, depending on if you're over there. We're gonna have to get the bottom jeans and the boots of the fur if we want to get low. You know, sometimes sometimes you just gotta get low. <laughs> but yeah, this is Hydroneer. The it's like a it's like a dirt digging simulator game, kind of. It's 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 a weird game, but it's fun. It's good fun. All right, so we're gonna have to um, get our hammer back and get these pipes moved. Cause the reason I had this pipe like this previously is so that we could have our um, have our little harvester also powered by the same kind of water pipe vein. It was it was the same time and space, but harvest is gonna be going up here soon anyway. So it doesn't matter. Let's move you out of the way because we don't need that in the way. It's it's a mess. It's going to be a mess up here for a while until we get all this kind of set up how I want. Okay. Oh, we're going to need this, this T pipe here. But it'll probably move back one. And then... Actually, no. I don't really mind so much if these aren't running at like 100%. 100%. 
because that means I'll still just need only one of these. But then again, I don't know. It won't be the end of the world having more than one of these once I get these all running, because then I just drop, like, a shard bar or so into each of them, and it'll be fine. So we'll figure it out, but for now, I'm just kind of trying to get us all un unglued. Just put you over there. Let's see. Let's move this so we can see a little better. Because what we're going to be doing now, let's find our, the traitorous shovel. Uh, we're going to scoop this dirt and put it roughly where I think it should be. Let's get a little low here. Alright, that one's probably good now. Freaking. That one might be good now, too. The only way we can really know if it's good or not is if we, um... <laughs> just, just throw it on the ground. If we turn all the stuff on, which we'll probably end up doing that anyway, just to make sure it all works. But, let's see, let's sleep. I think it's about to be nighttime. Let's get our money off there, because otherwise I'll forget it's there and then move it all over to place and then be sad when I can't find my money. Because <clears throat> we are going to need that money before long so that we can, um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to regret this, but let's pick up the, uh, let's pick up the pan and get it out of the hole up here. If we need a bit more money, which we probably will, honestly, we're going to want to um, get far away from that freaking nightmare. Let's move the car out of the way. What? Just splashed. What? The cart might have, like, clipped through the earth and went into the water. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... I'm not bothering with that right now. I just wanted to get it out of the way before I made a mistake and somehow poured it on the ground. Okay, and then this little stick of dirt left over. Let's. It can be a little painful to mani to manipulate your uh, stuff here. The placement system's a little weird. Uh -huh. Oh, don't tell me it's not gonna. Uh -huh. Oh, it's because there's still dirt kind of floating around. <laughs> Falcorf has joined the Bean Army. Hello, Falcorf. Thank you for the follow. Hope you're doing well today. I am fighting the game to get it to work properly. It's like just the wrong spot. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's dig up any little dirt bits that are still left floating around. There you are. And now with you, let's go ahead and get low and f that's probably roughly where it needs to be. That's probably better. Okay. Huh? All right. So those are probably where I want them to go. So. Hey, Falcor. Um, yes, these are three drills. You, you can only buy one from like the uh, from the little store over here. Like I'm sure you've probably uh, seen this people interact with the store over here. But yeah, like you can only buy one set of each of these from here. But in Ice Helm, which is somewhere up in the mountains, you can uh, use iron that you dig out of the ground, basically, to make more of these drill guys. So I've been able to do that. I've got three drills now that I'm just going to start trying to set up a little conveyor belt system down here to get all of our little drills doing stuff. If 
for now, I'm just trying to worry about these three. And we're gonna try to get conveyor belts to do our dirty work for us down here as well. Uh, I think I saw a little, a little dirt speck flying in the air. A dirt speck can just turn into a big claw. Thank you, absolutely. I am too, cause last time I seriously played this game on my own, I tried, I tried really hard to get a bunch of these and this and conveyors all down in this hole, and it was a pain in the ass. So I am going to um, actually go and start working on buying said conveyors, cause we don't have any yet. I just got like all this stuff back here, and it's a fucking mess. It's like a scrapyard more than anything, but we're gonna go to Bridgeport now, and we shall buy uh, conveyors. Uh, come on, turn. There we go. And I'll show you this nice shortcut I used to get to Bridgeport, because I'm still at the Ember Cradle here. Uh, you just kind of do this, and you just go in the river. <laughs> You just ramp down there like it's like you're a monster truck and then boom you're here and we'll just kind of pull up our little put put our park our ass right next to the, the, the entrance here although I'm wasting probably more time by trying to do this than otherwise okay cool just because I'm paranoid, we're going to use our little wa water bucket here and fill up our truck. There we go. Alright. Conveyor time! We might not have enough money to buy all that I want, but we're going to at least try to get the bare bones going. So we're going to need probably at least like four or five of these big boys. So we'll buy two of the... These things are just big so let's see three four and if we buy too many whatever it's fine okay see just these are like a thousand like 1600 bucks that's okay Don't, don't you do it! <laughs> Alright, and up we go. Okay, so that's all five of those in there. We're gonna need at least three of these uh, straight convey straight conveyors. <laughs> Get these straight conveyors in here, because those are gonna be the ones that are gonna go in front of the little uh, drills. Okay, just put, throw those up in there too, whatever. Okay, and then they'll go to this. And I'll probably need like at least five of these overall, I would say. Let's see, and then we're gonna grab a few of these. I wanna grab all of the, of the same kind of uh, uh, splitters. Otherwise, you make mistakes if you buy like one of these alt ones and then some of these other ones. The alt ones go a different direction than these do, so you'll just get really confused. Like I, I, I have done in the past. Okay, so one for gold, one for. So one for gold, one for um, iron, one for shards. And eventually we'll buy more so that we can split off all the gems too. But, eh. As you can see, that's we're hemorrhaging money at this point because of all, all all these conveyors are a pretty big overhead. But once you get them all set up and get all your stuff running, it's just like you just kind of don't have to do much. You just repair your machines if need be, and then that's all you gotta do. Uh, let's see. Merger hook, we're not going to worry about that right now. Gem polisher hook, though. You hook, you hook this onto one of your conveyors, and any gems that come out will come out nice and polished. You don't have to grind, don't grind wheel them anymore. Uh, dirt shredder that, like, 
That's really that's really only if you like um Like that that's only like if you really like have like bigger machines that you have too big of pieces of dirt for some reason. I don't I don't have not had to use one of those yet, but you know, maybe I will at some point. I don't haven't used one of these before, but I will buy a centralizer hook because that sounds useful. Okay, and buy that and put those on there. And we'll probably buy like a few more straight conveyors so that we don't have to come back as many times. I'm sure I'll have to come back for another conveyor at some point because yeah, I'll buy, I probably bought like too few of one kind of them and. You know how it goes. You, 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 you go, you buy for stuff from the store, and you come here to the guy. I forgot the fucking eggs. <laughs> it's basically that, but with conveyor belts. All right. Now, I'll show you how to get back from Bridgepore. Do the same way, because you can go both ways. It's just a little trickier to get back up the hill. It's like a specific angle. <laughs> you just kind of clamber your way over the hill. <laughs> it's a little scuffed, but, you know. Honestly, what's not scuffed about this game in the early parts? Because once you can get, like, some of the better, like, the uh, South Hope place bought and developed, you don't have to do that anymore. You'll be driving on, like, flat ground anyway, basically. Alright, so. Q would get out. Let's grab our cart here, a fast cart. Makes us move a little faster. Not turning though. And we'll put that here and then we'll start. Come on. Okay, maybe this isn't working as well as I was hoping it to. <laughs> you know, it's fine. I was just trying to transport some of them out of the truck a little more efficiently, but... Whatever. <clears throat> I'll just start flinging them all over the place. Get out of here. Get out of here! <laughs> Alright. That's a splitter. We'll put that right there. There's a straight... We'll go ahead and just install these three straight ones down here ah uh, oh that's because there's not a pipe there I was like wait why is it not working it's because they need they need a pipe to hook onto mm -hmm. so instead let's go ahead and get we're gonna at the very least put pipes in that I want to use we have we should have some pipes around here that we can use for that <clears throat> like this first one's gonna absolutely probably be a uh, can we, can we place it in the floor like that? It's probably not what I want to do. Yeah, it'll, it'll probably it'll likely need to be there. Um. Yeah, it's gonna be weird because I didn't really think this through very well. <laughs> what else is new though? <laughs> That's okay. If we have to adjust, we'll adjust. Grab this straight. And we'll put it right here. See, now we'll let us put the conveyor belt down. And that should be high enough to properly work with this conveyor belt. Because it'll just kind of spit all the little, little friends out there. And we'll, we'll likely move this this uh, down here so we can have a... Um, we can have a uh, pressure guy, pressure chamber specifically for our, our conveyor belts so things can move nice and quick. Because these pressure chambers restore the water pressure from your source pipe so that your machines can run at full speed or at least close to full speed compared to... Because um, as you use more of wa uh, these water pipes, the water pressure goes down by like 3% per pipe. So if I didn't have one of these, by the time it got down there, let's see, like... Three, six, nine, twelve. Like you get the yeah, like this. This should be slow. Oh, I'm stuck on stuck in a pan. <laughs> the pan. Now the pans are rising up against me. Last last stream, it was like the the shovel kept flopping in the way when I was trying to clean stuff. <laughs> and it's like you shall not clean. <laughs> All 
Oh, I'm almost not coffee. Uh, that's okay, though. I've got other drinks I can go grab if need be. Uh, move you out of the way. Okay, we're going to get our other straight pipes, because I should have some lying around here. I need at least a few more. I'll just, <laughs> just drop them in the hole. <laughs> yeah, I want to get these conveyors set up. Move this traitorous shovel out of the way. Okay, we're... There's the straight pipe. And I'm, all, I'm absolutely sure you could probably do a more effective setup than what I'm doing now, but I also don't care yet. Because <laughs> at some point, it'd be, it, we're gonna, it'd be cool to have another set of these, but we got to get this first set, you know, set up in general so that we can then expand it even more and yada yada. You, you get the you get the you get the idea, the idea. All right, so. We're gonna need some more pipes for our. Uh, we're gonna need to actually buy more pipes because we're not gonna have nearly enough. I don't sound like someone old enough to be drinking coffee. <laughs> well, I appreciate I appreciate that because I'm 32. Oh. <laughs> uh. Excuse me. Um, I stream, normally I stream uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and now I'm going to be streaming Saturdays as well. I have a normal, uh, like, it's not like 9 to 5, but it's like a normal, like, full-time job that I do. So I can only stream so much in regards to that, but... I play games like this. I play Minecraft. Like, like, actually, later today we're going to be playing some more uh, modded Minecraft. I play games like this, Minecraft, JRPGs, specifically Tales of games, because I grew up with them and I am a rabid fan, and just kind of other stuff too. Like if it, a lot of survival games, I like roguelikes as well. So if that's stuff that you sounds like you'd be interested in watching, feel free to pop in and lurk or hang out, whatever you like. Uh, where's did I? I forgot my fucking cart. <laughs> Oh, there's my card. <laughs> it's just filled with garbage. Good garbage, but garbage nonetheless. I didn't realize I grabbed like all the splitters out when I was doing that big grabathon that I was doing there. Alright. Sweet. Uh, alrighty then. We're gonna need a lot more pipe fucking <laughs> getting stuck. We're gonna I'm gonna try to position myself where I can just kinda grab the pipes and then drop them into the cart. Like five, let's see, one, two. Okay, I might have made a mess, but I'm just trying to buy as many pipes as I can as quickly as I can, because I'm going to need a lot of them, because getting conveyor belts to work, they need, uh, they need water, so you got to kind of, like, get them up and around and finagle them around, and it can be, it can be problematic if you don't have enough pipes, because then we'll just have to come back and buy more, and we probably still will anyway, but thankfully they're not that expensive. And if this money runs out, we do have a bucket of resources we can process. I'll just have to separate them out by hand, and that probably take a while. But could be, could be worse. All right, so let's move. We're gonna have to move some of this stuff out of the way because we're gonna our conveyor belts are gonna be coming up from like right there. So we're going to be digging a bit and just got to move some stuff out of the way. Like, you go over there. Those are probably... Have, those might not have to move, but we'll see. First thing we should do, though, is get uh, one of our vertical... 
I was confused because it was laying on its side, so it didn't exactly look like I was expecting it to. Oh, wait, I am a damn fool. Hey, thanks for stopping in, Dodo Booty. It's always fun It's always fun to see you. Let me go ahead and give you a shout out here. Because uh, you are also a, a VTuber, streamer, personality. Quite a fun one, too. So, yeah, go check out Ditto Booty at some point if you guys, if you folks can. That's the good one. I don't oh, know that. You, you spent money, money during the last Sega sale, I see. No, not the sale. I got this, um. Humble Bundle. Ah. They had a Sonic thing. The only one that, um, did... Dirty like Sonic had, fan. Um, Me too. Sonic Voices, because my friend wanted it, so I gave it to her. You didn't miss out on anything. I don't know. It actually looks fun. But yeah, this is what I have. Um, alright. Um. <laughs> Uh-oh. A liker of Sonic Forces? Cancelled. <laughs> But yeah, that's Ditto, buddy. You should go. You should go check them out. One thousand percent. But that's one of my favorite like plug-in thingies I have. Is that like when I when I shout out someone, it actually shows like a clip from them, so you can kind of get a, a taste of what's to come. All right. Well, it would help if I had the conveyors in the right <laughs> orientation. See, so yeah, we need to get those conveyors put down first, and then we can. Put down others. See, where's where are the where are the straights? <laughs> There's a, there one. But yeah, today's gonna be a really big stream day for me because I'm streaming uh, this now until probably like, like twelve or one or so. Whenever me and my roommate do lunch, because me and my roommate always do lunch stuff together. In part because we're both like neurodivergent people that have different ways of doing stuff so we try to work together to function as well as possible <laughs> so we do lunch stuff together and we like go we go to the store together and stuff like that and you know so those those me stopping those at those times is important for my own health and their health as well so so i'll be doing this until like for like another hour or so probably and then after we come back from that lunch break time, I'll be playing more uh, SevTech Ages, which is more complicated than this shit is. <laughs> and I'm pretty far in it now, but there's just more to do. And then that'll be going to like dinner time, probably like five, six, or so whatever. And then after that, I probably will be doing a third stream. Which will be playing a roguelike survival game called Wayward that I've been a fan of for at this point years, and it's like a pix it's like a pixel art like survival game where like you get you get you wake up on like a stranded island and you gotta survive and eventually try to escape, and the wildlife in the island does not want you to exist <laughs> sometimes, so you gotta play it carefully and like be nice to nature whenever you can or nature will not respond very nicely to you like they'll send like zombies and bats and shit at you and you have to balance being good with nature and being like a human being basically <clears throat> but anyhow let's go ahead and get at least one of our little let's sleep one of my pet peeves of this game is when you sleep and you wake up like the stars are gone like it's still fucking dark <laughs> like I've got the gamma turned up on purpose. Like, not really so much for me, but so much for the viewing experience, because at the very least, y'all can still probably see what's going on. If I turn the gamma up too much more, it'll be like, I think it'll be a little washed out, so I don't want to do that either. Streaming's hard. <laughs> like, it, it might not seem very hard, but there's a lot of, like, little things that go into it that can be really frustrating to deal with. Like, like computer settings. Make sure your computer doesn't explode. <laughs> Making sure you're you remember to charge your headset before stream because that's something I failed today. Because I usually plug my headset in after every like stream, which I should have done on Wednesday, but I think I might have forgotten to, and it just my headset just kind of sat around like thirty percent thirty percent battery. All right, we're gonna do this, turn this, because that's where our first uh, vertical conveyor is gonna be. When we can actually get it down there, I think that's one. Let's see if we can get it to fit. 
if it doesn't fit yet. I mean, it fits, but it just doesn't look very good, so we're gonna... We'll dig it out. We'll dig it out. Not gonna... I mean, my Minecraft streams get, like, silenced. The VODs get silenced anyway, because I just play, like, Spotify music, because whatever. Like they can, they can, they can quiet my vods all they want. I record them anyway. Great that I haven't uploaded a vod on YouTube in like months, just because it's a lot of it's a lot of work doing that too. So I'm just like trying to find a good time to, to do it all when working full time is just also not easy. <clears throat> and I, I don't make enough money to really afford to properly pay an editor, so I wouldn't want to like subject someone to that because that's just not fair and I'm not in the I'm not in this you YouTube I'm not into in this uh, streaming thing to step on other people to get to get higher up in the food chain of streamers because who fucking cares I do this for me but also because I like sharing the games I like with other people you know like it's not completely selfish but mostly I also try to help fundraise for friends like like, for example, right now I'm trying to fundraise to help my good friend Hachiko. Because he's trying to get back on his feet. After dealing with, um... Fi being financially abused by... By his ex. You know, not not cool shit to, to do to people. Hmm. I was under the impression I could do that, but maybe I need one of the T-pipes to do what I'm trying to do. I think I do need one of the T-pipes. I think I have some T-pipes. So I think there's a specific way you have to put these pipes into these uh, vertical guys to get them to go where you want them to go. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm just losing my mind. Um. <laughs> I don't even know. Um. Up, oh, up. Oh. Scrub, Jesus Christ! Fine, we'll bring it up top. Maybe it'll be easier to organize this crap. Oh now, we'll oh now, so now you want to not have the pipe, whatever. <laughs> Fucking temperamental ass game. Oh, there's just a little turd, little. Little turd nugget right there. And right there, that probably explains why I wouldn't let me place the pipe there. Yeah, it's, it's cramped as hell down here. Alright, let's grab our, our little friend here and get him back down there. And hopefully that my setup works. I to, I'm going off of this by memory, so. Alright, so that doesn't exactly fit, but I think the the elbow pipe should. Don't know where that elbow pipe went that I had. Maybe it's this one. It might be that one. Game can be temperamental. But that's saying that box games for you. They're built to literally do whatever you want with them. Something doesn't feel right with this. I could have swore I did stuff like this to get all the pipes working together. Hmm. Right, let's... Because that's what I need is just more shit in the way, right? <laughs> I have a feeling it's because the way that this that pipe is um, going, that it was not working how I wanted it to. All right, let's put let's try this again. And now maybe the next one will work better that way. Because I'm almost certain I remember doing something pipe set up like this to get it to all work off the same like water line. Yep, I think that I think that's that's it. I think that's how I need to do it now. 
I think it's just going from here to here was like a weird kind of deal. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Help! <laughs> the dirt was trying to reclaim me. I, I know I'm a bean, but I'm an independent bean. Don't need no dirt. <laughs> Honestly, if I had my way about it, I'd already just dig all this crap out. But I'm currently just trying to get this going. And while this is running, I could definitely just start digging out this whole place to make it look better. But I want to get this going before I do that. Seems like it'd be a, a good use of my time to not just fumble around. <clears throat> okay... And then I need another elbow to keep the water water flow going. <laughs> Just grab another bit of elbow macaroni out of the box. Okay, so we should be able to put another uh, vertical friend there. Now, at some point, we're going to break out. We're going to reach the surface. Oh, we're about to reach the surface. That's also partially why, I, at some point, I want to just dig all this out, because we we'll want a flat surface up top here to deal with our stuff anyway, so, you know. Oh, yeah, I wasn't really that far for I was thinking more of the... Um, this would come out at, so it's not too bad. Okay. Let's grab another elbow. Oh, this is gonna get awkward, isn't it? Okay. Not as awkward as I was expecting it to be, honestly. Okay, we're gonna need one of these for the um, conveyor system at some point. Okay. Let's get another vertical. I should have an okay, that's like I should have at least one more vertical. Because honestly, as long as we can get it out of the hole, I'll happily just have these like in the ground, but if need be, I'll also just buy another vertical one. Oh, I I, I do have more than enough, I think. Let me see. It's... Oh, come on, game. It's fine. I'm just trying to convince the game. It's fine, please. You don't have to freeze up every five seconds trying to save. <laughs> Alright, All right, let's move this out of the way. Just kind of dig more of this. Get it nice and clear. Cause we can use these conveyors to get in and out of here as well too. Even if they're not spinning, they're just still kind of like a little ramp. <laughs> so that's also just a nice quality of life getting in and out of this fucking thing too. Is situate the situation situation. All right. Okay. There's a bit of dirt still stuck there, so we're gonna... And frankly, at the, once we get this setup going, we can just add more conveyors and start the conveyor belt further down and just have a bunch more drills, so... Getting this this part set up is gonna put set us up for success in general. So let's see... Let's let's just move this pipe out of the way. I can already see it now. I don't move it out of the way and then I start digging and then it just gets sent into the abyss <laughs> immediately. I'm just like, well, great. I'm happy for me. Happy for us, really, you know? Like 
I probably do want to get one more of these vertical ones because I want things to be on the level of that set of blocks because those set of blocks are above this dirt so I can just kind of build them around and stuff like this. Makes it a little easier to get around for me. It's a lot of it's a lot of work getting it all where you where I want it to go, but once it's set up and it starts just running, like it'll just be super good. Super good, super good. Alright, so we need two more elbows. So that's also why I bought so many elbows, because th this stuff just takes a lot of pipes. And frankly, I probably need more elbows as it is. Okay. And I, I'd say, yeah, like one more and then would be good to go so I need like one more of these and a corner let's see probably a left turn yeah I need like a, a left turn and then we can have all of our stuff processed off this way so empty all of our little pipes out of here just have the pipe pile huh? just a stacking nightmare <laughs> trying to do this smart so that I can, um, well, these aren't really sorted yet, but I'm just trying to sort things slightly better than what I have been. Oh yeah, I forget. We're going to also need to, um, do this guy. So we might, we might, we might need more than one conveyor. We'll get two for the sake of it. We'll get like two conveyors, two of the vertical, two more verticals, a turn, Of course, you can set all this up, all this, all the stuff I'm doing now. You can set all this up with just like one drill, so you don't have to have multiple ones to do this. Like honestly, I think I did that. Like I set up like one drill and then the harvester with the conveyor set, and then while that was running, I used the, the iron I was getting from all that stuff to make more drills and just add to it. I'm just kind of going feet first with it because I know that's what I want to do anyway. So. Let's just throw the money in there. Put it in the car. Okay, and then we'll attempt to back up because the hitboxes on this truck are not very forgiving. Like you'll get stuck on everything trying to drive by them. So I get try to give a wide berth to all these little light posts. So we need two verticals and like one left turn conveyor, and probably like at least one or. <laughs> One or two more sorters, actually, too. I'm thinking about it, because then we'll be able to sort off the. Um... Oh, we could. We need at least one more sorter. No, no, we need two more. One for Claudium and one for uh, shards. Wait, no, I've got. I think I have three already. So, three metals, and then I need like one more, because the gems. Right now, I could care less. They could just all go in the same place, and I can manually, uh, like. Um, do stuff with those like they all the gems can just kind of go into like the logic thingy and then whenever I see that there's a lot of gems I can pull the lever cronk and okay I think this is I think the left conveyor is the one I need here because I need at least one of those and I need two of these. And for good measure, I'll probably grab another straight conveyor. And if I don't end up needing it, 
And then we have the splitter conveyor. If I don't end up not needing it, then cool, whatever. I could, I'll use it. I could save it up to use at the next place I set up stuff at. Because the goal is to get this ember cradle place <laughs> set up. Hello, Nakora. Thank you for stopping in. We're playing more of the water diggy dirt game. Water diggy dirt game. Water diggy dirt game. <laughs> Doot -doot. <laughs> We're also going to be streaming a lot today, so there'll be more there'll be more than one opportunity to watch me play a game. Okay, so do I have my bucket with me? I might have left it back there. I mean, it's fine. The, the truck's not that bad on water, but like it certainly um, can if you if you neglect to fill it up and then you. Um... Oh well, I'm just decided I wanted to stream a lot today. I don't know. I I decide. I've Monday is now a uh, um, Saturday is now Minecraft day. So I was gonna be switching our Minecraft stuff to today, which means I'll be doing another Minecraft stream today later. But I was like, you know what? I got the time off on Saturday. I want to stream the whole day. So we are <laughs> like three st like three different streams kind of just split up throughout the day. Oh oh oh! Come on! Come on! Come on, truck. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got stuck on a conveyor belt or something. Man, I figured it'd just be fun to stream a lot today and hang out with all, all you cool folks. Because as much fun as it is just playing games, it's also fun to just play games and have cool people hanging out and experiencing the jank and weirdness that I'm dealing with with the games as well, you know? That's like the other like great part of streaming is just like having other people hanging out with you because it's just nice, you know? Alright, let's get all this stuff out of the truck here. It's a mess, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna sleep because I'm pretty sure it's not about to be nighttime. Yeah, doesn't matter that much because I mean we're doing stuff on the surface a lot now anyway. So seeing is not that hard, big of a issue as it was earlier when we had to be down in the hole digging dirt manually. Alright, so let's move the pickaxe. I need like two more joints there. <laughs> well that's not entirely it for me. Like like I'm like as long as I'm like playing something I want to be playing and honestly I don't really mind if people just lurk and have a good time like watching me do awful stupid things. Like just do dumb shit like I tend to do like in SevTech where like I'll forget what I was doing and I'll go off on a tangent and build something and I'm like oh wait that's not what I was doing <laughs> like I don't mind if people lurk I, that's great cool enjoy as, if, as long as you're enjoying it that's kind of what matters but it is all it's always nice having people just like say oh hey that's cool or hey this game is cool I've never played this game you know stuff like that like <clears throat> Alright, so that is now up on the. Uh... Okay, so we're gonna just go on the ground. <coughs> oh, shit. Well, I realized I want to do something a little different with this next conveyor. Let's. I think this will work. Yeah, and it actually looks kind of cool. Like, it's like this. These conveyors are done. <laughs> and then we'll get another elbow here. Okay, and that's where our left conveyor. We'll go right here. 
And we're working on getting this setup going where like this makes dirt down here and then the dirt goes up here. And well, actually, we might not actually need this left conveyor now I think about it because we actually need it. This guy going here. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, we need some blocks to get that to work, but hmm. It might be best if I do it that way since. Yeah. Because in that case, we won't need this left conveyor because this will spit it out onto a different. <laughs> spit the stuff out onto a different. Um, dude. And we want our conveyors up top. On top of these. So yeah, we're going to. That's a good thing about that extra vertical. <laughs> Looks like a scrapyard right now. Just all this garbage in the yard. <laughs> Hmm. All right, so we're going to need another one of you. Go over there. I need another T pipe. I know I've got one somewhere. There we go. I probably need to buy more of those because. They're used for very specific things, but those specific things are, you know, useful. Okay. And yeah, we need another block. We're gonna, we're gonna borrow a block from over here. I'm sure there's one I haven't nailed down. If not, then we'll, we'll nail one down. Let's see. Where are you at, Hammer? Where'd I leave you? There you are. Gimme. Give Gimme Give the block. You're going. You're going onto the blockchain. <laughs> All right. Now it's oriented the correct way. Because there's always a correct way to have your blocks. There's like an objectively correct way. Okay. So. Guy yeah, is gonna be there, which means it probably needs to be there. Hmm. Pro. Damn it. <clears throat> Actually, no. I. I might have to do this a little, a little differently than what I planned. Cause we need this pipe here. Back. Back. I mean, you go back here. Cause what I was wondering is having a uh, power thing right here. I could always do that and just move this over by another one. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's just it's just a little more extended than I was thinking it was gonna be. I guess. Or is it? <laughs> Trying to figure out the best way to have this little thing go, cause there we go. That's probably that way I'm gonna want to have it, cause we're gonna have blocks like all on this surface at some point anyway. So I could just like run up here, toss a thing in here, and do things that way. So. Now I need an elbow needs to go here. Hmm. 
And then we'll have a straight pipe there. With our with a cork. Funny enough, I bought a cork earlier this stream. I was like, oh, I'm not I'm gonna use it like once, but nope, we gotta we gotta use it for it now. We don't need more water going that way. It'll just make noises that'll be really annoying. I have one more T. Put that there. Not, not quite there. There we go. Alright, and so now with that, we can put two straight conveyors there. And once those get water, those will all be routing stuff up here. Stuff will get harvested there. Hmm. Got a feeling I need to do this a little differently. We're gonna have to readjust these. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, because I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to get water down to these conveyors as well. So I'm gonna need to do that. Um. Actually, we could put a T there instead. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the T there instead. It'll also move less pipes that way. And then that stuff can kind of just go back how it was. Although now I don't know if I have enough T's because I used an extra T. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's see. Alright, so. We're going to have that T there. Have this elbow here. And probably just have an elbow here. We should still be able to put all of our conveyors where we need them to be. Okay. And so now that will let us run water this way. We'll probably also get another pressure chamber just for this conveyor line so this one can move hopefully around as fast as the other one too. We're gonna grab one of these corner blocks, make sure it's the right orientation. Should be that orientation, yep. And we'll just uh, let's see. Yeah, that's where we're... Okay, so right there is where that one's gonna go. We'll grab a straight one and put it through here. And that's where we're, we're gonna need another one of these. Hmm. Trying to think critically about this. <laughs> I know, it's scary, right? <laughs> Trying to think at all. Hmm. It might be better if this top line does things a little differently. So, I, cause it's gonna be a pain in the ass accessing this this way. So I think we're gonna move this down here, which means we gotta move this shit again. That's okay. Cause can I cancel my niece's birthday? <laughs> There's play to be done. I mean, you can, but you might, your family may not be very happy with you. <laughs> like, I gave you permission, but you might want to, like, I don't know. <laughs> hmm, yeah, this is going to be tricky. probably making this harder on myself but but me being able to actually access this uh, 
This stuff is... I feel pretty important. Because not being able to actually put a, the shard in there very efficiently is going to make things annoying, to say the least. Alright, let's see if that... Will that do it? Uh, it might be a little annoying still, but... Maybe not. Maybe not as bad as it was could have been. Uh, we'll, we'll test that. Let's let's grab a shard from the bucket here and test out like just trying to casually put one in. Problem. The, the problem being though that it's lower down and it'd be in the floor, which is annoying. So I've got to I've got to reorganize this somehow because I forgot the whole. This is where the floor is going to be thing. I do have an idea for that, though. Hmm. It's not pretty, but it is certainly an idea. That's probably going to involve more pipes than I'd rather use, but but so it goes. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's get that pipe out of there because this might be changing a little bit. If I, think of, if I do that, then this might become even easier because the output will be like here and I can just have conveyor belts go that way. So let's see. Let's sleep, because I'm sure it's kind of annoying that with how dark it is. Oh, uh, is it getting nighttime? Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, it was getting nighttime. <laughs> it was progressing to the nighttime. Now, if you're playing in creative mode, there is an item like an hourglass that you use to pause time. And uh, I would otherwise use that to pause time. Like in this mode, like I would go to make a make the game creative mode and then get that hourglass and then like load up out of creative mode. But like for some reason, whenever you, if you make a file in creative mode, like all the stuff you can just buy all the claims without really doing anything. So maybe after, uh, well at that point it probably won't matter anymore. So yeah, whatever. All right, so let's grab this. Because what we're going to do is have our little chamber. Up here. Or maybe we'll have like up here. Yeah, that actually makes a lot more sense. Because then it'll be closer to. Um, this stuff. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna need some more T pipes. We'll go buy we'll go buy some T's and probably some elbows from the stall. <laughs> the money isn't here, right? Yep, all five K of it. Probably gonna need another one of these too. While I'm thinking about it, and if not, yeah, we're gonna need one for downstairs. I think. So let's grab some elbows. Grab like a few straights in case I need a, little, a few more. Um, grab some teas. I 
can in case they need it. I'll grab a cork or two. Okay, and then you can take your little cart, park it in a little shopping spot, pay, go like way over here, grab your cart, it just slurps over to you like, like, like magic, and then you're off to the races. All right, so. Okay, let's, let's reach in here and grab a T, that's a straight. That's an elbow. There is a T-pipe, because what I'm thinking of doing is doing like something like this. Hmm. Actually, that doesn't quite work, does it? That's kind of awkward, huh? Alright, well. Oh. Alright, where's this thing? Alright. That's gonna be the way we have it, so... We're just gonna be having pipes snake all through the floor at this point, it looks like. Because you can put these pipes in the floor like you saw earlier. So while I have you there. That's a that's a T. There's an Elba. Ah, I see, I see, I, I see what's going on here. I need to do it this way. Okay, and now that can have an elbow. And from there, we're off to the races, because then we can start, um... Going through here. Let's see, let's get this down there. We need another two elbows, which... It's also why I just bought more of them, because I, I knew we were going to need more. T you can go there. There's an elbow. We'll separate another elbow out. Okay, let's see. Turn you. I mean, we could just have the conveyor down there in the floor, but I'd rather not because it just kind of makes it annoying to deal with. Our conveyor is going to be there. Let's grab a straight conveyor. Okay, cool. We got a straight one right here. Should they, that way's more pointed that way. So they'll go this way. Let's get a straight. Now, we can now use largely straight pipes, I think. Okay, so we got that. Oh, uh, we. Let's grab. Is that a straight? Is a straight? Okay. And on that straight one, we can grab. Let's see, where is it? That's that's our bucket. <laughs> that's. All right. Gym polishing hook. We're gonna put this. Wait, is there like enough clip to get up there? We'll put that there. So if gyms pass through there, they should get cut and eventually get to their final destination that way. 
I think we will actually use this turn still if it if it's still like function. Okay, yeah, it's still going the same way. So let's grab another elbow for that. So we'll have it do a turn here and start heading back towards where like the rest of our machines are, I think. There we go. Again, I'm probably making this way more complicated than I really need to. <laughs> Case in point, I could probably um, get rid of this chunk of pipe here, yeah, and use an elbow there, and I likely need to buy more elbows again, because doing that will, will make it where I don't have to worry about this cork and all that fun stuff over there we'll go buy like I'm gonna regret if I only buy one elbow so we're gonna buy like more, more pipes I wish you could make pipes like there are mods that add things like like storage boxes that can hold a lot like a lot of things so but I'm not using any mods right now so we're just kind of doing things the old-fashioned way like like God intended Stacking things infinitely in your cart. Or on your cart, <laughs> apparently. I think that's like seven. Don't know. Almost don't care. I just know I needed more. Thankfully, pipes are pretty cheap in the grand scheme of things for what they do for you. Okay. Basically, the bright idea I had was if I do if I do things this way, I don't have to worry about any uh, drip. No, there was no there was no drip happening that day. Okay, and that, and then another elbow down. Thanks to your force experience for just kind of popping up, making me think that maybe my game crashed or something. The game, nope, just being weird. All right, so now we can put that conveyor back down. This will be a lot more interesting once this is all, like, running. Like, right now it's just kind of, like, me just f fiddling around with, like, components. But it should be a lot more interesting once we actually get the ball rolling. Speaking of which, where's my other hammer? Because one of the first things we're going to be filtering off with this is going to be our, um... Or iron and stuff like that. Like, let's get a splitter conveyor. Take a look here. Okay, we're gonna need some straight pipes now. Okay, and then our splitter conveyor is the wrong way because I am a genius. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, and I'm almost certain that the stuff it's filtering off would go to the right here. I'm, I'm, it might be a good idea for me to um, get the conveyor system actually up and... Fine. Fucking game. <laughs> I got stuck in the hole. Thankfully there is an unstuck command, because it's very easy to get stuck in places like that. If you're not careful. Frankly, I'm surprised it's the first time I've ever used that this stream. Because honestly, I expect I I expected much 
I expected it a lot sooner. <laughs> All right. So our, our little drills here are each gonna have their own uh, thing. Let's take our shard bar out of here. Hi, Pookie. Hi. Little goblin man. All right, so. Mr. Kitty is here. Yeah? I would prefer if you stayed away from all the cords I have plugged into the wall. <laughs> I was patting his belly and he was not content with that and he scampered off to the living room. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. That pipe is no longer needed down there. I think it's getting nighttime. We'll go ahead and sleep to get that over with. Oh, alrighty then. <clears throat> As far as this water s situation goes, I don't really mind having this here and having all these pipes, like, share the same uh, deal, like, share the same water source, because it won't be, like, full 100%, but it only, it'd still only be, like, one chamber for all three of these, so I'm, it's, it'd be fine that way. Because you put your little shard bar in there and it powers this to make all the source water. Proceeds to continue <laughs> procrastinating to the very end. A critter after my own heart. Not because I really want to, but because Brain's just like, oh, it's fine. You got time. And then, spoiler alert, did not have time. <laughs> did not, there was not time. I'm just. Oh, come on, fucker. Get, get, get back here. Good enough. I should probably have this higher up considering how much of a pain that just was to get that in there even though it's like literally like right in front of me. Get out of the way. Let's grab our hammer. I wanted to grab it from further away but it was just a little too far. Alright so yeah we're gonna raise that up a little bit because whatever. I'll lose like 3% water pressure compared to otherwise but I don't know if I care. Like, this thing running, like, super hyper-efficiently is not really what I'm going for. I'm just needed to be running efficiently and working and getting me stuff. You know, like, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be good enough. <laughs> All right, let's see. See, now I do need that little T-pipe for probably uh, this one. Or maybe it's this one. Or maybe it's not and I'm just a fool. Yes, <laughs> the answer to that question is yes, I am a fool. Okay. Grab you and let's just lock that down. Let's see. I would prefer if I could have this pipe section right here do stuff. But I'm probably going to need to have pipes come in, water coming through that way, and then, hmm. Hmm. I could use another T-pipe there, and let's 
let's see. I know I have. I know I've been throwing them all over the place, but I need one now. <laughs> there we go. Perhaps I should have all this stuff run off of one. I probably just should do that instead. Like have this like run through here and down. To, yeah, we're gonna do that. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah, just make just got trying to make things easier on myself, honestly. probably how I want it now. Um, damn it. <laughs> Son of a... Get in there. That, that doesn't count. That's not in. We could just crouch and do it. Damn it. <laughs> That's why I'm, it's, I'm trying to do this very carefully so I can have a better, um, an easier time getting these things to work. Oh, shit. That's probably how I want it. Much better. Okay, so we're gonna run this pipe this way through this uh, little staircase. It's not gonna be a staircase forever. Like, we're gonna probably move this somewhere else. And we also have some wooden stairs instead. But for now, this is how we get in and out. We could also just get in, in and out through that, too. Like, we can just come down here and just run, <laughs> run down here like a little... Like a... Like a gremlin. <laughs> Grind herself up like the rest of the dirt. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting sidetracked by just running around like a like a freaking heathen. <laughs> Which if anything the closest I am to I am to, to a religion would be a heathen, so that's fitting. Uh, oh I fell. I fell in the dirt. Help. <laughs> Alright, let's... Okay, those should work that way. Which means this should now go down. A again, it would be more advisable to have, um... The open sky storage. <laughs> it would be wiser to have, um... Uh, what you might call it have um have one of, have one of these chambers before every single one of these to um make sure that power is properly going where it needs to be matter of fact why don't we just move this stuff over now if i move this over they'll give me more space to actually work with this stuff so let's grab our pick ass pick ass sick ass hole The open sky, yeah, but we, we, it's basically like a, a yard sale, except I'm not selling anything. I don't know if they do yard sales in Canada. I don't know if that's just like an American thing, because we're all poor and trying to pass money around to each other because nobody has money. Pick ass! <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> Alright, let me get my chat back. I was checking my... Oh, you do have yard sales? Okay. I wasn't sure if that's what... If Canada also did yard sales. Yeah. If there's one mod I would probably add to this, it'd be the... There's a, there's a mod that adds, like, pickaxes that have bigger range of effect. And some of them get outright obscene with how much dirt they can dig up. But you have to upgrade them with, like, gems or something, I think. So, it's not, like, free, free. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where that iron just went. Oh, there it is. Pick ass, pick ass, pick ass. Now I can't stop saying pick ass. I know we just spent all that time putting that there, but like, we should now be able to put this here, flip, flip it around a little bit. Oh, damn it, it's in the wrong orientation now with me flipping it like that. Uh, let's. Yeah, that's probably how I want it. There we go. Pickaxe is in the way. Comrade Pickaxe is stopping me. Or maybe it's not Comrade Pickaxe. Maybe it's not. It's not Comrade. Yeah. It's, I don't know what the word for not a comrade would be. <laughs> Enemy Pickaxe. I guess. I don't know. The, to the tools have sentience and they don't want me to, per to dig. Also, I just realized all these blocks are in the wrong direction, so that's that's not fun. Where's my little bonky hammer? Come with me, bonky hammer. Temporarily gonna live down here, bonky hammer. There we go. Now all the blocks are the right or will be the right orientation when I put this place them down. Why does it matter? Because it matters. It matters because yes. <laughs> there we go. And now that I can get in and out of here pretty easily comparatively. And that's uh, out of the way now. Uh, I might do um, this kind of like I might do this a little differently than I already had an idea because if I do it this way I could have it closer to where the stuff's actually going to be used. And if I eventually add, like, a few more drills, that'll give that, them space to kind of just kind of mesh in as well. Yeah, I think this is the way we're going to do it. Let's move our magnifying glass out of the way. Just kind of... There shouldn't be any water running through any of these. Yeah, okay, yeah, those are still 100% condition. 
I got most of the stream I've spent not actually doing anything with the dirt. I've been just playing with pipes and machines and all that. Which is part of it. It's a big part of it, too. Admittedly. Yeah, we're gonna... Do that. Let's move our pan out of the way, because we're not gonna... So once we get this conveyor stuff all going, we won't need pans anymore because the metals will go into one of these each and be smelted down automatically. And the other stuff will just kind of, well, the other stuff will probably need a pan, but browsing to buy bird plushies and stuff. Hey, you got priorities. Hello, Haleen. Welcome. I hope you're doing well today. We are playing more of this for now, and after lunch I'll be playing more Minecraft, and then later on we'll be playing a different game, because I just decided to do a big stream day today for fun, because I wanted to play games and share them. Hello! <laughs> big hello! Alright, can we put this pipe down here in the doit? We can... Let's give her our sick ass pick ass. <laughs> We've been working on a conveyor belt system for down here. That way it brings stuff up here. Oh, I, sh I will hopefully enjoy it plenty. We're playing more Minecraft, which I'm excited for, and trying to get this set up. It's fucking dark. Let's sleep in the dirt where I belong. <laughs> Being a plant, you know? A real earth plant. <laughs> Alright, so let's. Well, we got this extra pressure chamber here. Go up, go over there. <laughs> I need to probably, I need to likely dig all that stuff out so I can see what's going on. At some point, all the dirt in this little dig that we started in is going to be dug out. But in particular right now, I just need this area dug out so I can see what I'm doing. This is the tier 2 pickaxe, but it's still pretty modest. Alright, that might be enough. Alright, so we're gonna need some... Need some more elbow elbows. Hands, knees, elbows, toes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this guy where he, they go. And the other one will go directly through this block. Just gotta grab another straight pipe. Should be poking its little n little nose out of there. Yep. I need another elbow. Do you want the blue jay or the pigeon? <laughs> Everyone clearly wants the pigeon. The the best bird. Gray and round. <laughs> That's also good. Okay, we need like two more elbows, so I'll just kind of grab them and toss them in the hole. Uh, let's just toss them down here. Eh, good enough. 
I can use the not working conveyor belts to actually get in and out too. Maybe. Partially. But I, I run the risk of getting stuck on some other dirt or the walls or something. Okay, and then we need another elbow, which I have right here. Hi, Pookie. If you want me to stop patting your booty, dude, you should move away from all my cords in the wall. Hi, Bubba. There you go. He hopped up onto the little dresser I have kind of close to my desk. There we go. Mr. Kitty has arrived. <laughs> He made an appearance earlier, and then he like s scampered off like a, a heathen. Or both. What else would I do with my money anyway? Buy stocks and participate in capitalism? Ew. Yeah, that's spooky. He's he's a he's a little man. A little a little noisy man. <clears throat> I know I only really share pictures of him. But yeah, that's him. He's a little guy. <laughs> Yes, yeah, screw sp screw using money to make more money. Use use money to buy all the birdos. <laughs> all right. So we got this monstrosity figured out. So now we're going to um we need a we need a need a, a probably a straight then a T. So let's grab those. Got a T. Just kind of drop it in the hole. <laughs> I love physics stuff like this. Just there it goes. Kitty go yeah. When he when he jump when he jumps off of stuff like my dresser or his cat tree, sometimes he like all the air leaves his little body. He's like, because <laughs> he is a small boy. Like he's tiny. Like, he's like three years old now or so, but like, he's still like quite small. Okay, so I need another straight. I know I've got straight pipes. There's no way I don't have straight pipes. That's a T. Did I run out of straight pipes somehow? He's just a cute little soft boy, yeah. I, I think I ran out of straight pipes, unless there's one lingering around here somewhere. My fucking, like... Ba basically, it's like an open air, like store, open sky storage, like Nakura's saying. All right, fine. I guess I'll buy another straight pipe real quick. Meow, 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 bitch. <laughs> Where's my food at? Okay, and I need another elbow, which I should have. I bought, like, a lot of them. Or at least I bought some elbows. Oh, <laughs> just right down the hole. No big deal. I don't have legs to break. You see any legs? I don't see any legs. <laughs> Alright, so this is all hooked up. I'm going to turn these off, because we don't want these to really go yet, but I want to see if the uh, conveyors all work. So we're gonna go do this. Oh, looks like the conveyors are in fact working. I have become dirt! And then they'll come up here and they'll go into this whenever this is c closed. Water's pouring somewhere. It's probably pouring right here since I didn't get that far otherwise. Okay. Yeah, you know what? Let's get our cart empty it of whatever pipes are in it and we'll go buy some more pipes because we're going to need more straight pipes because, yeah. You use a lot of straight pipes. Oh, I had like one more of these. Well, that's, I'll probably need to buy more of those while I'm at the st shop too. So 
let's grab our little cart and go. Vroom. Get back in here. Okay, let's grab like a few more <laughs> of these too. <clears throat> eh, probably another one of these just for good measure. And you know, we'll grab a few blocks while we're at it. The blocks are very cheap. I'm sure there are other building blocks that aren't quite so cheap, but these blocks are like five coins a piece. It's very affordable. Okay, we still have 4,200 left, so we're doing fine. Thankfully, all these iron pipes and stuff I'm buying are generally very inexpensive compared to like what they can do for you when you get all this stuff set up. Let's see, I think that's our gem hook. So that any gems that get processed, like from this, will all get cut. Okay, let's grab some of these blocks and kind of put them near, like here, so I can get up. Actually, we'll move it over one, so that we can start setting up all of our uh, filters. So we're gonna filter off iron over here. Do I not have a, uh, a, a, oh, okay, that's why. All right, so, let's find out which way stuff that's not iron goes. We'll grab one of these little shards and kind of, like, just let it do its thing. And this is currently moving pretty slow, but it won't move that slow when we're actually finished setting stuff up. I just want to figure out where stuff's gonna go okay so iron should go that way let's see if we can find a piece of iron in here we should be able to yeah that should go to the right over here maybe it's thinking about it yeah it is We'll grab this before it falls off and we'll put one in. Because the reason this is so slow is because the water is like not being sped up by one of these pressure chambers yet. Because there's a lot of pipes <laughs> going, sneaking around. But this will restore the water pressure to... No the normal, the intake speed, which as you see is a much, much faster. So let's go ahead and we'll... Yep, and the iron arrives there, perfect. Now what we can do is just open that up and it'll turn everything off again. I'll just kinda put you in there. All the gems will get cut on this little guy. Iron goes there, let's get another straight pipe. Where my cart's over here. No, no it's not. Where, where'd I put my... How did I already lose my cart in all this mess? It's probably literally out in the open. I'm just stupid. <laughs> Unless I... Did I leave it over here at the store? No, I'm I'm just a fool. Where, where'd I put my cart? It, it's it literally... It li yes, it's literally in the middle of everything. I'm just a fool. Let's grab a straight pipe before I embarrass myself any further. Okay, so we got that. Let's grab one of these. That's a straight conveyor. Straight conveyor. We'll get these all upright so I can see what they are. Here's a splitter. We need one of these. This will split off gold once we put the little gold nugget in its place. Okay, gold goes there. Uh, 
Uh, I think my hammer's down here. Yeah, it is. No. We're, we're gonna fix this situation. We'll have, like, a staircase coming that way or something. Or that way. But for now, we'll leave these blocks as they are. I'll put that one down, though. And let's let's move our little uh, our friend here. We're gonna have to buy at least another one of these as well, and I'm realizing that. But ah, I don't know if that's actually gonna work how I'm wanting it to. I might need to um. have this further down actually it's not the end of the world if I have these indented in the floor <laughs> it's just like somewhere in the floor now it's nighttime again already come on Hogwash. Hogwash. All those hogs have been washed. <laughs> I would assume the phrase the phrase hogwash is because like when you wash hogs, like the, the wastewater is just, like you know wastewater, so it's not worth anything. <laughs> There's my hammer. Uh I wasn't looking for my hair, I was looking for my pickaxe. It's probably down here somewhere. Yeah, it's right there. Alright. There's the block! <laughs> like, I know I put it down on the ground somewhere, but I just wasn't sure where <laughs> it ended up. Okay. Because we want that. If it doesn't have, doesn't have to be a block there, but I mean. For aesthetic sakes, it does need to be there. Let's grab another one of our blocks. We're going to be buying a lot of these concrete floors. Okay. Up. We'll just go ahead and set up in more blocks to where there's going to be stuff because that one's going to be iron. This one's going to be gold. And then we have another one for clautium, which is a separate actual <laughs> metal with a funny name. Alright. I might need another block. I think it didn't. I think about like five. I technically need six. I'll go buy another block real quick. Mm. Nah. Not yet. Let's get all this other stuff set up how it needs to be. I need another splitter. Which is over here. Need another straight pipe. Put that there. Make sure that's the right way still. Alright, and then we'll get one of our Clautium uh, pieces that we've found. Which, with the help of this, we'll probably end up finding quite a bit more. But, like, other, until now, we've not really found much Clautium. It's a bit rarer than most of the other stuff. Oh. <laughs> I was do tap dancing in the dirt, as one does, you know. Sometimes you just, sometimes you just gotta dance. <laughs> Alright, so... We're gonna need two more of those, like, guaranteed. Although, frankly, if we could get away with it, having, um, having, uh, multiple, having four, cause, having one for shards, yeah, we need, ult ideally we'd have four, cause then the gems could kinda just come out over here, and... Be all nice and happy that way. Let's see. Frankly, this game can be as complicated as you want it to be. Like if you want, if you want to just dig dirt and pan for stuff all day, you can absolutely do that. If you want to do this kind of stuff, you absolutely can do that. 
If you want to just fish, you can absolutely just do that, but... And there is, like, a, a little separate, like, fishing pole, like, progression system as well. Okay, and all of our gemstones can end up in here, but... We're probably gonna need to, uh, route some water a little differently for that. Because the water is on the back here. But the little input thing would be, like, kind of down a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to reroute uh, some wa a little bit of water with some elbows. That's okay though. We have elbows. Surprisingly, we have elbows. It may look like I have tentacles, but I actually have elbows. That's a little unsettling to think about. I mean, if you really think about it, tentacles are just like a bunch of elbows put together, right? <laughs> Cursed thought for the day. <laughs> All right, so now that should be properly hooked up so we can get the conveyor splitter back where it needs to be. If I'm not stuck on the pickaxe, that is. All right, which means all the gems should end up in here, and then whenever I see a bunch of gems, I can just come over and, like, pull the lever, cronk, and I love saying that. Because <laughs> that's literally what it is. Like, if you have a bunch of gems, you just pull the lever, and it just goes... And this fuses all the relevant gems together like sapphires with sapphires and whatever. Right. We're going to empty the, uh, our cart once again. Kind of move it over here and we'll just start dumping all these pipes on the floor. Like, we'll put all the T's over there. All the straights. Uh, maybe I should just move the straights since there's more T's over here already. Got the straight right there. Got an elbow. I can kind of go in the middle, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter ultimately. Because, like, if I want. As long as the pipes are, like, nearby each other, I'm sure I could figure out what pipes are what. I do have eyes. Or at least I. <laughs> I have a eye. Why should I have an eye? <laughs> Just make a pipe stack. Alright. Because I would like to buy... More, um... Blocks. Thankfully, blocks are very inexpensive. How much money do we have left? We could buy, like... Almost a, like like 900 something blocks <laughs> with how much money we have. We're not going to need that many. Huh? That should be 20 blocks. Like the, the key is to get them all in a place where they'll just stack in the thing. Nicely. Oh, I, I had 19. I can't count. I can't count very well. I'm gay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so that should be 20 blocks. That should get us a lot of, uh... A lot of good placement done. Then my vision for what I want things to look like will kind of start taking shape a little more. Let me see, where's my pick ass? <laughs> now I can't stop saying pick ass. <laughs> Alright. 
Yeah, if you're playing this yourself, I'm gonna probably do it after this stream, but like, there's like a mod for like, big, better pickaxes that I would absolutely install. Cause I think it's like, I think it's like different tiers of pickaxes that you need like, metals and like, the gems to like, upgrade with. But that's like, I like that kind of, I like progression and upgrades kind of stuff, so it's fine by me for there to be a system like that, because that's kind of what I, one of my favorite things is like progression stuff like that. It's like, oh, get, getting better stuff, better stats, that kind of stuff, like, that's like good serotonin for me. Alright, so, basically, we've got the shards going in here, those that should land fine, like, we can, uh... Close that, and let's get an iron. We well, actually have a decent amount of iron. We'll grab one iron for now, and we'll get up here. Get up here. Get up here. We'll pretend that it came from there. It's not gonna get ground up. It should go off this way into here. Yes, yes. And for now, we'll just pour that out because whatever. It's a little baby bar. Oh, that's that's not that's not an iron ore, so it's gonna get sent. It's gonna wind up in this bin. That's fine. Matter of fact, while we're at it, we're gonna start hammering all the stuff, all these conveyors down, because they're not going anywhere. This is the, the the layout that I want them to be in. We're also gonna hammer down all the pipes too. Because one of the most annoying things is like you'll be like busy doing stuff and you'll accidentally press E on the wrong thing and then whoops there goes your pipe. Now your conveyors don't work. Lol, Lameo. And we're not going to be using our um... We're not going to be using our iron for money. Because iron's used to make more drills. So we are going to go on a little trip. Not with the truck this time. We'll just take the cart, because the cart's not really that... No, actually, we will take the truck. I just gotta... Let's get some water from the river for our truck. Because our trucks are run by... Powered by water. If I can get out of the river. <laughs> just stuck in the river forever. Right, yeah, this is your, fl your fuel tank. You just pour some water in there with a bucket or a, one of the pans. Keep our bucket in there in case we run into a situation. Let's grab our money. We don't have enough money currently to buy all four of the um, of those furnaces like that that I want, but we only really need three to process the uh, gold and iron that I would need to process initially. The Claudium, we'll also be able to buy one for, I think, but like we're currently like in an awkward spot with the money because I just kind of forgot that we needed other things. That's okay though. Oh. Okay, let's head to town in our water car. <laughs> See if we can get some sick air. Eh, not really. Please tell me I didn't get stuck on the rock. Okay, cool. Almost! Almost got stuck on the rock. Alright. And we'll just kind of wiggle our way through. And... Was it here? Yeah, I think it... Yeah, it's here. I, I don't know why I'm questioning it. This is the store for not... For general tools and equipment. Put our money there. And we can buy three of these because these are you can you can use this furnace and a crucible very handily to smell all your stuff, but the crucible has to heat up for one, and for two you have to take the crucible off and then pour it into a separate mold. But with these, they're permanently hot enough to melt, and they also have their own little ingot creator thing, so. They're much more useful. Actually, wait. That's... I didn't think I was going to be able to afford all three. Oh, even better. Where'd, where'd our money go? 
Didn't, did I just throw my money somewhere? I might have just threw my money somewhere. Where's my, where'd the money go? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't much money anyway. Let's just kind of move out. Did I leave my money on the, f is it on the floor? Or is it in the, the bucket? What, where, where did it go? <laughs> I'm here losing, mo losing damn money in the street. Those booze will let me sleep in this bed. No. <laughs> I was like, let me let me just like go to the, the, the store and just sleep in the store. Where's, the, where's my money? I didn't take it out, did I? I think I did, but I don't know where it went. You know what? Whatever. It wasn't much money anyway. And once we get all this stuff up and running, we'll be able to make a lot more than whatever I had left over anyway, so... I'm not that concerned about it. I bet though, the next time I come to this town, it'll just be in in the most obvious place. I'm also just a little blind, probably. So it's very likely that the money is like in a very obvious place and I'm just not seeing it. Hmm. It's like if, uh, if like if you're dealing with the computer stuff and you like drop a screw, you like stop everything you're doing so you can try to find where the screw went. Cause all those screws, like if they just kind of start going, they're just lost forever. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the money. Eh, whatever. Don't don't care that much. It wasn't much money. Oh, got the scenic route. I always go through the river just because it's faster, but you kind of see a little bit more of the map going this way. Just kind of hook around the bend, go up the hill here. Don't get stuck on the light posts because their hitboxes are very unfriendly to the truck. <laughs> okay, and we'll slow down, carefully turn towards the bridge. And just drive on over. All right. And Let's not get stuck on the fence post forever, or the or the light post. All right, let's grab, let's grab these and put them down where they need to go. Okay. I was thinking maybe the money got like stuck under the truck or something, or maybe it's in the truck, who knows? Doesn't matter. I'm not that worried about it. I'm just really, I'm just morbidly curious on Get out of the ground. I'm just morbidly morbidly curious on where the money went. So I was thinking maybe it's stuck in the bucket, but there's nothing in the bucket. Alright. Oh. Oh well. Headset's finally deciding it's almost time to die, but that's fine though, because um it was, it was on 30% power because I forgot to charge it after last stream on Wednesday. I thought I plugged it in, but I might have just put it down there and forgot to plug it in here on the floor. But that's okay. I'll let it charge over lunchtime, and hopefully that'll be good enough for the next stream. So that's all set up. Now with all this sorting stuff set up, we could probably dump this big bucket. But I'm kind of curious to see if this stuff works now, too. Well, I think this stuff all should be working because these conveyor belts are. So if I turn these on, well, let's, let's do that. Turn these on and then we'll get started. Let's, let's look at the health of our filters up here because these probably have taken some damage. Yeah, that one's almost broken. That one, okay, that one's... 
As you, as you see, these take like progressively more and more damage as they filter more water. Like that one's hardly damaged at all. These two are almost broken. So we'll grab our little tool kits. So we'll fix those two. Let's see where my little magnifying glass just go. We'll see how broken this third one is. 48. Yeah, it's under half. We'll fix it too. The other one, the other two should be fine for a while yet. Yeah, they'll be good until for another breakage or two of the other ones. But with doing it, with doing this, you can have as many machines down here running as you want because these they won't take damage. These take damage. So that's the good part about um, doing things like this is once you have more than like a few machines that need water pressure and to take damage, you want to have those. All right, so these should all be on now. So we can do that. Yep. And they make little pieces of dirt. And those should come up here. We'll get a better glimpse of it once it's not nighttime because the game is cruel. Cruel and unusual. <laughs> Okay, and then those should go in here and get turned into stuff. Yep. Okay, that's iron that goes that way. That should go that way, that way, yep. Oh, we got a gym, that should go all the way to the end. Yep, Sapphire went right in there. All these things are getting their proper things set up. I'm getting stuck in the hole. I'm going to grab this so we can have a better view of things. In general. See, a large, a large amount of what you get is iron. But then the next most common is going to be gold. Which it falls right in, which is also just kind of fun. It's just, there it goes. Whee! Okay, headsets give me another warning. Let me, I'm actually going to try to see if I can check the, um, give me a sec. Uh, let me... Eh, if it dies, it dies. <laughs> all right, we're gonna. This laggy ass bucket here is gonna all get poured out now, because we should be able to pour it right here and have all that stuff get sorted properly now. Yep, and that stuff should all just kind of go to its proper place. Yep, look at all that. Oh, <laughs> that was really cool. Whee! <laughs> That's awesome. And look at all those gems too. They just got put right in there. That was the that has got to be the highlight. Just watching that big stream of iron just go blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I love that. That was that's great. What is this? Oh, that's an iron bar. That can we can just kind of put that in here. I, I, I was definitely like the highlight so far of the stream for me is seeing it all actually work. All those can go like that. They'll get where they need to go. Oh, we got more. Oh, we get to see it happen again with more iron. That's... Mmm, good brain chemical. Good brain chemical happens. Alright, let's put a few more of these blocks in place. 
and how I would like them to be. Because the goal is to have everything level with those blocks. So we can just kind of scamper around and m maintain everything as needed. And we're leaving that spot there so that we can look down and grab our ingots that we make and all that stuff. So at long last, we're getting things done. <laughs> Where's our little hammer? We're gonna. These are gonna definitely be staying here for the long haul. And these two. Oh, that feels so good having all this stuff set up now. Because now it's fully automatic. We can start just collecting all that iron and turning that into uh, more drills. Setting those up, and then there'll be even more dirt. Like, if we if we move this to, like, right there, and moved all this down by a little bit, we can have two more drills there. And if we do... If we really want to get funky with it. We could probably add more on the side there too somehow. Hmm. As it turns out, I probably didn't need the, uh... Um, as far as I know, the, um... The ingots don't pour themselves, but I don't know if these things actually have a limit. As far as I know, there's not a limit to how full these can be. Especially since, like, the, the actual physical object in the world gets deleted in favor of, like, the weight of the ingot. And frankly, I don't know if we even need more than, uh one of these because this seems like it's kind of doing stuff fine as just one of them I don't know if like we need more than one of these for now we don't but maybe if we had like a bit more because yeah we have three drills now stick assassin welcome by the way we got three drills now because you start what you can only buy one initially like one drill and the harvester up there but if you get enough iron, which is 300 iron, you can buy a schematic at Ice Helm and use that schematic and 300 iron to craft more drills. Which is exactly what we're going to be doing with the, the rest of our iron that we have. Now this stream I'm currently on is either going to end when my headset dies or when me and my roommate do lunch. Which either could happen just about as soon as the other, honestly. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Hydrate. Thank you. Thank you. Let me find something to drink real fast that's not coffee. All right, I found a bottle of water from work. So I can actually hydrate with real water. Delicious. All right, we're going to pour out like this chonker of a uh, look like that's going to be a thick bar. I'm gonna pour that out. Yeah, you can you can just recombine, like I can, I can drop that back in and it instantly just melts. You can like recombine bars to just make it bigger, make number go up basically. Okay, where's our little smacky hammer? The tried true smacky hammer. We're gonna move like this stuff over there. Because that's where the magic is happening again. For now, we'll just kind of put you there. We're going to have more blocks that so we'll put down to... Let's see how big this thing is. That is a 600... Ah! That's that's great information, Peter S Saddle. Thank you. Also, welcome. Thanks for popping in and stopping in and watching me um, struggle. <laughs> But yeah, we're, we're up to a 600 uh, weight iron bar, so we can make two more, um, we can make ourselves two more, what you call it, um, drills. 
And this will just keep running while we're doing that too, so. Ooh, how many gems? We, we got some, we got some gems. So yeah, you, like, unless, unless you really go hard with this, like, you should be fine, it sounds like. Let's see how, how much we have now. Still just like 600. It'll go up as we add more drills. We'll have more of this happen at once. So yeah, we'll... We don't need more money to make more drills since the schematic that you get um, just is permanent. Like it's a permanent thing you have, just keep there. Let's put, we'll put the bar in here. Got our bucket in there for water. We do have all these blocks we need to use though. So we'll go ahead and we'll use them up before we go. And at some point we'll dig out all this area below that oh. <laughs> we'll just dig out all the area below and get <laughs> I, I think you do lose um metals if you put them in with other metals i think you do lose stuff like that welcome back 3gs we we have grown in power we have the sorting things down it's a lot. It's really satisfying to watch all the little little nuggets go to where they need where they need to go. And my headset's still currently in its death throes, probably like ten percent or lower now, which is fine. It's been running for like almost four hours now on thirty percent battery, which is honestly impressive. I was, didn't think this headset had that much life left in it, but I'm glad that it does. We're currently emptying off our cart that's full of these blocks that I bought so that we can go use the cart to do other th Oh, it's empty. Cool. Alright, so let's just like, get up here. The it may not look like it, but this cart is attached properly. <laughs> okay, we got the iron bar in there. We got our cart in there. <laughs> we got that for water, which, matter of fact, we should probably just fill it up with the water now before we... Oh, I have, an, I have leftovers bar in there from last time that we went to Ice Helm. Also some Cloudium. Yeah, we'll just put that in there. This is technically part, like you can tell it's part of the truck bed right now because we can just walk through the cart. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little cheesy, but hey, you do what you gotta do to survive in this game. If that's being cheesy, then that's being cheesy. Okay. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting mentally overloaded on what I'm was doing already. Uh, let's check these. Yeah, as you see, these are already back down to like 53%. But that's okay. They'll run for a little bit while we're gone. Okay, Ice Helm. That's what we were doing. I saw this uh, like little extra bar here. We're going to take that with us. It's probably not much. I mean, we actually just... Go. If I because if, if I can get up to 900, we can make three more drills. So we'll just dump that in there, and we'll dump the other one too. No sense in taking more than one bar, since like it's gonna be the same size bar anyway. It's just way more. So let's just run over here and drop her in. Pour them out. Oh, <laughs> denied. There we go. Now, how big are you? Oh, just over 900. Perfect. Cool. That means we'll make, be able to make three. That'll make the trip much more worth it. All right. Matter of fact, let's go up here. It's kind of awkward to get on top of your truck. Like, you hop up here and here, and then you can just refill your... It's probably already full anyway, but whatever. All right. Let's go to ice. <laughs> the, little, the little cart on the back's just hanging on for dear life. <laughs> it's fine. It's totally not clipping through the ground. 
<laughs> now you, now you technically can go ramp up and over the mountain to get to Ice Helm, but I've had mixed results with that being actually worth your time. So I tend to just kind of do it the normal way, do it the intended way. And kind of like go over and around this way. Granted, that's not where the road is, but it, it's fine, it works, you know, whatever. Just do the loop de loop. And then. Spoilers if you don't know how to make more drills, this is the place where you do it. It's kind of, it's explained, saying, it says like craft more an ISOM, but they don't really explain how you craft more an ISOM. So if that's not something you want to know how to do, you should probably avert your eyes from what we're about to do. T too hot for TV. Okay, put our bar in the little cart. I like taking the cart down here because, like, yep, yeah, like you'll make the drills and then you gotta get back out of here. Come on. And oh, oh. you don't need to have the elevator because there's no fall damage, so you can just like drop down directly down the shaft here. <laughs> into the the ice helm city and then you can just kind of jump over anyway and this is the place where you make new drills and this is a uh, booster for your water pipes this is one specifically for iron and it costs 60 iron and you can put four of them on each intake pipe and they boost it by a certain amount I can't remember that certain amount, but it's worth it regardless. But this is our little uh, forged iron drill masterwork schematic. So we're gonna put that there on our little pedestal, and we'll grab our little our little friend the iron bar, drop it in the little crucible here, and pull the lever. Okay, there's one drill. I'll just kind of. But it'll figure itself out. <laughs> and then it gives you your change back. Pour it in there again. <laughs> Just throw it down there. And let's make another one. We'll make it we'll make this one. I could spin this iron to make the other three intakes, but I think I'd rather have a uh, one of these drills. The drill directly gets you a lot more stuff than otherwise, so. You know, it probably counts as being in the hitbox, so I don't really mind. It's flopping around. Yep, it does. Okay. <laughs> well, I also need to grab our leftover little, our little baby bar. There's probably like 10 weight of iron left in that. Which is fine. We'll just throw it in the smelter when we get back. And it'll start accumulating once more. Hey, this place is really cool, but like the only real good reason to come here is to make drills or uh, harvesters, because you can you also can make the tier two stuff here. Oh, just in time! <laughs> you can make the tier two um, drills and harvesters here with clautium and iron. All right, so. Up here, this should technically be in. This is a little, again, a little scuffed. We got the drills just hanging off the back, like with like super glue. But you know what? It's fine. And we're gonna just barrel down the mountain like a fool. Wee, wee! <laughs> oh, got some sick air. Uh oh, did we get stuck on a rock? We might have got stuck on a rock. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, off-roading is not recommended, but it's fun to just kind of fly down the hill and then get stuck on a rock somewhere. There is an unstuck command if, if you or your vehicle get stuck that will put you in a drivable location. So it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. 
All right. As you can hear, it was just still making stuff while we were gone. Let's see how... Oh yeah, that's gonna slow but surely die. It'll be dead soon. <laughs> Mood. Me too. <laughs> Alright, let's... Cause, Cause we'd be putting this one there and there. So we're gonna need to... We'll turn stuff off and for the, a moment to redo all those pipes. Like we'll just kinda do that and then all the water is now turned off which means none of this should work. So now we can move this pipe over here. This one can go there. That one can go there. If you, if you do your setups right, it's, it's not really that hard to like kind of expand what you were doing. Like this like, it's probably one of my better ideas for setups with how things are going, because it's a lot... It's going to be a lot easier getting these two in than it was getting the initial three in. The way I was doing it, but now it's, like, super easy. Hmm. Actually, I might have... I might have made a boo-boo. Okay, that's going to have to go here, probably, then, in that case. Because, yeah, we're going to have to move this over. That's fine though. Not the end of the world. I'm saying, oh, I'm such a genius, and then I realize I fucked it up. <laughs> Alright, so we want the handle on the top. You absolutely can, but you have to still be able to like run all the water pipes wherever they need to go which it's not gonna be hard to really do we just gotta finagle the pipes around but you can absolutely have another set of drill of drills on the other side too which at some point we will be doing like maybe even today depending on how much time there is and all that let's see let's this pipe does still need to be there but i just need to put it inside of that like so Actually, we're probably going to put this guy... Come on. There you go. We'll probably move that one there. Okay. And then we need four and five there. Let's actually go ahead and go get those and start setting those up. We'll sleep too because it's already dark. Okay. So start getting a little lighter out now. Let's put these in. Make sure I get the little little O-ring there, right there. Move that one there, because kind of need to. I think our pipes there. Okay. We're gonna need another, probably another T pipe. Well, there's like just a random iron piece down here. We'll just kind of dunk it in with the rest of them. All right. What what is going on there? Is that okay? That's hooked up properly. If I was smart, I would have a separate water line for all these, so that these could run at their absolute uh, peak. I still might do that, actually. Um, we could do that at this end with that. Let's just kind of move that. 
just split the water line off a little bit because if you have these pressure chambers it doesn't matter how often or how long you split off water because these pressure chambers restore the water pressure after them to what your intake and the intake is currently at least like 100 percent i have one booster so i think it's a little stronger but yeah we need another t so we can start doing that Okay, I'm gonna do that. And let's get the straight conveyors that we're gonna need as well put in place. Because you have to have pipes down first before you put the straight conveyors in, because they hook onto the pipes. Like so. This, this game uses a hook-on system, which is actually really cool. Because using the hook-on system, they have these things that... These filters as well that filter the water. And these hook-on things increase the water pressure. So it's, it's a really cool system. And then we got another strict conveyor here. We'll jump down the hole. Place it down. Alright. And since we're splitting off the water anyway... This can be, let's we'll move that right now. This can go like so. That it's the wrong way around. Still, orienting stuff can be a hassle <laughs> sometimes, but that's okay. And then we'll have an elbow here since we're now, if you want to be 100% efficient, you can absolutely have one of these pressure chambers in front of every single drill. But, I don't know if I care that much. We're also going to probably need a T here to power more of these. Yeah, we're going to need it. If we're going to have more on the sides. There's a lot more planning that I probably should have done for this that I just didn't do. You know? I'm just gonna have this floating in the air over here, I guess. There we go. It's out of the way now. Like, if you actually sit down and plan this out, it'd probably go a little better than what's going for me, because I'm just kind of planning on the fly, like I usually do with everything. Alright, let's get this other one put in down here at least. Okay. For now, we might just focus on getting these five running instead of going all out on getting the other side set up. That could be a task for next time. Let's see. Just move that out of the way, maybe. I don't know. We're still going to need this pipe over here, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So I don't know why I'm throwing pipes everywhere. Because this pipe will connect the uh, the conveyors to water. And this will make sure that the conveyors are running at max speed. So we're going to... Where's our... Do I have another pressure chamber down here? I, think we, I don't think we do. I think we have an extra one. Yeah, we do. That I haven't used yet, which is perfect because now we need it. Yeah, that's not the right orientation. You can, you can kind of see the orientation that the stuff is meant to be. From the, like, the little outline or whatever. But, like, sometimes it's just an annoying to have that going on, too. So it's sometimes better to place it. Figure out what the... Oh, crap. That's going to throw a, um, a bit of a monkey wrench in our plans. <laughs> Not much of one, because I'm sure we'll be able to deal with it, but, like... Yeah, we can't place anything there, it looks like. Sometimes the game's just kind of picky where it wants to let you place things. Which is one of the major downsides of this dig in particular, is there's so little room to actually do anything. There is another pit across the river over there at this site. 
But I'm probably not going to worry about doing anything with the... Why is there a pipe over here? I have not been over here <laughs> at all. So I don't know why there's a pipe over there, but I mean, waste not, want not, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes the physics in this game do weird shit and launch stuff somewhere, and maybe that's what happened. I, I don't know. I'm not going to ask, because I don't know if I want to know the answer. <laughs> but let's see. Yeah, we could just put the put this like like right here, I guess. Have a have some stuff coming down. Yeah, I've had I've had bucket shenanigans happen too, where like I was scooping dirt in a bucket, I went to pick it up, and it started like gyrating, and it flew up into the sky. <laughs> like the buckets, the the tools are out to get you. No one is safe. <laughs> yeah, I'm not super like bothered about the um, efficiency of these pipe of these things. Like I'm bothered enough to like separate them off with one of these, but other than that, like. Mm. Not really that worried. However, I might be able to make this easier on myself. Oh, damn it. Because we're, we could probably do, the, the, the brush is probably in the way for that one. Get over there, brush. You've had your time in the sun. Let someone else have some fun. Yeah, we can move this pipe over here. The angling is weird in this game sometimes. Like figuring out like where all that stuff goes or how it can go. I don't think there are X pipes, unfortunately. Like I don't think there's like a four way pipe. Maybe there's a mod that does that, but to my, to my current knowledge, there's not one in vanilla gameplay. And we could have that there, and we have another elbow if it'll work, and then that will get this squared away pretty nicely. I mean, another straight pipe for that. Okay, there's a spare straight pipe over here. We'll just kind of slam dunk it in there like a pesky hedgehog. All right. Okay, grab one of our, grab the stray oboe that I found over there and use that to. Okay, so that should be hooked up with water now. So these should be able to be powered now. Turn them all to on. Okay. We're gonna make a few of these shard bars, cause normally like if you pour metal it makes like one big bar. But what you can do, we can pour that and make a big, like how big is this shard bar? 181? Probably could be bigger, but shards don't weigh much on their own anyway. But yeah, we're gonna put this over here. We have a uh, saw somewhere, here we go. You can buy this saw pretty cheaply and use that to saw bars into smaller bars. And you can use this when you're making stuff. Like you say you have like one big iron ingot. Which after a while you probably don't want to be using iron to make money. Because you use that to make your drills. Let's say you have some gold. And you want to make like a uh, make a necklace or something. Hi Pookie. Screamy boy. <laughs> yeah say you want to make some, <clears throat> some jewelry. Oh, I like twisted and kind of pulled something it felt like don't get old <laughs> yeah let's say you want to make some jewelry I'll just we got a bunch of gems here we'll just combine them all together oh the water's on on duh <laughs> I was wondering like why is it not working it's, the answer is the water's off all the water anyway well, well I split these two sharp shard bars up and we'll just kind of 
put them back in their homes. Because you can just put in singular shards into these little chambers and they'll work fine, but like shard bars, making bars out of them makes them last quite a bit longer to power your stuff. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want to replace the staircase at some point with these uh, those stairs that I bought over there. But, okay, so that's that's going. It's going. This probably has another shard in it still. Yeah, like, this one's been running on a shard for a while just fine. But we'll, we'll go ahead and put these two shards together to make a bar that will last a bit longer. There's probably more space efficient ways to do what I'm doing here than what's happening, but <clears throat> I mostly was wanting to get it done because once this is done and going, you can add more drills to it to make it more efficient and just all that stuff. So, all oh, those are good. Let's let's look at our our state of these: twenty-seven, forty-three, sixty. Okay, we'll do that. And now those should be 100 per 100, 160. And that one's at 44, but these last two take much less damage than the first three. So you're normally going to be repairing these three more frequently when you're doing filtered water like this. But the reason you want to filter water like this at all is because these take damage, but your machines do not. So say you have five, like if you didn't have these filters, all of these machines would separately be taking damage but instead of all those taking damage these take damage and that doesn't take damage either and it's just much better when you get a bigger setup to start filtering your water and you can buy these little filters for pretty cheap anyway so it's worth it to do it let's move that out of the way it's kind of in the way but so we got all this going one thing we do need to do i'm glad i remembered to do this before um, before we got too far ahead of ourselves is these need dirt underneath them which might be a problematic to do right now <laughs> so let's uh come on what whatever just go there we're gonna probably move these pipes out of the way real quick so that we can place the, because these drills have to have dirt underneath them to actually work. It doesn't have to be much dirt, it just needs to be some dirt. So we'll just kind of grab some from the wall here and see if we can get some under there. Uh, that should probably work. That should probably work, just for the sake of it. We're just going to make a little more underneath these. Because whatever. I know these three work already, but I just... just just, you just got to get dirt underneath these. Yeah, the rake's nice. I haven't really used it yet. Mostly because I just like use building with these uh, blocks anyway, which are flat. So that's my solution to the problem. But the rake is, op is definitely another solution to it. I just like the blocks better. Personally. It's, a, it's more of a personal choice than anything. The rake will do you just fine as well if you just want to have dirt out and around and don't feel like buying all these individually okay so now we need so now we have the dirt underneath these let's put our pipes back okay so these these will get powered and cool thing about these pipes is we can just put blocks over them too so we can just walk around on the flat surface around here to make life a little easier. We're gonna just start getting all of our tool stuff out of the hole here, cause we need as much navigation room as possible. And we just got just a block here, just an extra pipe. We'll move that as well. And with the, with the space we have allotted, we might not be able to get too many more. We could probably shift all this stuff to the left a little bit then we'd probably have to shift our conveyor belts a little as well which would be a whole other kettle of fish so we'll see if we can fit all the other drills on the other side but if not then we could just call it good and five drills is probably more enough to start making a good amount of money anyway but enough of that let's 
fucking sleep again. Part Once I get enough money to buy all the all the claims, I might just load this world into creative, buy the hourglass, and then go back to normal. Because I think if you make a world in creative, it's already kind of in like some weird state of creative mode. So like, if you're not being careful, you'll accidentally like pick up stuff and run away with it, and not pay for it. And it just uh, for me, that doesn't feel very good. But like, if you're just playing the game to have fun. You are absolutely correct, Stick Assassin. When you, when the drills are lower down, they get bigger pieces of dirt, which means bigger resources. And for those, you might need uh, dirt shredders, which are a attachment for the conveyor belts. And if you, after you get certain to a certain depth, your tier one drills won't work anymore. I think it's like down to like eight or so is about as far as they can really go. And that from that, you'll have to start. If you go to a different claim that's deeper than this. You'll have to get better quality drills to work further down. But yeah, the further down you go, the bigger pieces of dirt you get from just doing stuff. Manually, I'm not sure. But with these drills, the deeper you go, the bigger the dirt they make. Which means bigger gems or iron or whatever. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and turn all of our water back on. So this stuff should all spring to life. Yep. So now we got five little nuggets jumping on a bed. One fell off and bumped its head. Man, this is a much steadier stream of resources now that we have two more drills. And because we have that system set up, the, like the actual operating cost did not change at all. It just increased our output. Yeah, the other claims, almost all of them are much deeper. I don't know if any of them are any, like, some of them are just different in how they are, like, how they're set up. Like, one of them, I think it's direct quarry, starts with, like, one, and then another area is down two, another was, like, three. And currently, without mods, the only way to get down to the, th into the third area is to use, like, <laughs> nukes or TNT or whatever. So, yeah, this is just, like, the tip of the iceberg, even. Because we're still in just the Ember Cradle dealing with, like, Tier 1 dirt with Tier 1 depths. Yeah, just... I mean, we can fiddle around with the water to try to get, like, this set up. Like, we'll just grab our pickaxe and start digging away more stuff. Because now that this is up and running again, it's just making us more money while we're doing... Now we can do this kind of stuff, like the cosmetic stuff, like digging out the area to fit more stuff into it and all that otherwise we'd be spending our time that we could be using to pan for stuff to build this stuff and while it's useful this is also nice where it's just making money for us while we're busy with this crap well, we might be able to fit the other stuff in here We definitely need to, like, let this run for a little bit to get more iron so we can make the other four drills. Because we could probably expand this to be to EB even farther, but we'd have to, like, move this pipe out further and all that. So we're just going to use... Now, this common pickaxe, you have to buy it at a bridge pour. Hmm. The rake removes a lot of dirt quickly if you make a small hole and use the rake to clear. Hmm. That's interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. I think I'm fine using doing this because I'm already here just using it. And by the time I go to buy the rake and come back, I probably get a lot more dirt cleared out anyhow. And I think before next stream, I'm going to install the mod that lets you up get better pickaxes than vanilla currently offers. Cause like there's some pickaxes from that mod that are obs that dig obscene amounts of dirt out, <laughs> so it makes setting up stuff a lot easier. You could also use like explosives to clear out this dirt, but some of the bigger explosives actually destroy stuff like pipes and other things. So you probably want to do that on like a new claim that you don't have anything set up in yet.
<clears throat> Alright, let's see. Now, logistics-wise, to get this to go where we want to go, we need at least another T-pipe, I think. So let's get our pickaxe up and out of the hole, just so we don't have to worry about it being in the way, because otherwise it, it will get in the way. It will find a way to get in the way. Let's get a T-pipe down here. Okay, we're going to temporarily remove this, which will stop all this stuff. It won't stop that stuff, though, because that's on a different line. Although, it might be funny just to um, let those run for a while and just have a bunch of dirt all pot. You know what? Yeah, I think just for just for the, lo the LOLs, we're going to do that. Let these just run for a while and make a bunch of dirt. Because there's a bunch of dirt stacked with each other. It might... So that might that might get messy, but it might be funny. So that might be worth it. <clears throat> we're we're going to try. I, I was worried about that myself. I was like, yeah, the, 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 the dirt that you're not able to... The, like the rest of the world might make it to where we're not able to do what we want to do, but... I want to see like all these dirt pieces go through here. This should should this should be able to handle it. Oh yeah, that's handling it like a champ. Oh, this little piece right here is an attachment that cuts all the gems for you. So as you see, like a gem passes through, and it'll just get turned to its native form. I can see that gem there. It goes slurp, and there it goes. Alright, so that's going to keep going while we set this stuff up, or at least try to set this stuff up. Okay, we, we might actually be able to put stu the stuff here. I was worried that the, the pipes wouldn't work out, but they might work out just fine. Surprisingly. J maybe just enough room, but you know what? Just enough is still enough. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get another... What we are going to need is another uh, pressure chamber. So we're going to go buy another one from the store because I don't have another one laying around somewhere, I don't think. Let's get this drill out of here and this iron bar, we'll put it with, we'll put it with the others. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I was gonna grab my, my cart here and. Oh, that's right, we don't have any money currently. Well, let's get some money! <laughs> let's just get this gold bar, it's worth $22,000! <laughs> I didn't lose much money, I didn't have much money left over after buying these three, and I, I, I kinda got like stuck somewhere or maybe inside the try I don't know it's, it wasn't much but this gold bar is 22 grand so I don't think I care <laughs> so that's 22 grand we're gonna be making stuff out of that mark my words do I have any I wasn't sure if I had another gems some extra gemstones lying around I thought I still had yeah I do I have like a pretty decently sized uh, emerald and a decently sized uh, ruby left over from the before times so we're gonna we're gonna make a big gemstone. Let's go ahead and once this sapphire gets in there. Look at the size of these things. Oh, we even got an onyx now. Nice. I don't know if that um, onyx would be the same one we had earlier, but yeah, these are some pretty chunky gems. Yeah, onyxes are worth a lot. Okay, so combined, these are currently twenty three thousand five hundred eighteen. We are going to make a, a necklace. So let's grab this stuff and start moving it over. For now, we'll just put it there because we're gonna need to. Uh, we'll we'll get more blocks and 
position stuff better, but for right now, I just gotta get the stuff made so we can have money again. Because right now, we have zero dollars. Actually, we can probably just put that down there for now. So, cycle over to that. So, let's see. Where's our... Let's see. How much is this guy worth? I'm gonna use, I wanna use the gem that's worth the most. So, let's uh, grab our bar. We'll heat that up right here. It can just sit on the furnace. That's the one thing these furnaces are still useful for after you get these and don't need the crucible anymore is that these furnaces can still heat up your bar so you can mix stuff with them. Alright, let's see. That is worth 920. Okay, that's pretty good. This emerald's probably worth the most because you tend to find more emeralds than anything else. 2400, I want to say? It's kind of awkward to see because it's kind of in the corner. And we're just gonna <laughs> move things around as we get as we need to right now. Twenty two four one seven. Okay, so far that's easily the most. The most. Uh, yeah, by far. Yeah, the the emeralds are at least in this claim at this depth. You find more emeralds than any other gems. So take this big ass rupee and we'll put it down there. Cause let's be real, that just looks like a Ze Legend of Zelda rupee. <laughs> there we go. Let's move this back out of the way. We'll, we'll get more blocks to make this neater than this, but... So, this scene says that... Check Onyx out of curiosity? Okay. It's very small, but it should be worth a decent amount. Yeah, this little tiny Onyx is worth... <laughs> Shit. <laughs> This little onyx here is worth 391. Like, if this was the same size as this emerald, it would blow it out of the water in value. But at this depth, onyxes are really, really small and really rare. So you're usually not going to be able to outpace it value wise. Being said, we can get more value out of our gems already. Yeah, not a problem. I don't mind checking. Not like it takes me much time and. Well, we're both right here. We're all right here, right? Oh, there's some more sapphires coming down the line. And once those are in, we'll smash, smunch them up and grab probably the emerald still the most valuable. Because it's probably up to like... 2,400 now? Okay, cool. So, let's see. 2,400. And this gold bar. 25... Tw just over 25k. Keep that in mind, just over 25k for that. Okay, gold bar, let's put it down there, oh, perfect. Uh, let's grab our saw, I had it over here. We'll saw that into, I'm a little slow and that's gonna cool down before I can even do anything with it. If the ingots cool down too much, you have to uh, reheat them and when you're dealing with multiple ingots, that is a pain in the ass. So we're going to make sure we do this the right way have our hammer really close take our bar and it's all it's one bar but it needs to be two so you take the saw saw it in half grab your hammer and bang it out all right so it was, it was around 25,000 for an, for the the original thing but now that is worth 30,000 so make make stuff out of your 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 metals <laughs> Because we can now sell this for 30 grand and probably just not have to worry about money for quite a while. And most of that value was just from me not having to actually dig any of the dirt. Because once you get that kind of set system set up, it just prints money for you. Again, you, you can actually uh, get <laughs> the... Um, the, the wagon on top of the little table right here. <laughs> you can actually get it up there to sell stuff. Alright, well now we got 30 grand, so we don't got to worry about whatever money we lost when, in, in the ice helm incident there. I can't even remember what we're going to use money. I think I was like, oh, I was going to need to buy some more pipe. Yeah, I was going to need I was needing to buy some more pipes for... Uh, 
doing uh, the other side there. I can't remember what kind of pipes it was, so we're gonna just um, buy like five or six of everything. Uh, this I love the cart as you can see it lets you just stack up a bunch of stuff and then you just kind of wheel it all to here and then you buy it and you just yoink your cart out of there and then you're off to the races unfortunately I have to manually empty the cart too but eh, could be worse all right, we'll sleep again because it's like nighttime again, and it's just dark and annoying. Now, if we buy more uh, torch lamps, we could just ignore the night at some point. But I don't have to quite have that set up yet because we're still just kind of building this stuff up. All right, so we need oh another pressure chamber. The thing I didn't buy. <laughs> And that's why it's good to have a list or like write down stuff like with my Minecraft world, which we'll be seeing later on after lunch time and then that break and all that. Um, I have a specific wooden sign for stuff so that I don't forget what I was doing or what I need to do because I will, <laughs> I will absolutely forget like immediately, like within like, like from previous, like the previous week or whatever. Okay, so now we need, now we can probably start setting up those drills here. We're going to need a shard bar for down there, so we'll uh, split this one up. And how heavy is this? I don't know if it matters. I mean, it matters for how long the power will last, but, like, I don't know the, the power usage of these things. Oh, come on. There we go. Get in there. <laughs> Get in there. All right. So, we got that in there. We got, a sh we got a shard in there. So, now we need to get... the drill setup going. Which will be that. I do need my ham my little my other hammer. Wherever the hell that is, I have no idea. It's over here. <laughs> it's over here in the corner. The other tools. We'll just. Eh, probably not that. I need to unham. I need to like unhammer. Well, we hammer these in place for right now because these ones are not moving, and that's probably not moving either. But yeah, this block needs to move for now. Just get it out of the way. <clears throat> Oh. <clears throat> Come on, get out of the hole. Thank you. Eh, we could probably just put this block here for now. Yeah. Okay. turn all the water off right, right now so we can get all this set up at the very least we'll be able to get this all hooked up and now start producing with those dudes as well Let's see I think I got a tea over here just a wild tea wild tea pipe 
It's my it's my favorite rapper, T Pipe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna need to put down three more of those. If I can snatch one out of here, we are, we are gonna need an elbow, so we'll just drop that down there. So I need like one, two, and. There's, there's also a mod that makes like storage like boxes where you can like buy stuff and then store a bunch of the same item in that box that I might in get install as well because it's just quality of life and hey quality of life's you know pretty good I would say okay Oh yeah, we need dirt underneath that as well before we get too far. Otherwise, I'm going to regret it and I'll have to stop and do the dirt thing again. Trusty shovel. I'll we'll just grab some random dirt from there. I think that's good enough, but just in case we'll do that, that should be good enough. We could start trying to pre-place dirt, but that might make it to where we can't place the drills, so I'm not going to actually do that. We'll keep the shovel down here. It can stay out of the way. Stop trying to ruin my plans. Then again, I ruined my plans, so maybe I shouldn't blame the, the shovel quite so much. Right, and then we'll get you and then we'll need another T. We'll need that eventually as well. Ooh, we can just go ahead and place that and place that. And so now, these, these are all other than the dirt requirement, these are all set up to where they'll work with um, the pipes. And honestly, I could probably just deal with the drippy noise anyway. Like, it'll be fine. I'll get over it. So that we can have all six of these running at the same time. So let's let's check the the durability of this stuff. 34, 49, 23, 22, 74. Like this one takes damage so slowly that you rarely have to fix it. But these ones, yeah, we're gonna need a I'll just fix up the first four. Call it good. You know, I'll fix all of them because they'll use up a full uh, kit. That's something I think I do want to do. We're going to get our money and we'll... S you can use a pickaxe to split piles of money up. Just as you can, like, drop them on each other to, like, kind of have them uh, combined. You can use a pickaxe to split them up. And that's pretty much the only really good purpose for this dull pickaxe that I bought earlier in the game. Is to use it to split up piles of money so we can just kind of keep that over over here because let's see want to do that we'll split it again come on don't be that way there <laughs> god and then we'll keep like seven grand in just in this shop over here so that I don't have to keep moving money around because that's like the utility of splitting up a big stack of money is you can have like a good size there since that's the one we usually buy stuff from and then one here so that we can just buy more um, just buy these tool bags more without having to stop and go buy, get our money every single time I do need to empty this out as well okay let's see Straight one goes there. Elbow can go right here. I'll, like I'm sure I'll figure out some better way to do this. Like maybe the mod, maybe there's mods that help with like storing specific stuff more, in more efficient ways. There probably is. I could get more carts. Probably actually should have like more than one cart. <laughs> I do have this. The, 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 you start with a cart. It's somewhere over here. But it's it it moves at walk speed and only walk speed, 
this uh, fast cart here, you buy at Itchy Carts over in Bridgeport, and I might have to actually buy another one of the fast carts that you mention it. I'm just stubborn. Like, I'm just incredibly stubborn, honestly. So I tend to not do stuff like that. I mean, you already know I'm stubborn. I was complaining about making charcoal last stream, when I have a tinker's axe that makes cutting trees easy. I'm just like, but I don't wanna. <laughs> It was just me being a fucking baby. A big, a big dumbass baby. <laughs> but so, sometimes you just feel like being a big dumbass baby. Like, there's no, ex there's no good explanation for it other than I'm a big dumbass baby and I don't want to make charcoal. I don't want to buy another cart. <laughs> I don't want to. Anyway, we're going to stock up on some tool, some tool bags. Nice job, tool bag! <laughs> Sounds like something some fucking jock in a high school fucking movie would say. Yo, tool bag! <laughs> uh, reminds me of, of RuneScape, how the vampires will call you fucking meat sack. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Maybe I sh mm, Nah, well, that money's fine. If we need more, we'll split off more, but yeah. I think there's also a, a logic-based thing you can set up eventually to auto-repair your stuff with these. So that'd be fun to get to eventually, but that's not going to probably happen today. As it is, I'm still just barely getting all of this stuff off the ground. But that being said, though, let's see how much iron we have already. Uh, we have... We haven't. We ha we actually have enough for all, for the other four drills. So you, so you know what? You know you know fucking what? Wait, is I thought I saw like my money or something in here. But I think that was just a bucket being weird. Hmm. Nope. It's I don't, I don't see the money. I don't know where the money is. Now it's daytime. Maybe it'd be easier to find the the money than at nighttime when I was, like, leaving. Yeah, we'll go to Bridgeport. We'll buy <laughs> we'll buy another cart since I'm going that way anyway. I will succumb to peer pressure. <laughs> and we'll, we'll also take this bar and we'll make the other four drills. Now there is another smaller town this way that I don't really, I rarely ever go to because usually Bridgeport has everything they sell plus more, but that's also the only place you can go to upgrade your fishing rods as well. So that's like the, the reason to go there, but I don't fish in this game really, so I don't really, you know, care. <laughs> so, but if you do, that's where you would go to do fishing stuff. And then we'll just ramp our ass down this way. <laughs> Through the river. It's a very shallow river. It's like the slowest water wheel in the universe. And then we'll just kind of pull up here to Itchy Carts. And we shall grab our fundage. toss it in here I don't know I don't know if I mean these are priced the same so I'm assuming the agile cart is the same speed as this one but not as fast and I care about fast so we're buying this one again plus it's colored red and that's the like one of the best colors I can't can't really argue with that either you know <laughs> that's just a fact <laughs> and then we'll Oh, well, that works too. I didn't know you could do that to get your cart in there more easily. That's a, that's a, that's a good, that's a fun tip for you. Is if you're in the, if you're in, if you're in, if you're putting your cart in your truck, you press Q, you'll just zip out of the cart into the truck. And it's actually pretty nifty because normally I'd struggle to get it in the back of the truck or I'd like have it dragging off the side. But now it's kind of 
where it's supposed to be, I think. Actually, I think this whole thing here is literally, um, made for you to, um, not have to take a cart down there. But we're going to take the cart down there anyway. At least initially, because there's a thing down there that should load, uh, stuff like into resources into your truck if you put it correctly. So, let's actually, we'll, we'll try it out. I've not actually ever used it. So it'd be a fun thing to try out. For science, we can learn together. And if it doesn't work as, as intended, then oh well, we tried. I don't know if y'all can hear the, the my headphones yelling at me. And if you can, I apologize, but like, the stream either ends when me and my roommate do lunch or if, when my headset dies. <laughs> Whichever happens first. Alright, so let's go down to Ice Helm. We'll, we'll make the other drills and we'll see if they fit. Oh, now I get to show you. No fall Oh, Oh, well. That works too. I guess it just flew down the, <laughs> flew down the shaft anyway. <laughs> I slid right through there. Alright, so, we got our bar, which should be 1,200, so we should be able to make four more of these. And we're going to pick this up, I'm going to put it on here and see what happens. Oh, alright, bye. <laughs> okay, we have to get our change. Put it back in. Like, I've always just, oh, 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 God. <laughs> I've always just been stubborn and, like, put everything in back of my cart and drag it through, but this is probably a smarter thing to do. You know, you, you, you've got, you've got a, that's a great, you're honest, honestly a really good idea. Like, use that as, like, a storage system. Like, have all your little... Have all your little elbow pipes in one and all your bricks. And, yeah, that's honestly a, a really big brain fucking idea. But I'll probably just try to find a mod that just makes storage a little easier than that. This game has a pretty decent modding community already, so... It's only a matter of time before someone makes, like, the big... Like, Minecraft has, like, a lot of, like, really big, like... Like integral mods to like modding experience like Tinker's Construct and stuff like that and there's probably gonna be a mod like that that comes along for this game I can imagine <clears throat> I don't know if we have enough iron left over to make any more any of these uh, little uh, other things these guys but I'll try and if I do cool and if not then we'll just come back to make those because I think it was I think it was like 1400 or so with the bar size and if so we'll be able to make some of these uh, boosters too <clears throat> well, I only, well, only need like two more after that one we just made let's just throw it over there so we might have literally just had the perfect amount of iron to make just Max out our iron intake pipe and also make the drills. If so, that's going to be really cool. Really good. Really good hustle this stream. Went from no autom- like one very little automation to like full service freaking like 10 drills freaking stuff. Yeah, all this stuff can go in here too. Oh! Thanks, game. You know what? It's fine, because, like, I think this thing does the same thing as, um, <laughs> the other intake thing. 
Maybe. I mean, we can find out. Yeah, okay, it does. So we fell down here <laughs> accidentally just through the floor. But that's fine because we can just climb back up. Oh, th by the way, that's another dig you can buy if you want to do digging stuff here. I don't know how the calculation for all the dirt stuff works, like if this is ca considered ground level or what, but like you can definitely dig stuff here and you use this to get stuff out of the place and up top as this little thing indicates. Maybe at some point we'll make a dig, we'll dig a, this place out and do stuff here, but for now I'm focusing on getting the Ember Cradle all teched out and ready to go, and then we can use that the money and resources we get from here to develop another place. But yeah, th there's a this place also has a, a tools and equipment really close by too, so that's convenient at least. But to sell stuff, you have to go to a different jeweler. So, I mean, you don't have you don't have to sell stuff very often anyway, so it's not the end of the world. But I guess be mindful that these grates can have you fall through the freaking floor, <laughs> which is more funny than a problem because you can just kind of climb back up anyway. All right, so those things have all been transported. They should be up top in the truck. That stays here. I. I'm gonna sep do it separately just for the sake of it, but like can the money get transported? Yes, it can and can the cart get transported? <laughs> can the cart get sent through as well? The answer is probably no Yeah, I don't know if it's going to let me put the cart in here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it for at least for a few minutes. Just because I think that'd be funny. I mean, it's in there, but yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. We can man we can manually put it put the cart in the truck, so it's not, not the end of the world. That being said, I probably don't need to bring a cart down here anymore since that that hose thing you exists oh! okay I, I don't think it was I don't know think I need to be that dramatic about it because I thought it was about to leave <laughs> but all right let's see if it worked um it, actually that worked really <laughs> that worked way better than I was expecting it to all that stuff we're putting in that little thing down there just got spit out right here into the truck. So you can't jump on the hose thing too. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny to start parkouring around everywhere. Get like just jump in there and get slurped in there. Yeah. <laughs> there, there again mods. There is a mod for teleporters though. You can use you can make the teleporters and then you can teleport around to places. I can imagine you could probably have a teleporter for down there and have one for up here or something. But I don't know. <clears throat> At that point, you could have a teleporter for down there to up here and then have... I, I don't know how the mod works, so I'm not going to really say much more than that because I just don't know if it works that way. But I've, I've seen a, someone showcase the mod briefly. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, motherfucker. Hello, Ash. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Don't know how much longer it's going to be going because it's either going to be going until my headset dies or me and um, Jamie do lunch. But yeah, we just... We're, we're making... And then after lunch, I'll be do, starting another stream. Okay, let's do... I, 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 I said not to do this, but we're going to do it anyway. I'm just going to... Oh no, we're already stuck on like a plant or a rock or something. Or ourselves. I don't know which one it was. <laughs> yeah, don't go off roading in this game. It usually doesn't end very well. <laughs> don't do it yet. Hey, hey, that's a, it's a good example of, of like, this is why you don't want to do it. I mean, we did get some pretty sick air there.
I think we can probably barely squeeze through one of these spots, maybe? Like, maybe this one right here? Yep, just barely. And the normal way I use this river is I ramp down into here, and then I to get back to this place, I ramp up this way, but I think I kind of get got it at a bad angle with not good speed. So yeah, this is what I do to games. I, I try to do stuff like this, and I either get stuck or I break the game somehow. Come on, get get your ass up there. I know you can, yep, yeah, it's like, I know you can get up there. I've gone up this way numerous times. Wee Bonk. Hey, it stopped us right in our tracks. Perfect. All right. Let's get out of the... Before before I go any further, let's find... I have a, I had a bucket in here, I think. You know what? Whatever. We'll, figure, we'll find it later. Let's put our money back in this store. Drop it in. And... It's not, did I have everything turned off or did one of the things break? I think one of the things might have broke. Oh no, I think the water's, yeah, the water's off. That's fine. I think I had the water off because I was going to have these all get set up and then start them all at once. Woo! <laughs> we made it back in one piece. <laughs> Just testing out all my sound alerts, huh? <laughs> but yeah, dude. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Mustelid. Dude. Okay, we've got our cart. Let's get that out of the way. Yeah, I have. I have Tales of Arise. I've had it for like a, a month or so because I saw I saw it on sale on like a third party site that has Steam keys, and I was like, oh god, it's like fifty percent off. I gotta buy it. So I bought it and. It's in my Steam, so I, I think it works. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I, I probably would have forgot I said it too. If we're going to be completely honest. Alright. We'll add these boosters to our pipe. Because that will make our water pressure even stronger. And with us boosting the water pressure of our... Um... Oh, that's okay. I, appreci I appreciate the thought. Yeah, we're adding these uh, boosters to our intake pipe, which in turn will boost our pressure chambers up as well. So stuff will move just a little quicker. I... There's my bucket. Dialogue is kind of meh in uh, Arise or <laughs> in gen like in like me talking. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I'm sure I'll like it just fine. Like. Dialogue's not always super great in Tales of games, or usually a little. It's usually a little awkward, partially because it's translated from Japanese, so things don't always. Oh, uh, there's a lot of monologuing. Okay, yeah, I can see that go a little weird. Uh, let's see. So we got the boosters on. Let's let's get our. Gab it! Gab it! <laughs> That's what that sound is. That's a sound effect from uh, Tales of Zillia. There's these little critters that go that that make that noise when they see you. Yeah, they should they should bring they should bring the Orosaurin back in another game because they brought back the fucking cats in Berseria and that was a mistake. They're more they're a little annoying, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, I've I've heard that there's the, that the the owls are in a rise. We'll see how they do. God, did I get stuck in the dirt? Uh, let's see. I need dirt underneath these too, so we're gonna have to be very cautious with how we place everything. Let's see. Grab some dirt from the wall. That should be good enough. I mean, the, if the owls are funny, then that's good. At least it's not like the cats where they're. Like, I don't really care about cringe so much, but, like, the cats are just... The cats in Berseria were bad. 
<laughs> they're they're cute, but just bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Berser can highly recommend Berseria. It's very edgy and church bad, which is a very which is a time honored tales of tradition. So I'm all for it. <laughs> Like I can highly recommend that. It's also the pre. It's also the pre-game to uh, Zestiria, by like, like a lot by like a long time. Like, I think it's a few thousand years or so before Zestiria. So, stuff that happens in Berseria predates uh, some of the stuff that happens in Zestiria. I like I like Tales of games that do that. Like Symphonia does that for Fantasia. So it's it's cool when they do that for other like. Uni universes of their like worlds or whatever well mrs musty knows what the hell she is talking about bravo all right we need to get more dirt on top of our new drills we're putting in because these little drills right here they have to have dirt underneath the little little nipple right there before they'll work so i'm just trying to get a good amount of dirt there and I keep bringing the shovel back up, but I probably shouldn't do that because we're not digging dirt on top. <laughs> oh, oh, getting stuck, getting stuck. Okay, place that down. We'll grab our shovel, grab some more dirt from the wall. gonna have to kind of do a guesstimation on that and honestly we might try to pre-place a little bit of dirt for this next one and see how that goes because if so that would be a lot easier to set up now ideally you don't <laughs> I, I probably need to get a better sound clip for that one because I got that one during like one of the last fights where there's a lot going on, but that's Norma yelling for someone to cover her. Because she's like, someone cover me while I'm casting, jeez. <laughs> and it's just a corny, goofy-ass line, and I like it. So I wanted to get a sound clip of that. But that one was, like, probably, like, I made that, like, in a hurry. So I probably should just go back over some of my footage and get a more isolated sound for that. Because <laughs> that's a little chaotic. But then again... I mean, all I want to do is a little chaotic, so it's probably on brand. <laughs> Good. I, I'm, I'm glad that they keep the tradition of, like, obnoxious caster alive, because in some ways, that's Archie in the first game. She's a little, she can be a little obnoxious, because she flies around and just kind of, like, goes in, like, the worst possible spots and gets, like, beaten up or something. All right, so I don't know if the dirt underneath that one's adequate, so we're got, but we're about to find out because I'm about to turn all this stuff back on cause now that I have all the water pipes in there. So move out of the way, traitorous shovel. So if they're all spitting out dirt, then this that means that this will all be a success and we can stop worrying about it. Blah blah blah, magic. <laughs> That's pretty good, honestly. I gotta say, that's pretty that's pretty top tier. Okay, these are all fixed up. These are all closed and ready to go, so let's turn on the water. Let's see, are they all moving? They are. They all are moving. I think they're all moving. Okay, yeah. All of them are, mo are just dirt. Dirt. <laughs> I didn't know if it actually did anything, but if you jump in it, your character will be like, Ugh. What video? I think I have a 3050. It came with this. Uh, I got a uh, Ironside PC built because I need. I desperately needed a new gaming PC in general, so I just had them make one for me. I actually saved a pretty good amount of money. Because I didn't have to go out, find all the parts specifically, and put them all together. They did it for me. So honestly, I could, I could recommend them if you need to get a new PC made. Hmm. I haven't had to really deal with their customer service yet, so maybe that's why I don't have a, haven't had much of a problem. But Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, j jumping in the grinder thing does, in fact, make... Yeah, this is what... This is the system I have set up. All these things... I buy power is amazing? Hmm. I've not really looked into their stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've got all these sorters going now. With all these little um, things for melting down all the stuff that's not gems. So this is up and running. And a nice even keel. All the metals go where they're supposed to go. All the gems go in this little bin. Put this onyx gem in the bin as well. In case I find any more. Here comes another emerald. And we'll smash them down. See if we get any cool big gems. Oh yep, yeah, we got some got some big chonker ass <laughs> gems now. <laughs> this thing with the with the gems getting huge is like one of my favorite things about this game. Just make big ass gems. Okay, so now that this whole setup down here is all good to go, there's not gonna be much more we do down there. Cause you can probably fit more of those in there, but it's it's making a de it's gonna be making us a decent amount of money anyway, so now we can start kind of digging out and making it look nicer and making it more walkable and all that crap. Because now that it's making us some decent money, we can just focus on the less like economic parts of it. Like I would like to fuck. Google's like, oh, hey, or, or, or freaking Amazon, freaking whatever is like, oh, hey, I heard you're talking about video cards. Would you like to buy video cards? It's like, and like, I'll sometimes see, like, since I'm a, a fool and sometimes just talk to myself, I sometimes like see ads like on Twitter or some shit about stuff I say. I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> you know, it's like. That's like so intrusive. Yeah, the panel the panel on my other side's pretty nice. It's like glass so I can see in there and look at the all the stuff doing basically nothing because it's all running pretty quietly. Cause I get I have in a spot on my desk where it gets pretty okay ventilation and it's also got a um, all in like an enclosed cooler and all stuff so like it's able to keep nice and cool anyway it probably doesn't need that cooler but it keeps everything nice and cold so that there's a lot less component damage and all that you you know computers I'm just kind of preaching to the choir at this point uh, let's see I kind of want to dig up and out so I can figure out where this staircase is gonna be so we're going to dig up until I hit the surface. Because I want I want an easier way to get down in here other than me hopping up the bricks. They shipped... Oh, Jesus. Unfortunately, there are human people that are... Well, I won't, I'm not going to say unfortunately, but like... There are human people that are doing the stuff, at least. So it makes sense that sometimes there will be accidents. It just sucks that it had to happen to you, I guess. Is what I was probably trying to say. Give me a sec. Let me look at my discords here. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. Let's see. Nope, not missing nothing. And at least the glass made it. A friend used another builder and at the glass. Oh, that fucking sucks. Yeah, I would be I would be pretty livid if something bad like that happened. But my stuff. <laughs> Here comes the bucket. My stuff arrived fairly pristine, and I'm honestly thankful for that. Cause like that was the point where like this is like I used it was like bir a birthday money kind of thing I spent on to get this. Cause my PC at the time was not. Acceptable. I think my headset might have just died. Let's try turning it back on. The builder decided it was easier, cheaper to ship out new panels. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I don't know how much longer my headset's going to be alive because my headset just turned itself off, but it just kind of does that sometimes anyway because this headset's a little old. 
I've been using it for like at least a year or so. Well, I, th I think that's, yeah, I, th I think it's probably about stream end time because my headset's dying. So we're going to have no sound while I kind of fall in the hole. <laughs> um, maybe? Let's see. I'm not sure if I have a, if I have a jack. Oh, I do have a jack, but I'm not sure if, like, that will charge it or not. Um... I haven't had to think about that for a while. Let's see. Uh, currently on, at like on my bookshelf, looking through all the various cords I have there, see if I can find the, the cord I'm looking for. <laughs> Admittedly, it was po this is poorly planned because I didn't double check to make sure my headset was charged for stream. But honestly, with it lasting as long as it has on, um, oh, that might not be the cord I'm looking for. It lasting as long as it did <laughs> on 30% battery, I'm honestly impressed. Um, hmm. Not sure if I can, well, if I plug it in, I don't know if it'll let me, if I plug it in power-wise, I don't know if it'll let me uh, hear sounds, because, yeah, it's not great. I can plug it in and see. We're in uncharted territory here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to search again real quick, see if I can find that cord. Yeah. Yeah, mine is, mine is, uh, bl mine is Bluetooth as well. Which is very unfortunate that, like, I can't play and charge at the same time. And I just had the bad fortune to forget to charge. So, I can have it charged and you'll just have to, like, hear me, like, talk, I guess. Because my mic still works just fine. There's just not going to be any, like, desktop audio for a while until my headset charges a little more. I mean, there's not like, there's a lot of sound going on anyway. There's that stuff, but like, whatever. Uh, what am I, what am I even doing? Do I not have any, do I have anything in my hand? No, okay. I just wasn't sure if like I somehow fucking fucked something up. Fucking fuck, fuck. <laughs> I just fucking fuck. Worm, you don't need to be on my bookshelf, buddy. Mr. Worm, Mr. Worm, I expect you to not be on my bookshelf. Um, yeah, but yeah, I was wanting to do a staircase like right here, roughly. It's, why is this pan down here? Oh, the pan fell down here. Oh, gotta listen for creeper. Thank, I do like that about this game. You don't have to worry about monsters because there just aren't monsters. Now, if we're playing Minecraft, I still want to play creative mode because whatever the monsters are part of the game of minecraft but they're not a part of the game in this game so so it's a different it's a little different stipulation it's probably a little um a weird stipulation but it, you know whatever i don't know where i put my pickaxe though Hmm. But yeah, these blocks definitely don't need to be here. Oh, <laughs> st standing at attention. That's a very polite pickaxe, I could you could say. All right. Well. Let's 
dig out a little more of this at least. I was hoping that even with my headset off that it would still like route desktop audio through the PC and I just wouldn't be able to hear it, but like, uh, it doesn't seem to be working that way. I can try to change something to where like desktop audio still plays even if I can't hear it. Let me do properties, uh, do that, see if that works. Nope, didn't do anything, that's okay. Um, All right, well, oh, wait, no, it does. I just can't hear it. All right, cool. In that case, let me, because um, I don't really need to hear the game right now, so that'll give, me my, give my headset time to charge, but it'll, it'll at least be better for, oh, wait, nope, not that setting. Okay, I figure out which setting it needs to be. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the, un the sometimes unseen parts of streaming is dealing with, situations like this where like your stuff just doesn't want to work exactly well it, it would have fine if I had charged my headset like a uh, not full but anyway looks like y'all will still be able to hear the sounds which is fine by me and you can still hear my voice so cool we'll just be streaming until lunch tell me roommate wants to do lunchtime in that case cuz now I don't have to end the stream cuz y'all can still hear for whatever it's worth <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna s move our blocks over this way so we can start figuring out where the stairs need to go. Because I want to. It's like a floating piece of dirt there. I would like this to be where our stairs come up. And I, that's probably right. <laughs> I might have to go buy another set of stairs from Bridge Pour, but let's get these out. Huh? <laughs> With the two carts of destiny. Two carts will be useful, cause like like you were saying, you could probably use one for storage of like these bricks. Like just buy a bunch of them at a time. And yeah, I don't like these pallets, cause like when you stack when you put stuff on them, they stack up. Like they still have a hitbox, so it's kind of hard to use them properly. So I I was I was wondering why I wasn't using the pallet, and then after I bought it and started using it, I immediately remembered why, <laughs> cause it's it's not very not as useful to me as the carts are where's my I, I put my pickaxe down somewhere and it's gonna I'm gonna get jump scared by it at this point yeah it's just standing there where, literally where I left it what a champ he okay, wants we'll to dig out some more of this As, can you all still hear the sound like my uh, desktop audio thing still shows the bars but I don't can't really I can't hear it on my end so I can't hear if you can hear <laughs> so uh, hi worm hi buddy okay sweet that's a, that's a cool compromise in case like something happens if I'm in the middle of the game I can just go to this device setting hi buddy what's up I know you have food in there don't claw the don't claw my bed you jackass <laughs> what are you doing stop <laughs> butthole <laughs> me, and my, me and my roommate have two cats one is named worm He's kind of, he's pretty chunk, he's a chunky boy, he's not like fat, he's just kind of big. And the other is named Spooky, and he is my cat, and he is small, and he's small. <laughs> I 
One of one of his potentially pitched names was Squeaky, because he's just kind of a little squeaky boy. All right, let's keep digging. Yeah, I'm gonna check my discords, make sure I'm not missing out on. Make sure I wasn't missing out on any like, because me and my roommate use me and my roommate use Discord to communicate fairly often. Just because, why not? We use dis we both use Discord anyway. What makes doesn't make sense not to. So I, was, I try to make sure I'm not missing any, like, oh hey, let's do lunch now, you know, stuff like that. Okay, put that there. You got a 20 year old cat with no eye. Well, that's cool. It's cool that your cat's that old. Uh, just like last year, me and my roommate, we had to put down one of our other cats that we had. He was like 15. He had some health issues, but we wanted him to have as long of a, a as long of a life as possible, and I think we did did our best. Cause he was, it, it turned out he had cancer, and that was pr that's pr that was pretty fucking sad to find out, but we didn't know until literally the day we were putting, sending, we didn't send him to get put to sleep, we went with him, cause fuck no, I'm not gonna do that to my, to our animals, you know? I don't want them to be alone when that happens. That's gonna be like the worst thing I could ever think of doing to an animal is have, send, just sending them off to be put down b alone, that's like, that's heartless. <laughs> you know, like, you don't. You sh just shouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'm. I like animals quite a bit, as you may be able to tell. Okay, so we need to buy some more uh, the blocks, so I can kind of plan out better. Okay, there's 10 blocks. We should probably buy more, but can't be asked right now. I just need to buy some. But yeah, the, the strat for me with buying these blocks is to angle yourself in the right way where you can press E to pick one up and then put it down to where it'll land somewhere where you can just keep spamming E to just buy, as, just buy a lot of blocks. blocks we can use okay, make sure that's the that is the correct way nice and now that we have that we can use these blocks down here and we can put these blocks over these pipes so we can walk around here a little more easily Pickaxe, where did I leave you? Did I leave you down there? Did I leave you up there? I don't know. <laughs> I lose track of the damn pickaxe so often. It's also dark. Let's sleep. <laughs> there you are, you little rascal. And all the while, that the system has been making more and more stuff while I'm just doing all this busy work, pretty much. Although I'll say, this place is starting to shape up pretty nicely compared to how it looked even just earlier. Like, it's looking pretty, pretty good. We can go in and out. We can put our little tools there, honestly. We can move around here. Probably grab a few more blocks from up top. And put them like between here so we can more easily move around. 
and then we'll start hammering down some of these blocks so that we don't have to worry about accidentally pulling them up. It doesn't seem like this is causing a problem like this. Because they'll, they'll all just get chewed up and spit out and sorted. Yeah, this is going wonderfully, actually. How many gems do we have? We need some blocks up here, too. How many gems? Ooh. Ooh, is that a... Oh, that's an emerald. Alright, let's combine! Chonky. <laughs> I think we might have gotten a few more uh, onyxes. Let's see. Let's see how much this is worth. Oh, yeah, we've definitely gotten a few more onyxes. This onyx now is worth like 900 for being like not even four pounds. So, so far, so good. Let's grab a few blocks and take them over here and give this area more places to walk around on. So it feels a little less claustrophobic. I don't know if claustrophobic is the right word, but like less, we'll have more space, more room for activities, you know, all that. I'm probably gonna move you like here. Move this like right here. And then have the anvil like right there. And we can add another row of blocks over here to make that even less cramped. I, I love how I bought, like, another one of these this stream, and I used it, like, once, and then I was like, you know what, fuck it, conveyor belts. <laughs> Immediately conveyor belts. Alright, let's add to this immediately. If I run out of blocks, I'll just go buy some more. But... I just want to get this kind of area fixed up a little bit. Oh, that's the last block, and hey, that's good. They can go there, and we can move you there. You go there. And this can honestly probably just go right here nice I like that and then we can turn around this is where all of our stuff is here we got our tools there so gonna which let's grab this and start putting making sure these blocks aren't gonna move because these ones are fine where they are and now we'll start doing that for these two so we don't accidentally rip them up and have everything on top of them plummet to the abyss That is, that is that is what this uh, construction hammer does. It lets you lock down blocks so you don't actually pick them up. I've done that for most of the conveyors already, so we probably need to do that for all of them. Because this stuff's not going anywhere anytime soon. And this stuff isn't either. Okay... <laughs> and we need more blocks because the thing with the thing with building with blocks is that you need a lot of blocks if you're going to be doing what I'm doing with this, which is what I want to be doing, frankly. Because like this is it, it was it was harder figuring out how to get it set up. <laughs> Boing! It was harder figuring out how to get it set up than it was like once it's here, having it actually set up, you know. Let's see. How hurt are you? You're almost dead. You're almost dead. You're about 50, so. Probably repair the first three there. We'll turn the water off real quick. And we'll repair the first three. Because if we look at the durability of the, those are 100, but if we look at the durability of these two, these all started at 100. While this was running, this got to 8, this got to 69. Nice. <laughs> but 
Yeah, like this will, this one will, and this one will easily, like this one got to 90. There was only like a little bit of, like by the time it gets to this one, there is only uh, like 20% unfiltered water getting to it. So this takes very little damage compared to these first ones. Okay. Yeah, we're going to want more uh, blocks. So we can start filling this in and filling, covering up the hole. And I can't. Oh, I was gonna get the um, get the bar for this and dump it in there and get a nice juicy other bar. We got this bar here. Let's see how big this one is. Like this one is. I think I was 56. Yeah, 56. Put you there. This one that we took out of the thing is 1.97, which is not much. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put you in there. We'll put you in there too. We'll see just how big of a shard bar we have at this point. And now we have 414. Nice. Okay, so cut that in half. Take one of those. Put you in here. Close that. Okay, that's good to go. Are there any others that have kind of crappy small bars in them now? I don't think so. And honestly, I might put another staircase out like this way if I can get away with it, just so I can get in and out of here pretty quick, because traitorous shovel. Go over here. You're gonna get in the way again, aren't you? But yeah, I might want to get another five of these so I can put them up like behind here so I can get in and out of here pretty quick from the other side too. So now it's just gonna uh -huh. put that there, I guess. Get that out of the way. Uh, I mean, that bar looks pretty decently sized. I would imagine that these would um, get smaller as they're used up, but I don't. No, like this one's prop. That's eighty nine. Oh well. No, we can. We'll grab the ones out of these guys down here. Like we'll grab all these and we'll kind of figure out how to get three decently sized bars to go in here. Well, at the very least, average it out. So we've got three more we need. This one is 352. Just splitting bars. Okay, that's 44. That should also be 44. That's 44. Okay, this one is 84. Again, this is probably not necessary for me to be doing. <laughs> So this is one bar. We want... How big is this one? 80, 88. 178. We'll, we'll solve this one up too. Okay, let's combine these two. Not necessary, but just kind of... Okay, that's 176. That's 88. These two go in here. Should make it an 88 as well. Yeah. That one's 176. We'll saw you. Which means you're probably pretty close. Okay. Okay, so that should be like 22, I guess. I'm I probably should just not be doing it this way, but you know what? Whatever. We'll combine you and you and one of you. Okay, that's I'll go on to one of them. Let's see, that is 88. That's 88. This is 44. Okay, so we will combine 
we'll cut this one in half and do it that way. It's not gonna be perfect because we have like an like a weird amount of them. I think we have like three, <laughs> and supposed to like an even amount, so it's kind of like awkward to split things up into threes when you split things in half. The math's just weird. Which is why I would probably prefer to just have like one or two. Cause like these don't really go that much faster with the water pressure getting to them. Like there's only so fast they can really go because they're tier one machines on tier one pipes. But hmm. Yeah, the, le the less the less of less of these bars you have to use to power things, the better, because it's just kind of a pain to get all the bars and stuff. I, mean, I guess we could just use the conveyor belt as like kind of a technical way to get up here. Oh, that one's already got one in there. Okay. Uh, is there more than one down here? There's two. Yeah, there's three. We're probably we might just go ahead and re configure all this stuff to run off of just one of these like I'll, like I'll figure out a way to get it I'll figure out a way to do it real quick that way we have one for up here because at this point the water pressure is pretty down bad so you want to refresh it and then for these down here we'll just kind of let's move these blocks out of the way real fast I'll probably have it like right here actually let's get this out of the way just have it there <laughs> have it floating in midair as blocks tend to do okay yeah, we'll, we'll just move this to be where our power goes in for all of them There we go, that's how I want it. Okay, so now we can probably more easily drop it in there. Let's move this up top real quick. Just whatever. Get it out of here! <laughs> that that there and all this water will come down here this pipe will turn that way once I get things going that needs to be that way because this one's already kind of going off this way <laughs> it's just placing blocks in midair like a a champion like the, like they're fine don't worry about it it's cool <laughs> um, hmm. so ideally I would have it to where this is as close to this like where the water starts splitting off as possible so there's less like degradation of uh, strength or whatever have something like this this one's gonna go away because we we're cutting down the amount of these that we're using because it's just more than ma more to maintain that we don't need to maintain if we cut it down to two that'd be a lot less annoying but yeah we need this can get replaced with a straight pipe that's, is that a straight pipe yeah it is okay that straight pipe can get used here 
Okay, that's correct as well. That's that placement there is not. There we go. That one's placed right. That water goes in from there, down here, into there. Put this one here. This one here. And then we need elbow and then two straight pipes and then this will all be hooked up to the same power thing meaning that we only need two bars instead of like four or three or whatever weird number I had going on so let's get some straight pipes I, could, I should have bought so yeah I've, we've got straight pipes just, get them down, just toss them in the hole just toss them in clunk all right so let's put you there you there and now we can start grabbing some of these blocks back and figure out where they're going come on don't be difficult it's gonna be difficult ain't it Come on, let's have it closer. Maybe my blind ass will be able to see it a little better that way. There we go, now it's the correct way. This shard bar, just move it out of the way for now. So I can figure out where I want all these, because I'll probably, st I might turn that one around. Like this guy right here. I'm gonna have to orient this again. Come on, can be a can be a bit of a hassle to get it work just the way you. There we go. I feel like that'd be easier for uh, easier to get the actual stuff in there with it the, in that orientation. Now I gotta get this crap fixed again. Oh, perfect! Didn't take me lo that long that time. <laughs> okay, and if we want, we could just hop on the conveyor belt now. Just gonna combine all of our shard bars that we currently have since we're only using two now that makes it a lot simpler to divvy up who gets what because it's just cut it in half and there you go you're done <laughs> easy peasy glorp <laughs> glorp right, well, grab that one too any other shard related things probably not I've been pretty good at consolidating it all to get together now that we have sorting figured out okay, dump you in there. grab you don't gotta worry about you cooling down because it doesn't matter okay, and each one of these is 324 that's gonna last quite a while to my knowledge okay, we're just gonna drop you in there that grab this one just fling myself into the abyss okay and that's exactly why I positioned it that way so it's a little, I can maybe just chunk it in there and call good okay so that setup should be good to go and run in once I turn the water back on let's do so let's make sure this is all Squared away, yeah. Okay, water on. They should all doing doing their doing their silly little tasks. Yep, they are. Nice and happy. Sweet. 
Yeah, I'm definitely charging my headset for the Minecraft stream later because if you're playing mine, most most mo most Minecraft uh, installations, if you ha have your headset on, it turns itself off. Like the sound's just gone forever. Like you have to like reopen the mod pack or whatever you're playing, and it's awful. So we're definitely gonna let the head my headset charge up while we're finishing playing this today and while I'm doing lunch stuff. So. Cool. I think I was gonna buy blocks, but then I got sidetracked while I was talking, because it doesn't take much for me to get sidetracked. Uh, we can just kind of put this here for the sake of lighting up everything. Not that we really need to. But yeah, I think I do want to get more of those. So I think initially we're going to get one of our carts and buy a bunch more blocks and make an attempt to actually position the cart correctly so that we can just grab blocks. Once the block settles, we can just keep piling more in here. 15, I think. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now it doesn't know when I plug my headphones into my speakers. Eh, yeah, audio stuff is frustrating to deal with, with, with Minecraft specifically. Let alone when you add the whole, like, streaming thing to it, too. It just gets... It's just awful. Okay, we do have 20 blocks there. That should be enough to kind of get us more towards where we're trying to go with the placement stuff. Like, I would love to cover this stuff up. Oh, so the other thing we're going to do. We're going to grab our money and go buy more ladders so we can have another way out of our... House. We'll, we'll split off some of this money to buy that with because I don't want to take the whole stack. Oh, that works. I will take this with me and this 15k can stay here. Okay. And we'll just leave our pickaxe there because whatever. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, I think we will take one of the carts with us. Whichever cart is... Do I, did I like move both the carts somewhere? This cart's just kind of over here for some reason. Don't know why. The other one has blocks. There it is. Okay. You know what? While we're at it, we might buy another cart while we're out. <laughs> what is going on? What is what is happening with this? There we go. <coughs> it wasn't wanting to do the Q thing like I was doing earlier, so I was like a little concerned. Alrighty then. Down we go to bridge pour. Because we gotta buy those wooden stairs. Which should be right here. <laughs> Grab the cart, put it right here, and then get out of the cart. It's like hitbox. <laughs> I mean, this is why I like this better than the pallet, because the pallet, you can stack stuff on it as well, but, like, those things still have collision. 
And as long as the hitbox of whatever you're got on here is meaningfully interacting with the cart, it'll stay there anyway, so, you know. So we got that. Is there anything else? It's like a pillar foundation. I'm not really ready to build a house yet, but you can actually just do that in this game. I think you can also use stuff like this to, like, channel resources around, like, with gravity, but... Mm. Not really that concerned. I like I like these for getting up and down. Okay, that should be 155 because I think the pallet was most expensive. Yeah, that pallet that I bought last time when I was buying these ladders was like most of the purchase price. So, just grab some money, pop it in here. Okay, grab our money back out. Carefully put the money in so I don't lose it like the other money did see the thing that happens like the money was like around here somewhere i don't know where it would have gone for all i know it's like off in the void somewhere like underneath the ground just hanging out hard to say with this game it, this game's got a little bit of jank left in the tank which is always fun like a like games like this tend to be a little janky when they were dealing with physics which is understandable because physics is like some complex shit to deal with with games. So it makes sense that there would be problematic stuff like that. And yeah, we're going to buy another cart while we're here. Because it it, it, it it does seem like useful to like be able to go to the store, buy like a bunch of like one thing, keep it in that cart until you need it. Let's grab our money, we'll buy another cart. Fast car. Huh? Okay, yeah, you can't interact with the button while you're driving the cart, it seems. Okay, then we'll grab. Still turns just as slow as the standard cart, but that's fine, just whatever. Alright, and we've got, should have multiple carts in there. Yep, I see the two little, uh, like, bottom boards. Okay, oh, come on game, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, it's fine, you don't need to crash. I've had, f I've had surprisingly few game crashes in the game, but last stream I did have one, I think you were there. I think you were there for that. Like, it just crashed, and thankfully it autosaved pretty recently, so I don't think I lost anything. Okay, let's just drive up here. Damn. I wasn't expecting to actually make it up that little hill. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's park our asses right here. Okay, let's grab this cart. I think this might be the new cart that has nothing nothing in it. Uh, has our money in it. Okay. What money do we have in here? 15k. Got 6k here. Hey, Kanuda, thanks for the lurk. Hope you're doing well today. We'll add this money to this, to this pile here. Might as well. We're playing Hydro Near. Oh, this this cart had the uh, the ladders. Okay, gotcha. Because we're wanting we're wanting to add another set of ladders to get in and out of this place a little more easily. Let's go down here and sort of set up the first one. We'll probably want to have it like over here. Hi, Pookie. Where'd you go, Bubba? I heard you. I just don't see you. Weird. A lot of weirdo man. Uh, let's see. Probably want it there, but we're gonna have to dig it out. So we'll just kind of put it there for right now until we get get the digging done. That's another good reason to just kind of have the conveyors kind of splay themselves out over a d decent distance. It gives me room to build another like staircase to get in and out of 
this place so I can maintain things a little more easily. Do, 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 do. That's probably enough digging for the moment until we can get this one in place. This, this uh, wood stair. I want it to go here. Because there are going to be uh, blocks covering up these pipes. So we can walk on flat ground. Just apprehensively staring over and watching my cat, like, biting into something on the floor. It's like, what do you have? But I don't want to get up and check. He does have a little fox toy that he likes chasing around the house and bringing to me and I'll throw it and he'll go chase it. So it's, that's probably what he's got, especially since he's near the food bowls and he likes to bring it near, he likes to bring it to the food bowls like he's a little hunter. <laughs> a little goober is what he is, but that's okay. All right, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to dig some more now. We'll just put that there, grab our pick ass. Sick ass pick asshole. Give it a little bit of a diggy dig. Oh, well, hopefully there's enough room with where I'm putting this. If not, I'll have to move where it is. Because that's part of my uh, setup there. And if, really, if nearly necessary, I can move some of that stuff anyway. Because. This part is a lot easier to move than this part. <laughs> Alright, we'll move that. Grab this. Grab that. Let's go grab some more of these stairs. Okay, it's still partially in there. I mean, it'll come up, like, behind this. So I might want to, like move some of this stuff over. Hmm. Kind of wanted it here, so I might need to move something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Hmm. I could always have a corner turn here, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just have a straight, like, in it, like in and out kind of deal. So I might move these ladders. Let's turn the water off real quick so I can work with this stuff without worrying about stuff going all wonky. Uh, where, let's see how, how are you doing? 51, 62... 73, 53, 84, okay. That stuff's fine for now. Let's uh, investigate if I can... Little dot of dirt there. That is kind of the annoying thing with these pickaxes is sometimes they just leave just little microscopic pieces of dirt all over the place and they can and will block you from moving. Okay, yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking is that I mean we could move this water pipe over here if we're gonna move all this the staircase stuff out of the way yeah I like could move this over this way I'm just gonna get a little pick ass there we go still a little diggy dig diggy 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 hole all that fun jazz and get going do, 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 do. all right let's see if it'll let me move let's see if I can get out of the hole let's see if I'll let me move this stuff over now because if I can just move this over anyway then I'll probably just they will just solve problems that I was gonna have otherwise Because this moves over here, I can have this staircase like kind of closer than that, and then not be in the way. So, 
That works for me. Let's just make sure I can kind of get in and out of this area here. Because we've got this stuff set up. That's the main reason for all this stuff down here. But now I'm just doing cosmetic stuff for the sake of... I mean, these ladder, doing the ladder stuff like this is genuinely good because then it lets us get in and out of the hole a lot easier which does count because maybe there's something we need to do down there at this point maybe not as much that we need to do down there but now we're gonna start moving these blocks out of the way just so I can see what I'm working on because Unfortunately, I can't put a pipe. Well, maybe. What? I was in the impression I couldn't put a pipe there. I mean, if I can, so be it. I will put a pipe there. Yeah, I was under the I was under the impression you couldn't put a pipe there. Huh? Yeah, it's not gonna let us put a pipe there. So I'll probably end up putting, huh? moving this, like, here. There we go. And cause right there is our pressure tank that hooks all this up to this and keeps the water pressure pretty high and uses power. <laughs> the pickaxe is just kind of floating in, the, in the air. That's kind of funny. Uh, but we could have... Let's move this block out of the way for now. Just whatever. That's that's not gonna stay there forever, so I can figure out the orientation later. But hmm, <clears throat> I could have pipes coming from like just under the floor here and have them go across the seat. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. That'll give me a use for some of these extra pipes I have anyway. Like have this. Just go. That. And we can do something like that. And like that. Let's move this. Now nah, we'll, we'll move these blocks in place once I get the orientation stuff right. Because I like these a certain way. And if I don't put them that way, it's gonna look off, and I'm not gonna, not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. You know, you know. I'm sure you understand being very particular about things when you're playing when people play games like this. I'm very particular about things in that way. Let's just kind of chip away at more of this dirt. And at some point, once I get all this cosmetic stuff done, like the functional cosmetic stuff, I'll probably just start digging away the rest of the dirt down here just to get it gone. Cause then we can cover everything up with that layer of stone concrete stuff and it'll be all good it'll look nice and yeah we don't have to do that as long as we have like a functional system down there that's all that matters but it gives us stuff to do on stream you know so i don't hate it Hi, Pookie. Hi. Hi, Bubba. He's just walking around. Being a little meow man. Alright, let's just go right there. <laughs> Leave the eraser alone. That's not food. It's not a toy. <laughs> he likes small things. And that has caused us some some grief with him eating hair ties and the like. Because he's a little mo he's a little pika monster. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> he he also just yodels a little bit. Uh, let's see. I think technically there's where I want it. I'm just going to dig out a little bit more. Okay. 
Oh, that's where one of my cards is. I don't want that to fall down here. That'd be a pain in the ass. Alrighty then. Let's drop you. Let's put some of these straight pipes in place, actually. That'll let me that'll help me figure out where I need to put the other pipe, because I want these to be like right underneath the uh, surface of the this, like kind of like on the ceiling. I tend to I didn't tend to do wiring and piping in Minecraft modded Minecraft stuff pretty similarly, where like I'll have like behind a wall or under the floor like this, like not necessarily out of view, but just kind of out of the way. And now let's see. Need some more straight pipes. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking, so we can come up here and grab a few out. Oh, there's here's one. Let's see. If I think that's where we're gonna want, want it to go. Kind of awkward placing this shit sometimes. Might be might have better luck placing it from above actually. Hi, sweetie. That pipe is in place. We'll just, <laughs> just got a random fr free floater, and that pipe's gonna go there as soon as I uh -huh. dig up that spot. Yeah, after all this piping's in place, and we use up the blocks that we have, we're gonna just buy a bunch more blocks. And give me a sec. What are you playing with? What are you playing with? Spooky, that is a phone charger. <laughs> Hi, Bucky. <laughs> he makes cute noises. Anyway, crisis averted. Let's <laughs> keep building. Okay. Oh, pipes are off by one. Great. Where that needs to go. Yeah, it does. Uh, we can grab a few more straight pipes while we're up here. Need to put them in place or throw them down there. I think I need at least one more straight pipe for down there. And as long as the water pressure from this pipeline doesn't reach zero. It doesn't matter how low it gets, because once it hits that thing, it'll get refreshed to the intake's pipe pressure. So you can just have like a long ass goofy pipeline like this, and it'll be fine. Okay, and then we'll put that one there, and then we need one of these elbows down here, and we'll put that in place. Let me, if I can get on top of things. Oh, of course. There's, there's probably some dirt in the way. So in that case, let's just get rid of it. Just get rid of all the dirt in that general vicinity. We're going to be covering it up with the stone stuff anyway, so who cares? Just get it gone. Okie dokie. Now we should be able to put that elbow pipe where it needs to go. I do st I do still see a, p a scrap of dirt floating midair there though. Get gone. Alright, so now 
this pipe is no longer in the way of us walking around. So we can put our stairs there. And we can cover this back up and move this stuff out of the way. I probably, I probably will just keep like a little cubby hole over here where we can store tools at. Let's sleep again so I can, so we can see a little better. Take a drink of some water. Uh, delish us. Alrighty, let's make sure you can get the orientation of these blocks cor the correct way. Perfect. Okay, let's start moving these around a little bit. Traitorous shovel, I knew you were going to get in the way. Go over there. Think about what you've done. <laughs> So now these blocks I just kind of threw up there will be oriented in the correct way because I changed the orientation of them before I started grabbing them. And we can grab some more blocks from here because we bought we bought blocks. I'll move you just kind of like right there for now, just so you're out of the way. Uh, we're gonna have to dig this area out. Just gotta figure out where we want this to go. Let's let's get them set up and dig out the area where these are gonna go, and figure out if I need to move it or if I want to move it or you know, likewise, etc. All that fun stuff. I had to stop and I'm holding my yeah I'm holding him because he keeps wanting to go over too much near where I have all my cords plugged in a little monster <laughs> All right, down you go. Go play. <laughs> All right. He has been he has been dispatched and sent on his way. Oh, there's a piece of dirt there. Okay, and we'll grab some more these from down from up here not down there up here okay and then we'll grab put that one in place I, so, I see that little chunk of dirt behind there we're gonna get rid of that and this should be the last stair I need Not perfect. That's actually probably just about where I want it to be. So now let's get some, let's get our blocks and start placing them. And if I run out of blocks, I'll go buy more. See this this part that I'm doing here with all this stuff on top is not necessary like this functions just perfectly fine how it is over there but I'm just trying to like do more stuff make it look nice
I'm in part trying to connect this staircase up to the main, the rest of the stuff by at least a line of blocks. Well, that's the last block, and well, we're gonna need some more, but it's a pretty good start. <laughs> Woo! I wish you decided to be rolling around and laying around away from my cord, Spooky. Stop. Leave the cords alone. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, well, that's one of the things I deal with, is him. <laughs> I love him to bits, though. Don't get me wrong. He just decides to, to do silly things, because he's a silly cat. Cats don't know any better. I think the water the water's still off. No nuts moving. That's because I was redoing the pipes. Nice! I don't really like the mining helmet myself usually. Because it like covers up part of the screen and that throws me off, but otherwise it's it can be pretty useful. I usually prefer just to have a bunch of these torches around or to um just let sleep. <laughs> yeah. To finish covering this up, we're going to need a lot more blocks. So I probably want another one on this side at least, and maybe another one on this side. And then fill most of this area in. And so yeah, we're going to need to buy blocks. <laughs> so off to the block store. There we go, that's about as good as we're going to get. I don't care how many blocks I buy, I just want to buy lots of blocks. Just spam the E key. I gotta get rhythm in there for a second where I just. Buy a few in a row. <laughs> Admittedly, there are like two by two, like. two by two block versions of these concrete floors you can buy in Bridgeport, I think, but. Mm. Well, that's a decent, <laughs> that's a decent amount. Um, it's like probably like eighty or so, like eighty-three blocks. Cause it's like five per block. So it's twenty for twenty for a hundred. Yeah, that's <laughs> that should that should do a, a decent amount. Well. What are you doing in the corner there, buddy? He's just laying in the corner meowing to himself. <laughs> Little goober. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, that was cute. He kind of peeked around the corner and like... He's thinking, it's like, what are you doing? He peeked his head around the corner and just like tilted his head a little. It's really cute. Uh, where's my construction hammer? I want to start hammering down more of these blocks because blocks up here are definitely staying. And these like conveyor, any conveyors I haven't nailed down yet either. Probably should get it. Yeah.
I mean, you don't have to nail you don't have to nail things down, of course, but I I like doing it because I sometimes absentmindedly press the E key when I'm near stuff without really thinking about it, and then next thing you know, I pick up something important, and then nothing works anymore. <laughs> Alright, so those are all put down. Let's see, what about it? these? Okay, those are fine. That's not something you can have put down because it's not scenery. Alright. Sure, our stuff's still. Okay, it's, it is the correct way, so let's start filling out some areas. Do, do, do. And just the fucked up thing is like, this is just like the very first dig. <laughs> a way of life has joined the bean army. Thank you for the follow a way of life. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well today. We are playing Hydraneer. While my cat is meowing to himself as he runs around like a gremlin. What, what are you doing? I'm mean, not the vacuum that corner now, aren't I? <laughs> There's a corner of my room behind the door where we used to have one of the litter boxes, and that's where he's just kind of standing around. And I don't, I don't think he's gone on the floor before, but I don't want to give him the opportunity to develop a habit of doing it. So might have to do some vacuuming later. What are you doing? <laughs> Right, we can put that there. It's fine. It'll go. It'll go through the floor just fine. Okay. And was that enough clearance to get down? Yes. I just didn't want to bump my head. Like if I put one like there, I'll probably not be able to get through. I'd imagine. Nope. Didn't think so. That's fine. I anticipated that. Okay. And Let's kind of try to fill in some of these gaping holes <laughs> first. Let's get the, the blocks closer to where I'm actually putting them to. That'll probably save some time. Again, this part I'm doing now is com just completely unnecessary, but I like just having a nice big flat space up top. Or I can just kind of run around and like run between areas to do stuff. Although, admittedly, most of the stuff is going to happen over there where all the the anvils and stuff, the anvil and stuff is anyway. So this is kind of just to make sure my dumb ass doesn't fall in the hole again. Which I feel is worth the time. We'll turn this stuff back on. I think it's off. My headset's still charging, so I can't hear anything, but y'all can. So, <laughs> so I was just like, hmm, I think that's still off. Yep. Okay, this is working again. Let's move you out of the way. Okay, Kurt, we got our stuff here. These are spitting out dirt. Not like this. They go up the conveyor belt into the harvester. They turn into delicious, delicious materials. And iron gets split, filtered off into here, gold into here, clautium into here, the shards go into here, and then all the gems, regardless of what they are, go in here. There's quite a few, actually. Let's, let's smunch them up a little bit. Oh wow, must have found a few more uh, onyxes, because that's a pretty big one now. <laughs> yeah, that thing's chunky. Very low weight, very high value. And then the time that it took to do that stuff, we got another ruby coming on through. We'll wait till that gets here to combine them. There we go, got some big old gems. <clears throat> Alright. 
that can probably get away. Yeah, I want to get more blocks over here so I can have more working room. But let's at least get another row of blocks down this side and cover this hole up first. fall back down in the hole and get stuck somewhere. I mean, you can unstuck yourself, but it's just annoying to have to do that all the time. So I prefer just not to fall in the hole in the first place. At the very least, I can't f slide down back into the <clears throat> hole from there. But, but we're gonna be a bit more stuff once we. I mean, eh, maybe not. Let's fill that in though. That's nice and sealed up. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a little bit of spot we could fall down in there. Let's grab these and drag them further over so it's a little quicker to grab the blocks. No idea how many blocks we have left. I think we bought like 80 something of them. I was just spamming the E key to buy them as fast as possible. So I don't know the exact amount or how many we have left, but I'm just, just laying them down. Which reminds me, let me go up, where's my little construction hammer? Let's kind of look for it a little bit. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. I was, I've used, I used it earlier on a lot of these. That's the blacksmith hammer. Let's put that bullshit there anyway. Uh, there we go. There we are. Start hammering some of these blocks down anyway. Oh goodness, hello Haleen. Welcome folks. Scuff, Scuff and more Scuff. I mean, Scuff is kind of what I'm dealing with too. That's okay though. Hello everybody. Hello. Thank you so much Haleen for the raid. You're awesome. Love and positive vibes. Hell yes. We've got, we're playing Hydroneer, which is a fun like digging slash dirt processing game. Or you can go you can go as hard or as not hard with it as you want. We've got conveyor belts, sorting stuff, and it's cool. Hello, Cyber a lot. I, I think I said that right. I probably didn't, because <laughs> brain no work. Eh, that seemed pretty close actually. <laughs> I might have gotten it right. I'm currently, just trying to nail down all these pipes so I don't grab one accidentally. Sweet. Thank you for the follow, Relic Sakausa. I hope I got that one right, because that one seemed a little more hard. <laughs> Thank you also for the follow. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate you. Cyber Ocelot has joined the Bean Army. But currently we are playing this until like around uh, whenever me and my roommate do lunch, and then after that we'll be playing some more um, an MGS fan. I would assume so. 
<laughs> I would assume that they're an MGS fan with the name, with that name. <laughs> yeah, we're currently we're playing a Hydroneer, and then after I get back from lunch, we'll start playing some modded Minecraft. Because that's what sp the main attraction of the day is, is I moved to Minecraft to Saturdays. So that we could do really long streams of it. But I figured since I wanted to stream the entire day, we'd do some of this, some of that, and then later something else. Just having a good time. My headset's currently charging, so I can't hear any of the sounds of the game. But this game doesn't have like enemies or anything anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> My headset's charging because I was a fool and did not charge it overnight for like two days. Because <laughs> I, I usually plug it in after I'm done streaming, but then I just guess I just didn't. But, yeah. but So basically what Hydroneer is, is you, let me see if I can find any of the tools you start with. I, you start with one of these, like a little pan they can like fill with water or dirt. You start with a bucket. We'll put that up here. Uh, let's see. I think the rest of this is probably down in the bottom. Some of it is, at least. Uh, trusty comrade shovel here. You start with a shovel. And you start with, like, a crappy cart that I have, like, over there somewhere. Crappy is... I say crappy, but it's really useful to, to have in the beginning. And you... Basically, what you start doing... We'll just dig a little bit, because there's a lot of extra dirt anyway. You, um... You basically you get some dirt, <laughs> you fill up a bucket, like so, and then you pour that dirt into the little pan, and you have to get water in this pan, and the easiest way to do that in the beginning is throw it in the river. <laughs> Just throw it in there, pick it back out, and um... Then you have to use a brush to clean all your stuff. I can't remember where I put the brush. I haven't used it in quite a while, so I might have lost it somewhere. Let's see. Wherefore art thou, brushio? Hmm. I don't know where my brush is. I'm almost certain I, I moved it out of the way somewhere, but I probably just threw it somewhere and just haven't bothered to look at it in a while. Hmm. Is it over here? Hello? Hello? Wash. Where are you, brush? Anyway, we're not going to worry about the brush right now. I'm sure it's having a good time somewhere. Probably right in front of my face. Because <laughs> that tends to be where I lose things, like right in front of my face. Uh, is it up here? Nope, that's the magnifying glass. There you are, brush. You were hiding underneath. Yeah, me all the time too. Yeah, it's yeah. But no, yeah. Put my phone down. I lose my phone. I never might find a phone again. But yeah, in the beginning, you fill, you get dirt in here, you get water in here, and then you do this stuff, and you clean your stuff, and then you get stuff. We got like one iron out of that, which is fine. We have this system here that sorts all the stuff, and iron can just kind of go in this little chamber pot right there. <laughs> but the first major upgrade you probably would get in this case would be water pipes so that the water drips down and then you put a pot like under it. Like, let me, let me demonstrate this real fast. Just like how think like if you do something oh well I locked that pipe down. Curses. All right, so we'll, we'll unlock this pipe for now, and we'll take that pipe away. And as you see, water drips down from pipes like this, and you can just it can well if you place it right, it'll fill with water. And then that's like one less labor thing you have to do. I'm gonna put that back now because. I have a whole system down there that runs on water that we need water for. And yeah, that's what that's your first kind of setup like upgrade quote unquote you would do. And after that, you can buy one of each of this and there's another machine that cleans dirt, like cleans all these like we'll we'll, we'll take a ride with the dirt. 
Like, look, I'm a piece of dirt. I'll, I'll, I'll squat down so I look more like a piece of dirt. <laughs> All this dirt's running up the conveyor belts here. We're, we're getting there. And then it goes into this harvester that converts the dirt into, like, resources. You see there's, like, all this gold and this iron and stuff going through here. And there's gems going in there. Like, the, the first thing is getting one of these and one of those drills down there. And buying them from, like, over there. And that's, like, the next thing. And then the thing after that would be conveyor belts, like I'm doing. And after you conveyor belts, the thing would be to expand how many drills we have. Now that we have this set up, we just make money while, I don't know, doing shit like this. Like, fixing up the yard, basically. And the next thing would be after this, after I'm satisfied with whatever's going on with here, would be to move to a bigger claim that's deeper down and get the next tier of drills to get bigger dirt, to get bigger chunks, to get more stuff. And, yeah, it just kind of goes... It's like, it builds on itself. One of the other cool things you can do with your metals is you can make things out of them. Like, like let's wait till there's a little less uh, gold. Pour this gold out and get a gold bar here. Let's heat it up on our little furnace. Just gonna let it sit here and heat up. Let's see. I need ge any more gems inbound. I think there's one right there. Looks like we got another little rupee. And this machine here is one of my favorite things because it compresses the gems into bigger gems than another gem, it looks like it. Pull, pull the lever, crunk. <laughs> and they just have just big ass gems, and they're really cool. Like, this is just a big, big ass rupee right now. They got big ass ruby and big ass sapphire. And then we also have this onyx gem, which these are much rarer than the other ones. Let's see how valuable these gems are. This this sapphire is worth 6,900 bucks alone, but you could just sell that. But you don't want to just sell only like bars or stuff without making it into something. That's 3,600. Okay, this is probably worth more than most of them. 87. Yeah, that you get more emeralds from the smaller dirt at the very least from my knowledge than the others so you just buy bulk get more and this probably isn't worth it's still worth a lot but it's just not worth as much as the other things so we're gonna put these back in there because we're not gonna use them let's go ahead and put that in there let's grab our big freaking emerald balance it there <laughs> we'll switch the and as you see skip through one two and three those are iron weapons there's no enemies in this game so you're just making weapons to sell to someone I don't know who and then we'll skip to the gold stuff this takes one gem and two bars we have one bar here however we have a saw there that can saw bars in half so we'll put that bar there grab that saw in the half grab our spending hammer Bam, necklace. <laughs> and then this necklace is worth like $149,000. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been, I've been, this has been running for a while, I will say. So there, there, there's some good money here already. And this is still just the very first place in the, ah, oh, that's broken. So all this stuff stopped. That's fine though. Mmm, money, exactly. Now, with that much money, we can probably buy almost anything else in the game, I'd almost say, because there's not that much you can really spend money on, I don't think, in the vanilla stuff. But yeah, these little things on here, like this one's sparking because it's broken, these are water filters, and if you don't have water filters, your machines take impurity damage, like oh, your harvester and all these dr drills down there. Those would all take impurity damage, however... If you filter the water, only these take damage, so you save yourself a lot of hassle doing that. Let's see how 22, we'll fix that one too. How about you, third one? 44, you'll probably be good for... Nah, screw it, we'll fix the third one too. Because as the water goes through the first two filters, it um, 
take the less, ones behind them take less damage. So that one was at 44. This one's at 35, and this one's at 78. But those two have been not fixed in a while. So that one will probably last until those ones break again. And that one will probably last a few more repairs. So, And while that's going, all this just keeps going, making us more stuff. Just more and more stuff. And the deeper down these little drills are, the better the bigger stuff they make like these little pebbles aren't very big but they're about as good as we can get at this dig site hi pookie <laughs> he just walked by and just wailed at me like a little ghost <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's a mood Jesus is like ah just just yelling <laughs> Let's see. Gonna look at my Discord stuff real quick, make sure I'm not missing anything from my roommate. My roommate may still be asleep, so that means we'd be uh, continuing to go on this for quite a while, which, fine by me, I'm enjoying this game. I think it's f good fun. Okay, so let's get some more blocks and kind of add more to this so I can walk around without fear of kind of stumbling off into the hole <laughs> is that so yeah yeah is that what you really think <laughs> silly little boy all right, so we got that big necklace, you know. For this, I like at this point in the game, I'm just selling stuff made out of gold because you use the iron to actually make these things. That, like you make these at a different place, you make them out of iron. So it's advised to like not use your iron to actually make weapons and sell. But hmm, I'm trying to wait till there's. Not as okay. That's probably as good as we're gonna get. Ah, is there any? Did any of them go in there and not melt? Okay, because we'll let's see how heavy this iron bar is that we've got right there. Let's see how heavy you really are. I mean that iron bar is worth ninety-one thousand by itself because it's almost like eight thousand pounds. So we could do a lot with this iron that we already have. And I feel bad for making it into like a weapon or something, but I just it's kind of be just showing stuff off. I can just get more iron. It's not like this is there's any shortage of the shit. Like it's just pouring out of here. So we're, we're gonna make a cool a sword out of this metal here. So let's heat you up. Drop. Come on, don't. I'll pull it, heat it back up because it fell on the ground. I don't want it to, like... There's no five-second rule here. It'll start cooling down pretty quick, so... And if it cools down too much, we'll have to heat it up again anyway, so... Let's just pour it there. Saw you, saw you, and... Big sward! <laughs> Alright. That's sorted with 119 grand... <laughs> Not quite as much as this necklace, I don't think, but gold also has a much higher value than iron does. But still, that's gonna put that's gonna set us up for quite a while. Let's go get our other cart that we have over here. We're making that fantasy money. <laughs> Enjoy your walk with Francisco. Um, I guess so. I don't know. This is. This is a very, it's like a water power ver based on um, like just like mineral resource gathering game. Like we've got like gold, iron, we've got clautium, which is used for other, mostly for making the second layer uh, level of drills. These shards that are used to power these um, water pressure restorers right here. And then we got gems that are used in 
with your with gold to make more money. Although at this point with me selling these things I'm about to sell, I don't know how much more money I'm gonna even need. Then again, um conveyor belts aren't cheap and if we're gonna go to a new place at some point we're gonna need some more money to buy those. So let's just kinda let the sword just You know what? It's probably still counted as being in the cart. So we'll just call it good. <laughs> It'll Yeah, I guess you could say this is like first person factorio or satisfactory or whatever. Like conveyor belts and you dig dirt and you clean the dirt and you get stuff and you sell it and then you start building up from there and I mean you could just dig dirt and put it in buckets and clean it all your life if you really wanted to, but like yeah, you probably don't want to do that. Okay. Nope. <laughs> Cart, you're drunk, go home. Damn it. <laughs> Get balancing this cart up here is a little problematic. There we go. Now we can sell both of those for 268 grand. <laughs> That's a lot of money. And we're not even at one of the good places yet. Like this place that we're at is the first area. That said, with this money, we could probably afford some, like, nukes and stuff to develop one of the other areas. Which, frankly, that's probably the main point of this area, is to set it up so you can springboard to the other areas to make more money from there, too. Although, at some point, I don't know what the really the point of making more money is. It's just the fact of setting everything up and having it go is just kind of cool. We already had, like, 15 grand in here. That's going to stay here. Uh, let's grab this money and we'll put it in our truck here. Our water-powered truck. Because everything's water-powered in this game. Like, everything that uses quote-unquote power is powered with water. Which is neat. Let's see. How hurt are you? You're fine. This will, this will keep going for quite some time without our intervention now. And it's still just making more shit. I am curious to see how much Cloutium we have. Let's see, how much Cloutium do we have? 210, I don't know if, like, that's a lot of Cloutium, but Cloutium's considerably rarer than the other two metals. What we can do, we can get, our, we can get that. So much iron. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boing. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a point where there's not much iron so I can pour this out. There we go. I'm gonna want some iron to take with us to see if we can make something with that Cloutium, because I can't. Oh, fell in the hole. Oh, we can ride the conveyor belt back up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember the exact recipe amounts for the uh, tier two stuff, because that's we would probably would want to make that before going to a place that has tier two depths, because you can't really do anything otherwise with with deeper dirt. Unless you have the the better stuff, so we're gonna go see how much that stuff costs resource wise in our little truck and since we're going to Ice Helm Which frankly I gotta turn back around. I need a cart for going down there. Actually, no, I don't, because there should be a uh, little terminal that sends stuff down to that area that I'm thinking about. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. What I do need to probably focus on is making sure I have a bucket in my truck at all times, because you can see the little water tank there, like, in the upper middle behind, like, the little cab, I guess, is what it's called. 
That's where you pour water in to keep your truck going. <laughs> so I don't want to let that run completely out or else we're, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> so let's just kind of go around the curb this way. We'll follow the road. No reason not to. And we'll go over this bridge. <laughs> Hopefully not falling off. <laughs> And we'll go up here. And what we can do with our stuff that we want to do things with is, let's see, put, put on this little conveyor belt here. I wish you could go down in there too to get transported, but it's just resources that can go in here. And we're gonna probably need our money too, because we're gonna, we're gonna at the very least need to buy the schematic for with the schematic for um, the new drills and the new harvester and stuff, because you have to make those with resources you get yourself. We no fall damage. <laughs> There's like no way to like die in this game. There's no enemies either. You just kind of exist. Now, where did this stuff come out? Did it come out over? Where where did it come out at? Did it come out like over here? Probably. Uh, I, mean, I guess we'll find out. Cause I put it I put it in there and it came out somewhere. But I'm guessing it's probably in down here somewhere where all that stuff came out which I think I'd rather just bring a cart down here or keep one here yeah it definitely came over here I'm imagining because there's a yeah here's our stuff yep I should bring a cart and leave it I should buy a cart and leave it here to transport stuff around a little bit more effectively well anyway we can take we can take our money at least and go back up this way this will get us to the store. That place where we were just at where our stuff landed, that's also a dig site. If you are so inclined to dig there and to make your stuff there, you can do that there. Which is cool. This place is really cool. I like it, but... Yeah. It's kind of out of the way. Alright, so... Let's see. Any cool stuff here? Like alt spanners. They got all the tools you could probably want here. They got... Pickaxe tier two, hammer, all this fun stuff. Are they gonna sell rake here even? Let's see. Look, tier two pipes, which have much higher water pressure and lose pressure slow more slowly. Let's see. More of this. All the all the conveyor stuff you could probably ever want. Sell so wooden stairs here too. Honestly, that's pretty cool. I didn't know they, were, they sold those here. And here are all the um, drills and harvesters and stuff. What is this? Uh, Clautium harvester, forged iron harvester, Clautium intake booster. Okay, so a, th a thousand, a thousand, um, a thousand iron and three hundred Clautium. Honestly, I think I'd prefer to buy. Well, we'll buy both of these designs. Because we'll both need both of them eventually. Because these patterns, these designs don't get used up when you make stuff, thankfully. So you just have to bring the raw resources yourself. Uh, is there a scale here? There is. We'll keep. We'll buy one of these and try to see if we can place it. Yeah, I probably should buy the rake. <laughs> uh, rake. I, 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 it's like I know I saw it. That's a tier two rake. Raking in the dough. Alright. Uh, money going there. <laughs> okay. We'll grab these. I can't remember how much Cloudium I brought with me, but we at very least probably want to make the um, harvester because if we do. At bare minimum, we could hook up the harvester at a place where it has tier 2 dirt, get a tier 2 shovel, and scoop dirt that way. If we really had to, but like, mm. yeah, these are other designs we have. We have a drill and the 
iron intake stuff. Fine, go down there, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that takes 300 and 100 and... Whee! Can you even bounce in lava? <laughs> if, you're, if you really feel like you need to, I guess. <laughs> So that was it's 300 iron and 100 clout. That's kind of like a, a vague tutorial on how to do things. Without context, it can be a little unhelpful, but that's you put something on your podium, you put things in the crucible, you pull the lever cronk, and there's your thing. That's your podium, that crucible's there, and then it does the thing. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta get down here. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make that jump, actually. Oh, you find your first relic. Nice. Yeah, those. That's something that to note as well is um. There's relics. We could probably easily afford to buy this stick, but I don't know if I'd ever use it. I wish there was a quicker way to get up here. I imagine they're, gonna be, they're planning on doing more stuff with this place because there's like this whole deal that you can climb around on. But only time will tell. Because the next update is. Next, next major update looks like it's adding farming, which is cool. Like you can probably plant and farm stuff with water pipes and automatic watering, I would imagine. Seems pretty neat. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna just. Uh, use a bring a keep a cart here from going forward because hauling only one thing around at a time is not not fun but yeah next updates farming okay, so no idea how much clout that is and I can't imagine they're gonna that would let me place a scale there to figure out how much I have So it might be worth my while actually buying the dig just so I can place things down there like a scale so I can see what's going on. Yeah, let's grab the, the Claudium drill. Yeah, the this the, the design here gives you more info, a little bit more of a tutorial on how to actually do the thing than that does. But there's also that kind of cool value and like the subtle kind of like tutorialness of things too. So I can respect them doing it that way. We oh these actually have collision. Honestly, a little surprised, but that's cool. Yeah, we just need to get back down here so we can grab my <laughs> grab my iron. I just got floating in the air right here. Probably don't have enough, which is fine. We'll just come back with a cart. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this here for now. And then I got some more stuff I gotta grab from the store, like my money. And I guess this rake too. <laughs> we'll just kind of like relay race stuff from the store. And if necessary, I will buy. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not gonna let us place anything here. If it did, that'd be cool to like let us place like scale but it's probably not gonna let us place anything I can't imagine it would no it was not going to that's okay we'll leave that there for now then uh, yeah. that's a good question I should actually test that because some things do work without being placed like the torches if they're turned on before being dropped on the ground they sh I think they still do uh, actually light up so it might work if it's just placed like they're like that so 
I mean, that's a good idea to try. Uh, let's see, Cloutium. <laughs> you know what? It actually does. You know what? That's that's actually really fucking smart. Good eye. Just kind of flip it around and just drop it right there, and yeah. Good shit. <laughs> okay, so that's we've got enough for we have enough for one of these harvesters. Which means we're gonna need more cloutium, which means we should probably it's probably gonna just take a little while longer. Cause I don't think I, I don't know like how the resource like rarity scales with how deep you go. I don't know if it does or if there's just a fixed rate of how you find and what you find. I know that the size goes up as you go down. I don't know if like the rarity does too. I would have to look into that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Like that's that's like the power of just having people viewing that are also playing the game that like some people people just have different ideas about the same things, you know? Like I would have never thought, "Oh, hey, what if I just place it on the ground and it still work?" Granted, I know the Torches work that way, I just didn't know the scale would. But that makes that amazingly useful. Because now I don't have to worry about buying the dig down there that I wasn't going to buy anyway. You know? So. Now we can just play the video game. Put the rake in here because we we're not really going to need a rake here. Oh, let me guess, you're not gonna conveyor belt? Fine, whatever. <clears throat> I guess that. I don't know. Maybe this rake will just live here. I, I can't be bothered to deal with it right now. I don't have a cart here. Um, so we have enough clout TM to make this. I just don't know if we have enough iron with us, too. Did I bring my iron bar over already? I know I left it on the floor. That might be like the last thing left on the floor. Um, I could have swore I left it on the floor somewhere around here. And this is why I shouldn't just leave things on the floor because I will lose them. Didn't bring it here. It's probably already back over at the forge, and I'm just stupid. Um, cause our money's there. What? What did that get there? Is that the iron bar, or is that different iron? Is that a different iron bar? Uh, it is a different iron bar. Uh, well, I guess we can see how much we have in total. 905? Okay, we definitely have enough to make this, at least. We don't have enough to make this, either in clout or iron. But we can at least make one of these and take it home. Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't have a recipe selected, or like if it, if you don't have a recipe selected, that stuff just bounces. <laughs> That's just funny. It's just going on a little bouncy castle. Ugh. Let's go ahead and make it not bounce anymore. Give it a sl recipe selector and it should stop bouncing. Yeah, it stopped bouncing. Okay, <laughs> and then we'll grab this iron. Put that in there. And then we'll grab Clotium. I don't think I've ever actually made one of these tier two machines before. So this is a monumentous occasion.
Tier 2 Harvester. Breaks dirt chunks into resources. Bigger yield with better water, pre with better water pressure. Gets damage from unfiltered. They, I think they just, like, ran... Okay, so I guess big better water pressure increases the yield as well. Or maybe just for this particular, like, the Tier 2 drills, like, higher water pressure just does better, maybe. So we'll send that, <laughs> send that through. And then we got the, we got our change... We'll send that through as well, because we do have the truck with us, thankfully. It didn't just run up here like a freaking mad lad. Like a mad bean. Like a bean possessed. Took a risk walking over that grate, because I have already fallen through that grate once today. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can put this somewhere a little more... I'm trying to figure out the best place to put this thing, considering I can't, like, really <laughs> can't, ah, shit, because I can't, um, actually place it. Now we can place it down here, we can put it, have it stay down here somewhere, probably. here it's nice and flat I mean <laughs> it does fit and we can't knock it over or anything so that's probably the best place for it it looks like it was born to be there <laughs> God damn it. I love janky stuff like like this in games or like it's not pro it's probably not intended but it works anyway just because of the rest of the structure of the game so anyway we'll keep all our little figurines kind of around I guess all right the rake and oh, we can send the money up I think put it in the truck and then the rake will just come with us I guess Although at this point, I don't think I'll really be using the rake too much at my at the Ember Cradle because I've been doing the flat the blocks anyway, so it may not be super useful, but we got it anyway. Up we go. It's like a horror movie where you're like in an elevator and like the elevator's coming down the shaft and then nothing happens. <clears throat> what a letdown. I wanted to get smashed in a thousand pieces. Alright, let's get to our little truckaroo here. We'll climb the side of the truck. Maybe. Maybe. And yep, all of our stuff is just kind of landed in here. Alright, let's go to Bridge Pour. We'll buy another cart. And I think we'll bring the cart back. And then we'll probably head back. Actually, before there's one thing we're doing before we go to Bridge Pour. And it's going to be on the way to Bridge Pour. We're going this way. And we are going to be purchasing... No, the, no, this is Drek. We're not buying Drek. Drek's bad. Oh, we're not also not going to try to ramp around the area near Drek because Drek's just too far it's just Drek's just f far away from either town just it's fairly close to, close to Ice Helm but so is the, the the best claim in the game basically well at least currently opinionatedly oh you're talking about the um the rake for making flat walls
I just looked over at the chat, sorry. But yeah, um, in my in my opinion, and probably that of a lot of other people, um, South Hope is easily the best claim in, ta in the game. It's not even that expensive. It's cheaper than uh, the one in the Ice Helm. And it goes all the way down to, to as deep as it goes. And Bridgeport is just like over there. Ice Helm's like over there. So it's not really even that bad for getting around. Ah! That's true. So if you're trying to like make like walls flat in the dirt wall, then yeah, I could see that making flat walls actually. Does it flatten the sides too? Yeah, let's get our money out, and we'll buy. We'll, we'll pay for that. And now we can live here, and I'll probably just leave this rake here because we'll almost certainly need to do something. Wait, did it just make dirt? Um. Did this just like make more make more dirt? It probably just made more dirt. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, you can use it to like flatten the. Uh... Hmm. Well, all right. <laughs> I don't know if this dirt is just cursed to be this height now or not. Hmm. Seems a little jank. Super big fan of the rake. It's it's, I mean, it's cool, but I just don't know if it's useful for my play style. But hey, if you're having if you're having good results with it, then absolutely good shit. Not gonna hurt my feelings none if you have a different experience with it, cause, well, you are your own person. Ah, then f okay, I see. Like you you, chop away with the some with the uh pickaxe and then flatten what you want yeah I could see that being a better way to doing it than what I was fucking doing okay Frank I probably should have just left the the tier 2 dr harvester at what you call it but we'll buy it we'll buy one of these we'll buy one of the carts before we head back to South Hope we're not developing it yet cuz well I might not be streaming for too much longer cuz it's like three in the afternoon. I probably should eat food. <laughs> probably, probably a good idea. So I'll, then I'll probably. Oh, I'm saying probably a lot. I will be message messaging my roommate soon to see if she's awake and going from there. But we're gonna buy another fast cart for Ice Helm. It's, it's just useful to have a cart there. Okay, grab our money and put it in the cart. And then put the cart in the car. Bread makes you fat. Well, you know what being fat means? It means I'm not dead. <laughs> and sometimes being not dead's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, so we got the cart that we want. Ah, okay, I see. It's been a it's been a minute since I watched that. <laughs> Like, that's a fairly, that's a decently old, uh, movie or whatever. I know there was a game, too. That's a decently old, uh, property, you could say. Alright, yeah, we're gonna just leave the, um, t the tier, the tier 2 harvester isn't gonna do us any good at Ember Hope anyway, so we'll just kinda leave it, huh? like, here somewhere. I don't know why it won't let us put... Huh? Game's weird, whatever, we'll put that there. What else we got in here? Is there anything else in here that needs to stay? No. No. Okay, so we'll we'll head back to 
Ice Helm briefly. Drop off the um, cart. Which is the only thing we really need to do is drop the cart off so that we can use it to cart things around the ruins. This place looks like it's gonna be like where you the place where you buy farm stuff. It's got the whole coming soon sign there, and it looks kind of like a construction yard or like a farm place. And I think that leads to Drek. Or leads like around. Yeah, that leads to Drek. Which, I mean, if you really want to, you can do stuff at Drek. I just don't think it's worth the time. It's very cheap, so if you want to, like, immediately, like, move away from Ember Quarry, you absolutely can. And it is pretty big, but mm, I don't know. Like, for 1200 like, that doesn't, like, if one, once you start getting down to, like, the bottom layers of Ember, Qu Ember Cradle... And even just digging buckets worth of stuff yourself, it don't take long to make 1200 so you could do that, buy this, and then just start doing all the stuff. The only problem, one of the, well, I'd say one of the only problems with Drek is, like, the water is, like, your only water source is over there in the corner, so you need a lot of pipes to do anything. Which, granted, that's kind of the truth anyway, but, like, especially if you're gonna develop Drek Quarry to do anything, you're gonna need a lot pipes but again if that doesn't bother you then by all means <laughs> I'm not gonna really comment on someone else's choice of stuff as long as they're as long as they're having fun and not hurting anyone else who cares it's a single-player game now if there was competitive hydrogen fuck you direct D tier <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Competitive hydroneer who can who can make the most money in the shortest amount of time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that would even entail. Yeah, let's get this cart down here and then we'll 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 leave it. Whee! Both of my legs turn into jello. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it down here, because if we bring stuff down here, it'll end up down here, and it might land in the cart, even. And then we can roll it back up this way, up the stairs. Okay, so the cart's down here. Don't gotta worry about that. We made our tier two drill, not drill, uh, harvester. Which I'm pretty sure that harvester works on normal tier one dirt anyway, but like, why? Counterweights. Like this kind of like old, like old and oldie timey like technology of like counterweights and pulleys and stuff is like simple mechanics without like electricity is like always just really cool like look that's really cool and it makes sense at least to me <laughs> maybe maybe it's completely wrong and some like engineers like having hot sweats about how that doesn't work I don't know that's not me I'm not an engineer <laughs> anyway let's go back to ember and see how things are going. We'll drive over this way and see if I can ramp off at a more opportune place. Because I've been ramping off near there and it just doesn't, it's not a good place to do it. Ooh, I could ramp off down there. Make a wrong turn at Albuquerque. Ah! Go down, let's go down the waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And before I forget, we'll fill up. Just cl clamber our ass over that. We'll fill up our truck while we're back at Ember. Just, just 
like run right into the fence post stop. Okay. Let's take you over to the club the Cloutium store. I fell I fell in the pot. <laughs> Glorp. Into the pot you go. Iron, let's jump over here. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have made that sword and sold it. Because that was a lot of iron that we could use for, I don't know, this. Like, making stuff. Alright, let's see their, let's see our HP values of this stuff. That's zero, obviously. That's 23, 45, 3, 68. So, let's prepare these first four. And this one still doesn't take very much damage at all. Okay. That's all still running. We still got some blocks here. Um, got some more, quite a few more gems. in the way. <laughs> Let's move this cart out of the way. Uh -huh. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Don't need this anymore. I'm just kind of throw it over here, I guess. I don't know. Well, if it wants to stay. Because old stuff like that, we should be able to um, scrap it at the at bridge pour to turn it to scrap iron and we can just melt, melt it down so we get at least something out of like all this old stuff that we're never going to use again. Matter of fact, I think that's something we'll work on next is recycling all the stuff we're not using anymore. Like, uh, where is it? Like, we got a lot of pans, but those can be useful if in a pinch. If you need to just hold stuff so they're not the worst. Come on. Come on, game. Keep up. <laughs> and we'll jump in here. We'll take those and get those scrapped down. Don't really care. We'll use the pipes here, probably. I mean, maybe not. We probably bought way too many pipes. But if we wanted to, like, add, like, even more uh, these uh, drills, then... I don't know if there's even space down here, but if we really wanted to, we could, we could add um, more drill. We could dig this out or blow it up or whatever. Get down there, do more drills, have the dirt come up and come all the way over. You know what? That sounds kind of funny. Maybe we should do that. Just like nothing, like just nothing but like freaking uh. Like, split off, like, water, like, there. Have it go back over that way so we can do stuff with the water. In fact, I'm curious. I've not really tested much of the, the explosives myself, but I know there are, you can buy some explosives here. Come on. I mean, maybe I shouldn't combine that together because I might not be staying. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. Just come on. There you go. Yeah, there's like a throwable TNT. I'm kind of curious on how effective that would be at clearing out the other part of the of Ember Cradle. Like, let's go over here and test it out. I don't know how it even works, so let's see. Is there a hold down? Nope, there, there is not. Wow. Well, great. That was wonderful. I mean, I could see that being useful if you have like a lot of it. Like we could probably just buy like a bunch of TNT and then throw them all in the same hole and get down that way. But now nah, I, I think I'd rather spend my explosives money on like real explosives from bridge pour. So. Let's not do that. Whatever money. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have combined those together. And we'll combine these together again. 
We'll leave 8K here. Okay. Because Bridgeport has like logic based explosives they sell, including a nuke, which might be funny to use. Like, a, like buy a nuke and use it on, on that. Well, let's take our little cart and run down to Bridgeport. It's not going to be that slow, surely. I've done it before. Let's go on a nice little journey. Don't gotta worry about ramping up the freaking hill because you can just run up it pretty decently. Whee! Splash around in the water. gonna buy some explosives I don't think I think you buy them up the hill but let's see what's here I think there's probably just throwing TNT here if there's anything at all uh, let's see yeah there's there's a throwable TNT make your money go up in smoke well I can think of a faster way to make it go up in smoke by buying a nuclear bomb <laughs> up here is there anything up here I don't I don't know if there's anything up here it doesn't look like it it's like a, it's like a dock that's cool um, there's this stuff is a looks like this is a market a stock market for jewelry which would probably be worth this is probably one of the only stock markets worth doing because jewelry sells for so much that getting like an extra 3% money on like like, something that sells for a lot would be worth your time. Some dude, and a, some statue dude. Uh, let's see, I think it was, I think I missed the turn here. I think it was over here. Hobson's Powerworks. Okay, let's see what we got for sale. Hmm. A logic smelter. Advanced smelting technology. Requires logic input to create bar. Takes damage. Now this logic stuff is basically like electricity. Destroys items when switched on. When switched on, pulls an, uh, pulls an object within the two distance. A logic lamp. Produces light. Color can change with 9 logic RGB value. Oh, that's cool. Logic delay. We're not looking for this. A logic valve. Hmm. Okay. I'm looking for like a switch, which they should sell them here. Outputs a logic value of one or zero. Click symbol to change. Logic keypad. A lot of this is way above my head, but what what we need to know is we can buy this. And they should sell. Logic durability reader. Passes a durability reading every second if facing an item which has durability. There's a counter. Ah, here's logic TNT. Goes kaboom when logic is passed into it. And a mini, oh, that's a little more expensive than I thought. May cause extreme annihilation and loss of life. Okay. That sounds like fun. Uh. Well, we got enough money for it, so might as well do something with the money. We'll just buy a nuclear weapon. Easy. That's, that's what all the other war criminals do. <laughs> just buy some nukes. <laughs> Alright, so I know, we, I know we need at least that to get this to go off, because I've watched people play with these before. But I figured having all those to blow, to blow the other side of Ember, Ember Cradle open would be pretty... Uh, pretty good use of time then we could set up more drills down there and have even more stuff going on <sighs> no we don't want to go that way cuz oh give me a sec
send a message to my roommate. Okay, so back to Ember, and we're gonna light this nuke up, and hopefully it will um not be that big of an explosion. I, I think it's gonna be a pretty big explosion, but hopefully it's not big enough to damage the rest of our stuff. I don't think it's gonna be, and we might end up having to buy more than one to clear out the, the quarry, maybe, but like, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, I should have just taken the truck. Like, this is at run speed, basically. If It might be a little slower than run speed, but it's roughly run speed, so... It's like we just ran to ran to town. You also don't have to hold down shift, which is kind of nice, so... It's part of why I just like, like this stuff, these carts, a lot. Okay, that stuff's still running, which means this is still running, which means they're still making money, which, which is good, because we just spent 26 grand on a nuke. <laughs> Okay, we'll probably put it in this hole here. <laughs> We're gonna get the switch, hook it up, and hopefully the game doesn't crash or something funny like that. Um, you might be able to. I just haven't really thought to do that. Alright, so let's... I think that's hooked up properly. Actually, let's look at the options. Maybe there's a setting for, uh, like... Uh, vertical sync, all this stuff. Textures, blah, 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 blah. Uh, input. Okay, there th there is a toggle. Okay, cool. I didn't know there was a toggle. I figured there was, um... Yeah, we'll just do toggle sprint. That way I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm running forever! Alright, well... Let's... Oh, oh god! <laughs> well... Okay... <laughs> That's what the nukes do. <laughs> I was just got caught in a nuclear explosion and survived. You know, no big deal. As you do. It's just another Saturday. Wowzers. Oh, hey, there's a little nugget. That's probably the, uh, <laughs> that's probably the, um, the lever that we spent money on. I'll just drop that in here. <laughs> And let's see how deep that dug it out to. Okay. Probably can have like three or four and that'd be this place all cleared out pretty handily. But yeah, this place, this other little spot here only is very deep. So yeah, let, wait, let's, <laughs> let's piss away a lot of our money just on nukes. Although... I might be going soon with this game and might be doing food stuff, so that that might be just like a fun way to have ended the stream for now. <laughs> just getting caught in a nuclear explosion. <laughs> sometimes you just get caught in a nuke. Some you know, just just sometimes you just have one of those days. Okay, so in that case, before I forget, we're gonna fill up my damn truck because I keep forgetting to do it and. One time I'm gonna forget, like, just a little too much, and, yeah, like, it's flashing, because it's like, warning, asshole, you're almost out of water. <laughs> so we're just gonna get some more water in here, let's see, right there, and we'll get, I think pans might be able to hold more water, maybe, I don't know, we can test it out, I think pans can also be used to get water, too. You can also just set up like a, a pipe that drips water to do it, but that seems a little tedious. At first I thought whenever it says like to, um, like when you're in a truck it's like fill with, from water tank, it's like, yeah, but like, how do you like do that? Like I don't know if there's like a water, 
I guess you probably could, maybe there is some sort of water tank like thing you can build and then turn a spigot on and have it drip that way, but I don't know. That seems like a lot of effort when you can just like jump up on top of the truck and pour water in that way. I, I might have missed or it might already be full. I don't, I don't, I don't know. We'll give it one more go just to make sure that it is in fact full. Oh, I fell down. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh, come on, get on the truck. There we go. I think I might have actually just missed with the last one, but it's probably full now. Okay. Uh, we'll just go back there. I don't know if there's something I could like write on in this game, like Minecraft has signs or whatever. I'm gonna look at the store here and see if there's anything like that. Probably not. At least not at this store. I'm so used to having a hold sprint down that I'm like running around, like accidentally pressing sprint and then going slow again. <laughs> uh, well. Hmm. Yeah, I, th I think having this blown up and just full of more drills would be cool. And then just have a bunch of uh, conveyors get getting it all out and bring it over to like this conveyor and dropping it off like over here or something. I think that'd be kind of kind of cool. Just like a, the big line of conveyors, just bring it all the dirt here and. Pouring it in here. <laughs> that's that's probably overkill for Ember Cradle, honestly, because this is already like just a lot of stuff, and then basically double that if not more, and then like this probably wouldn't be able to keep up, but it'd be funny. It would be funny. And to do all that, we need to remove that pipe and split off our water. Before that though, how damaged are you? 39? Okay, you still got some time on you. Oh, the, well that's weird. That's a, that's a weird way to do it. Give me this. be getting another t a tea pipe there and splitting the water off. I think we got a tea pipe room so yeah we got one here. I'll at the very least get this stuff going before we go, before we end playing this game at least. Okay, because then we'll have a nice long pipe going this way. So I probably should be putting this stuff over there. There. Because 
I would likely have my my water pipes start from over here down when they go down there. But let's see. Yeah, it, it, it looks like, yeah, when you're moving, it defaults back to slow, so it's kind of... I don't know why, that's not... That's an interesting design choice, I'll say that. That's about, that's about the most positive way I can say about that, is it's an interesting design choice. Because I figure if you toggle it, that means you probably want to just constantly be doing it all the time, so... I don't know. Uh, we probably need at least a few more nukes f to clear this out, which I don't mind spending money on that because what the hell else are you going to spend money on? Resources aren't don't cost money. <laughs> it costs, you know, resources. So any money I can use to get more resources seems like a, a great idea. Yeah, let's let's go back to the splody place. Well, we can take these while we're at it. Duck. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you, truck. Oh, wise and fair. Oh, hit a rock. <laughs> okay, I think we should be able to scrap these two guys. These two little, um, things to get a equal value like I think these are like 142 a piece or something and we should be able to scrap them down to like a piece of scrap iron that's like 142 which I means not much but at least these things are out of the way let's see I think this is how this works uh, scrap uh, yep one piece of Can be smelled to do a scrap bar. Could have swore it just was like iron. Maybe it's not iron. I don't know. Anyway, I can go in there. Uh, we, yeah, we're gonna buy more explodey boomies. I don't have money with me, do I? <laughs> no, I probably don't. Damn it. Well, that's fun. Can't believe I forgot my money. I kind of wish, like, your character had, like, a wallet <laughs> instead of having to, like, carry your coins around everywhere like this. We'll get like three of these and we'll go back to our home. That seems like a lot of money and it kind of is, but if it lets us clear out the other spot and get like ten more drills in the ground, like then you know. <clears throat> I can just use these little buttons. 
Uh, yeah, we'll buy a bucket of TNT as well. For science. <clears throat> I'll have to, I have to go back and get my money anyway, because I'm a fool and didn't bring it with me. But we'll go, we'll, we'll see how big of a bucket of TNT does. Can't imagine it's nearly as big as the nuke, but, you know, whatever, so. We will... We will run back and grab our money and then come back. Because, <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring my money with me for some reason. I was just kind of like, oh, let's go! <laughs> nope. Seeing the game react to me walk that way, walking up that hill, makes me question if it might be. But it did it did clear out a really big like area. I think you also might need nukes to get down to like the deepest part of the mines, so it's kind of like locking you behind having money, so you can get to um the best layers to get the best money from it so I think it's partially novelty partially you probably do actually need it but um money where's my money money where's my money I think I oh I think I left all my money in here alright no I didn't leave all of it in there because I definitely have more than that it's not all in here is it no, there, there's just a different pile of money in there. Uh, is it in the cart? It is in the cart. Okay, well. <clears throat> How many carts do I have here? I think I have like three carts here. I think that one cart was meant to, um... No, I don't, I don't even know at this point. <laughs> I don't know how many carts I have. Whatever. We got the truck back at the store, so I just needed my money. Now if we get all this stuff back and blow it up, I'll probably end the stream there. And I'll figure out what me and my roommate are doing with food. And after I figure that out, I'll probably be back with Minecraft. Yeah, brain fry. <laughs> brain fry. I do need sustenance to survive. Then again, it doesn't take much for me to brain fry. My br There's not much brain to begin with. <laughs> All right. Buy stuff, okay. I will spend 78 grand on all this garbage. Before I use the, the all these three nukes, I will test out the uh, the TNT. I think I'll buy I'll buy one more than one TNT just for the sake of it. I hope I bought that. I can't remember if I pressed the buy thing or not. Oh well. And this stretch for blood flow. I might not have bought one of these. Yeah, I think there's one of them I didn't purchase, so the game's like game would have yelled at me if I would have ran away with it, so. <laughs> Trench for blood flow. <laughs> There might not be any blood left because it might just all get vaporized <laughs> when they get caught in the next nuclear explosion. Yeah, we got switches. All right. Um, 
we go. Down and around. Getting stuck on the side of the wall. I love it. I love that for me. <clears throat> Come on, get up there. Put your big bodacious ass up there, car. <laughs> well, it's more of a truck than a car, but whatever. Wee bonk. <laughs> God, did I just get stuck on something? I might have. You know what? It's fine. Whatever. Probably got yeah. I got stuck on that and probably that. Just get out. Of, just get out of the yard there. Okay. I think it also got stuck on this thing that I never use because it doesn't necessarily matter. If these are all centralized. Cause they're all gonna just fit in there anyway. Ah, that's broken again. Should have some extra tool bags. Let's see. Zero, 22, 45, 67, 54. Okay, so fix the first three. Okay, cool. Get our fun things. Now, I think you can daisy chain things together, but I'm not going to really do that, I don't think. put that one there well I'll see if I can climb out if not I'll just unstuck <clears throat> unstuck I'll grab one of these uh, little logic buttons Okay, let's see how big it is. Uh, definitely not as big as the nuke. There's our button. <laughs> There's the button that we just uh, vaporized, so. The nukes definitely blow up a lot more area. I'm curious to see these uh, scrap metals turn into iron or what they do. Because I've been just throwing them in with the iron. And I don't know if that's been wasting them or not. <laughs> so let's turn our water off and I'll pour out the iron that's currently in there. So that's an iron bar. Scrap bar. Can't be used in crafting. Well, let's see how much that weighs. 4.2. In total, weight is 7.171.1. Seven, so let's see if those merge together into iron or if basically there's no point in doing these scrap bars. Okay, so yeah, the scrap doesn't actually turn into iron so yeah there's a scrap garden so that's where I got one of those bricks I have in there I was just testing to see if scrap was distinguishable from iron and it turns out it is so I've been just dumping it in with the iron thinking oh you can just turn it to iron but no that is not the case apparently so just put, back in. put the iron back in there turn the water back on that things start moving again. Okay, they are. Uh, let's... Oh, yes, those. 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 Alright, well. 
Let's blow a nuke up right here. Hopefully that'll reach most of... Let's put that down right there. Because hopefully that'll reach further down. Let's move it like there. And hopefully that'll get this clump and we'll see what else we gotta do. We might have to buy a few more, but I want that area just cleared out as much as quick as possible. And without mods, it's probably the, the the way to do it. So we're gonna do it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a big radius. Can't imagine it's all the way out here that it blows up, but I'm sure it covered the area I was thinking of. For the sake of it, let's grab a pickaxe and test out if there's still dirt in that area that blew up. Because, like... Uh, looks like there's some. Okay, well. Because I don't really know, like, the depth of this little other part over here anyway, so... Maybe I should find that and then blow things up. <laughs> Just find like the uh, perimeter, I guess. Like I'm back in fucking like eighth grade math. <laughs> then I'll know what specifically I need to blow up and then not waste any nukes. Again, I'm probably going to download that mod that um, gives you more pickaxes that you can craft to dig more area. That way we don't need to use a freaking nuke for something like this. We can just dig it out a little bit. Okay, uh, we, I'm gonna finish digging this perimeter out and then we're gonna end because I think me and my roommate are gonna at very least make dinner even if either but even even if like food's not necessarily all eaten all right now but let's see because I know I probably should be eating some food before long it's just wise to not run on empty I just want to find the perimeter of this thing so we can know where to blow up yeah this place is a little, this place is weird. This, I almost never, I, this is my first time actually digging into this place at all. Like if I played on my own, I've just ignored this other half over here. Cause like that side already makes plenty of money as it is. Like, and that, there's not all that much to spend the money on in vanilla yet. From what I know, unless you want to make like a bunch of big houses or something like that, which is so cool. More power to you, I guess. But like, as far as, like, tangible usefulness goes, money runs out of uses fairly quickly. From what I've seen. Honestly, it might be more economic just to use 
uh, the dynamite than the, than, you know, the freaking nukes. But the nukes are a little flashier. Like, if we put, like, a nuke, like, right there, I'd blow up, like, a lot of the remaining stuff in this area. <laughs> just casually carrying a, a nuclear bomb over to this hole in the dirt in the dirt in the girt got the hole in the girt yeah I'm trying to think of the best way to use this nuke here <clears throat> I feel like putting it like right let's see well, again, it's hard to see because it's nighttime. I'm gonna have to unstuck anyway, and I'll get me cl pretty close to the. Uh... Just have it sticking into the wall there. Be able to actually get in, in and out of this place now that I've got this blown up. Let's see, can I just get in and out? I can, yeah, I can just climb out. Alright, that's not bad. I thought I had to. Well, un doing the unstuck thing has just been getting me, like, next to, um. Alright, well. I can't even see where to go. <laughs> Duck your head for the nuclear explosion, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. You done? Jeez. All right, yeah, that that definitely cleared. Like, hmm, probably dig another. Oh well, this is a little bit more substantial than I thought it was gonna be, honestly. I could definitely see us fitting a fair amount more drills down here. But we're gonna need probably more nukes. <laughs> see. I think we still do have at least one. thought so. Yeah, we do. I also have this Logic TNT. I'll probably use that as well. Um, looks like I might not have bought enough levers, so we'll definitely use this lever for another nuke. Another nuke! Uh, we'll put this down here. Unstuck. That'll get us back close to the truck. Oh, I guess I do have an extra Logic button for that TNT. In that case, we'll probably end up using it. And we'll just kind of shove this thing, like, here. Get as far into the wall as I can. See if I can activate it all up here. Kablam! Kind of gives us a better <laughs> when it stops shaking. Wow! Like all that area should be cleared out now. That like all the like I don't know if this is gonna get cleared out or what the, what's gonna happen. But yeah, that's. 
It's definitely worth the money, it's just a decent chunk of money. It does seem like it tapers off around here, though. So we probably don't want to do much. Probably like one or two more nukes in this place to be cleared out, and we'd have to like... I definitely don't mind spending the money on that because I can only I can imagine we have a decent amount like back in there anyway at this point. Let's let's actually kind of let's turn this off and see how big of a gold bar we have now. How much are you worth? 143k. That's pretty good. Okay, I can work at that. Let's set you here. We'll just make something to sell while we're at it. Oh, yeah. Well, nah, it's fine. We can turn the water back on. and That will let us do that little compression thingy. Got another gem coming our way. Another few, it looks like. I can imagine the... This emerald is chunky. 11k for just this emerald. That's silly. Uh, how about the sapphire? 13k. Oh, okay. An upset. Granted, that um, that sapphire has had more time to build up. Yeah, that's definitely not worth the most. And you, Onyx. How much are you? They're almost worth as much as the emerald, but the emerald has been used up to make stuff like more times than the other ones, so they've had longer to grow. But since the sapphire is the most viable, we will use that one. With how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> okay, so let's grab our sapphire, drop it there. Probably the easiest one to work with because it's just flat. <laughs> flat as a board. Alright, and then we grab, our, grab the gold. Drop the gold. Saw the gold. And whack. Big ass necklace. Let's go sell this for some. I don't know how much it's worth. I'm kind of excited because the bar was worth quite a bit and the gym was worth quite a bit, so. We could take this to a stock marketplace, but mm, I think that would be like over there, like at that one pier. Yeah, that's plenty more money. Yeah. Any worries about buying nukes just don't exist. We just make plenty of money passively, unless we're using them constantly, which, no, we need like two more. And then we'll be good to go. And at least for this stuff, we might end up using them for other things eventually. Like, um, like getting through to, um, where's my, where the fuck is my money? Did I run, no, I didn't run back with the money. It should, it might still be, it might still be at the other store. Because I don't see it anywhere. I might not have loaded it up. Not there. I lose stuff so easily it's not even funny I mean it kind of is but it's just it's really easy for me to lose things so, a game like this doesn't have any like definitive like storage systems like Minecraft does it's just a, a, a small nightmare <laughs> okay, conveyors are going I wasn't able to really tell because I can't still can't hear anything but uh, Drop that, and let's go ahead and we'll take the truck. We'll go back and buy the last like two so nukes that we need. We'll set those off, and then that's where we're gonna end today for this. Cause me and my roommate probably do the food thing, and 
figure out stuff from there and it should be back to stream more in a little bit but that depends I guess we'll see how things are going but <clears throat> Yeah, I, my, I can see my money from here. <laughs> Just left like a cool like 160 grand at the at the boom store. Come on. At least one of you wants one. What? At least one of you. Yeah, one of you is wanting it. All right, 348k. Yeah, that's. We could buy like 10 nukes. <laughs> we will buy two. by two buttons to go with them. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> we we're just about to finish for now. We're just using nuclear weapons to make a hole bigger. <laughs> we, we've really escalated from cool passive digging game to war crimes. <laughs> As you do, sometimes you just gotta make a blow up a hole. All right, we're gonna take our money with us. We got a good amount of money now too left over. Well, hopefully you had a decent time at the birthday party. I know it's probably for like a younger person, so I can imagine like it may not have been super fun, but that's part of having family people living close, I guess, is you do stuff with them that you may not 100% want to do, but it's family. We found the cat and we bonded. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's stop. <laughs> Just run right head first into the light pole to stop. Alright, so let's grab these let's grab these I'm just gonna let it roll down into the hole <laughs> just let it roll down into the hole and let's grab one of the nukes I yeah, mean these nukes are gonna have are gonna uh, have bonded pretty well as well <laughs> got a lot in common I think so We've been blowing the shit out of this other hole here on the other side of um, the bridge here. I probably don't even need to use a nuke here, but we're going to. Like, that's probably a gross waste of resources, but... But it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. With it sloping up like that, I can't, I, it might not even need to be that far down. Like we can just have the football hanging out right there. And grab our little... Oh, you got little cubes here from all the various um, detonator switches we've blown up with the nukes. <laughs> okay, and then let's... That and click. <laughs> Just a big mushroom cloud. Well, that's blown up. We'll just kind of dig a little right here. <laughs> Boom. That leaves this chunk of land here with one more. We have one more nuke. We'll do unstuck because that should get us near the road where our right where our truck is. Actually, that's I didn't plan that. I know like the unstuck spots near the road. 
I didn't know it was like right there, so that's work. Works out pretty well, I'd say. And we'll just put this one right here. I don't know if there's any good use for these scrap cubes, because you can like sell them. You can melt them down to a bar, but like they don't do anything other than sell for money. It's basically like half the value of whatever was blown was became the scrap, so. We could probably smelt them into bars and then sell them for a little bit of money. Alright, let's grab the other lever. And the plan, next time I stream this, probably be next Wednesday, is to get this hole here and just absolutely fill it with these uh, drills that we have, like, these kind of things we have in here. Just fill it with these damn things, like, as many as I can feasibly fit. Just so we can have so much more dirt and then have all the dirt go on a big conveyor belt <laughs> over to here. <laughs> like uh, just a mega conveyor belt. But for now, but for that we needed this to be cleared out and well, I couldn't be bothered doing that by hand, so. Good boy! <laughs> so we're just committing a few war crimes, it's okay. You know, sometimes you just gotta light off a nuclear weapon kaboom yeah I can't hear the sounds right now but I bet you can <laughs> that thing's going for a while huh alright well I think that's that hole mostly cleared out like that can't dig that there's like bits and pieces here and that got left over but in the, in the grand scheme of things, most, if not all, this dirt should be cleared out now. And this is where we're going to want to put all these things. All the drills. Alright. Put our pickaxe back over here so we don't lose it. Yeah, we're, we got a little bit of pipe that's going to go over there to... Um... Oh, we got some cloud team over here. Let's see. We got a pan. We can grab that, put it in the pan, and... Chicken in the pan, picking out dough. Grandma does your child bite. <laughs> Grandma does your child bite. Grandma does your dog bite. No child, no. <laughs> Grandma does your child bite. No dog, no. <laughs> this child does not bite dogs. <laughs> oh, my brain is mush. <laughs> not just because I've been streaming for like eight hours, but just because it's just mush. It was already mush. It was mush when I got here. <laughs> Let's get the, all these little cubes and drag them to their new home. Come with me, little cubes. At least get out of the... Yeah, at least hang out right there, I guess. Okay. Do I have any... Do I have a... I think I might have a, an ingot or bar or whatever in the back of here. I thought I did. No, I just have a, a big-ass scrap metal cube. We'll, just, we'll put it with the rest of them. Eh, whatever. Y'all can hang out right there, I guess. Um, I guess you can see this thing's like spitting out all sorts of little friends very quickly. But if we're able to add more to that, this thing will be just flying like grease lightning. How heavy are you, Mr. Mr. Ironbart? <laughs> 10,000 pounds. 10,462 pounders. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. Like each uh, each of these iron drills takes um, every one of them takes 300 and we got ten, we can make like so many of them. Problem is, I don't know how many we're gonna actually be able to fit. We could probably figure it out with pipes, like 
just because pipes take up one space just like they do. So we can figure out like where we can put things down here. It's probably about as low as we're going to be able to put them. So like we could just do like... I don't know how many it could fit in this hole. So let's grab a few more pipes just so I can try to plan this out. I'm tempted just to make like seven, like 14 or so of them. I figure that's like a pretty good number, like ones. Technically, that fits there, but. Yeah, the problem is going to be um, getting water all where it needs to go. If we're going to fit a bunch of stuff in here. Because we could probably fit in like a few of them back to back. Like, like one here, one here, one here, one here. Or something like that. And just have like an ungodly amount of drills in this hole. But for a lot of that, we're going to need actually the drills themselves. So let's... We'll, we'll continue this next time I play this game because I'm going to go get food and hydrate and all that fun stuff. And then we'll figure out from there if I'm going to stream more today. I probably will, but we'll see. But let's go ahead and save and quit to desktop. Go! All right. Stream ending. Thank y'all so much for coming by. Thank y'all for the follows. Thank you, Hailing, for the raid. Um, let's see. Let's see who's live. And I'll drop a raid on them if I've got anyone I want to raid. And we'll probably be back later. But if not, then I'll see you the next time I see it. Let's see. Twitcheroo. Twitch. Twitcheroo. Who we got? Let's see. Uh, oh, Mochizuki, good friend Mochizuki's playing Borderlands with, doing a collab with Anno Morano. That sounds like fun. Hmm. Ghostly and Audible's playing Scorn. You know, Ghostly's a bit of a smaller channel. We'll probably drop in and see how Ghostly's doing. So. Hey, thanks, Haleen. Thanks for the thanks for coming back and saying hi. I might be streaming more later, like to playing the Minecraft. So keep an eye out for that. But I also might just be calling it quits for the day here because I need to eat food. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna end the stream and pop in and say hi to Ghostly and Audible. So say hi, say hi once you get there. And if I don't see you later, then I'll see you next time. You have a great day.